was muted. <laughs> I'm afraid to delete any of Koi's messages because inevitably I will accidentally unmod him and then I will cry uh, because it, it, oh, hi, muted. Oh, hi, dad. Um, you know, that's fine. There's no rule. I don't know. I'm terrified. So I can either ban you, time you out, delete the message, but I, I'm afraid to even delete the message. We got one freaking sub? Oh, hell yeah. Air Cricket, you're the best. So we've got, let's see, Alcoholics Anonymous. Delete me. Do you really want me to do it, Koi? Do you want me to try? Do I have to remod you? Are you gonna ever let me live this down? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Also, I know you won't get your money back for it. Okay, for science. For science. I am afraid to click this button so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo it. Oh. Okay. What happens now? D d you gone? Oh, thank God. Okay, so shit, that's, uh, that's, I have four squats to do. Four squats. I dig it. I dig it. We're starting early. The so you just want a digital drawing day? Oh, a dragon killer? Thank you so much for gifting us up, too. So we got Pacto, so that's five squats. I'm gonna knock these out real quick, because let's be honest, if I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's gonna be chaos. I mean, it's gonna be chaos anyway. Also, it sounds like my little sounds aren't working, so let me fix that first, because otherwise it's gonna be an issue. Of course, it always is. Yeah, there's a hype trick. Fedora! Fedora, how are you? Ten, make it se done. Consider it done. I will do seven squatties. All the squatties. I feel like we, am I allowed to create like a sound for, for those? Oh my God. My rabbit! How have you been? How's everything going? Tell me, I need updates on everything. Hi, hit. Oh God. Oh God, 405 back squat? Bro, do you know how much I weigh? Like, <laughs> I'd be a whole, that would be intense. I would be fantastic if I could just, you know, back squat my own weight. And I can't even do that. I can't do that at all. We got hit and run. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Your sub goal. I, why? Man, I thought I was so good today. I thought I had fixed everything. Of course I didn't. Of course I didn't fix everything. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. Potentially. Um, so obviously I'm changing some things. A little bit. Um, I didn't want to have such large goals. I'm gonna do cosplay days when I feel like doing them, because I don't want to make them only redeemable. Um, I just don't. I, I want I want you guys to have fun, and I only stream three days a week at this point, so you know. This is intense song. I got I go, go I'm good, but da. Oh. Oh, this might be interesting too. I kind of dig this. kind of dig this. Okay. Stack the plates, Hannah. What kind of plates? I only have one plate. And I eat off it. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Will you update? You're going to update me soon? You just popped in to say hi and I miss, miss you too, man. I hope you're doing fantastic. I hope the move has been great. I hope the job has been fantastic. I hope the girl is doing Gucci. Oh my God. All the things. Pot. You pooped? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. You guess that's lucky? It's pretty lucky. The only passing through to say hi, take care. You guys are so Okay, so let's see, we had seven. Uh, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna round it up to 10 because I feel like that would be weird to not do 10 squats. So, goodbye. Let's see how this works. You get my couch. Am I allowed to roll? Yes, you can. All right. Hello. Hi, what's up? Okay, so we got 10 squats with good form, of course, and you can't see it really. I have fuzzy slippers on and they're amazing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. By the way, Koi, I started your woodburning. Or at least mapping it all out. So I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. Do doop. Doop a doop. Senpai? Oh, Rocker Joe! How have you been? Extra squat. I will do an extra squat. I promise. 9.2 squats? Why is there a 9.2? What does that even mean? 
Just stopping on your way to your dad's dinner. Oh, that's awesome, Tommy. I hope you have fun. You're at eight. I gifted. Oh, you gifted two? Okay, so I'll just throw in three at this point. We'll throw three. Also, please go check out Rocker Joe. He's just fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing. He's such a sweet guy. What was that, Joe? Go give him love. He is so good. Okay, I'll do three more. I have to walk all the way across to my, past my kitchen, to my fridge. One, two, three. There we go. Doo doo. Papa, how are you? You're so you're too good. No, you deserve all the freaking love, man. You've seen a similar couch, is it? You? <laughs> no, if it was pleather, then there's a good. Ch I need water. We're gonna get water. Seriously, Rocker Joe, you were fantastic. You deserve all the love whenever you come into any channel. You can hardly hear Hannah over the squat cam binoculars. Oh my God. Oh my God. Water. So today was, <laughs> was the first day of new meds. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, it's like being on drugs. Quite literally. Ooh. Ah, <sighs> how's the sound balance? Does everything sound good? Do I need to go closer? Closer, closer, closer. Flintstones vitamins, the chalky ones. I used to hate those, but if I think about them, I could taste them still, which is really weird. It's just one of those super strange things. Great one, how are you doing? You doing good? New beds are tough. These are, um, well, it has been one hell of a week. Um. It's been so crazy. It's been so... Do we get level 3 hype train? Hell yeah! Look at us go! Um, so originally I was on Stratera, and that was in my system for two months. And then I couldn't get in for an appointment until my insurance kicked in. So uh, I had to wait a little bit, and I ended up having to go off my meds for about a week um, before getting my actual appointment to get them refilled. And then I had to go through withdrawal. <laughs> And it was way different than I thought. Is booming? Okay. Is this much better? Is this good? Is everything is everything Gucci? I think I'm gonna have. Uh, oh, Sai, what's up, man? How are you doing? Thanks for the resub for 23 months, man. 23 prime numbers for the win. I love prime numbers. So good. So so good. Uh, there's a lady in one of my math classes. We were talking about prime numbers. She freaked out. She couldn't handle it. And she just like threw her shit on the ground and left. I was like, ah, luckily that wasn't here. That wasn't at this college. But uh, it, was a thing. it was a thing. They not on purpose. It wasn't on like it wasn't intentional. It was just honestly bad timing with moving across the border and being on medication. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I don't know if any of you guys saw the TikTok or the, the other shit that I posted on Instagram about it. But, yeah, it's Bluebird. <laughs> uh, I wasn't supposed to be prescribed those medications. Like, I, I wasn't supposed to be on it. So when I was talking to the doctor, the first thing she asked, she's just like, okay, so what tests did they do on you before they went ahead and put you on Stratera? And I was like, what? I didn't have any tests. They just put me on it. It was that or Wellbutrin. Like, I had two choices. And I didn't want to go on Wellbutrin because Wellbutrin also is an antidepressant. And I've had to be weaned off those before. And, like, that's a no bueno for me. I will not go back to that. Um, what was her problem? She couldn't figure them out. She didn't understand them. And she just, like, freaked out on it. I was just like, damn. Um, but, yeah. So, I was just like, I don't want to do Wellbutrin. We'll just try this for Tara and see how it is. Because I heard it had a lot less side effects. So, I was like, all right. Like, this will be good. Um... Literally, I just had a 10 minute t like talk with a prescriber, like um, with a psychiatrist at that point. And he just asked me like, are you suicidal? Is there like history of suicide in your family? And I was like, no, no. And he just pretty much prescribed me it at like 25 milligrams and said, here, try this for a month. Let me know. And I was like, okay. So uh, the doctor here was like, they should have done a significant amount of tests before they put you on that. Apparently in Canada, um, that is not the go-to drugs that they prescribe for ADHD because they're a lot less effective. And pretty much they put you on those if there's a reason you cannot have the traditional stimulants. So like if you're also on like bipolar meds or something like that, they'll have to go a different route than a stimulant. 
Um, so I shouldn't, <laughs> they're like, it's not gonna work as well. And also it's, it's gonna mess with your system differently. It's not, it's not really for ADHD. And I was like, oh, cool. So I went through a hell of a fucking withdrawal from it. But the withdrawal from this was so different than like other, like other meds. What the fuck? So when I went off of, uh, shit, what, no, what was it called? It was, it was an antidepressant med. When I weaned off of that, like I had physical symptoms of like, uh, I had something called brain zaps, which was no bueno. It's like, it's like having micro seizures pretty much. Um, and that was because I was on the meds for about six months. So this, I was only on them for two months, but it was like all the therapy I have gone through in the past, like three years, like never happened. Like my brain just freaked out. It wasn't even like physically I was fine. I didn't have headaches. They said some people get headaches. My anxiety like was hella through the roof. Um, all the weird hangups that I've had in the past, like just came back and beat me up and took my lunch money. Like body dysmorphia, everything. It was just like drop kicking me. Oh, what's up, Valor? How are you? You doing well? I hope you're doing well. Coming off of antidepressants feels super weird. It made your skin crawl. Ooh, gross. And like you were dehatched from your body. Yeah, dudes, antidepressants are a whole different beast. Now they actually check before prescribing. Applying logic sounds like non, I know it's crazy because I've ever, I've never had that. Um, I've never been in a situation where even when I have had insurance in the past, it wasn't the best insurance. Even though I was paying a fucking like 150 bucks a month. Like it just wasn't enough. Um, so yeah, I had all these really big issues. That's why I ended up canceling stream because I was dealing with all my past demons. And um, luckily I've gotten over that and things are a lot better now. And now I've got the new meds. Um, but they actually did tests on me. Like they took my heartbeat in like 10 different locations on my body just to make sure like my heart was fine and could handle like a simulant and all this stuff. And it was just like, wow, this is so weird. And she's like, hey, I'm only gonna prescribe you seven days worth and it's gonna be a lower dose. She's like, we're gonna prescribe you 20 milligrams of, uh, I can never remember the name of it. Never remember the name. Hold on, hold on, I'll get there, I'll get there. It starts with like a V. Vivans, they gave me Vivans. Um, so they're gonna give me a week of it at 20 milligrams. And, or no, not 20, 15, sorry. And, uh, fire girl, <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe. Um, and they're gonna, they want me to go back in for additional testing. They're gonna retest my heart and everything and just make sure that my body is handling the stimulant well and whether or not they feel like, you know, I can, you know, I need more of a dose or I need less. Um, they'll work with it on that end too. And I was just like, if this was the States, I couldn't afford that. Like I could not afford to go to the doctor twice in a month. Like there's no way, like that would be completely unheard of for me. Like with deductibles, co-pays, like, nope, nope. Not allowed, Not I can't do it. Like I could hardly afford meds like before. And now I'm just like, what? <laughs> like this is, this is insane. Um, I'm feeling a lot better in regards to coming off of the other meds. This is day one of the Vivan, so it's, it's a little weird. Um, I'm definitely a bit on the loopy side, but I have way too much energy. She, she said that the pill will last for 10 hours pretty much. So I should be kind of coming down from it around 8.30, so we'll see what happens. But man, I feel like I could have conquered the world today. Did I? Absolutely not, but I made rice and it was delicious. God, it was so good. I made food, started started art, finished a project, started another project. I cleaned my apartment. What? I started a new game and you guys are gonna, do you like phone games? This is gonna sound real stupid. Do you like phone games with cats who cook soup? I'm not sponsored, I promise. I'm just addicted to this game. Um, I think it's called Cats and Soup. Like, I'm not even joking. But yeah, yeah it's called Cats and Soup. It's so cute. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Let me turn down the volume though. It plays like really calm music. Oh, hold on. Yes?
was at my door. I was like, hello? It was a, a bunch of little chicks. Uh, <laughs> I was like, hi, they're like, do you know where the bathroom is? I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I have, you can't use mine. Um, anywho, cooking mama, not cooking, fuck. Jesus, look what you guys are doing. Um, cats and soup. It's so cute. Oh God, it's green. It's never gonna show. Wait, if I put it in front of the boobies, no, it's just never gonna work. Anyway, cats have little pods and they cook and and they make food and you upgrade things and it's wonderful. And I need to put it away because otherwise I'll start playing it again. But it's such a fun game and I like it. Checking your maple syrup levels, probably. The pizza boy? Be like, who the fuck are you? Man, we heard you squatting from floor fours down. Oh no. But speaking of which, I do have two squats to do, so we're gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna try to stay up to date with them if I can. Boop. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh. I'm trying to fix something real quick. Let's see what happens. All right, we are back. Oh, wait, the cats are in the soup? No, they make soup. And each cat you can name. So naturally, I love that aspect of it because like, why wouldn't I love that? Um, and uh, yeah, so you as you upgrade the whole area, you have people like make, cutting carrots and cabbages and making juice. It's just great. It's great. They jump on trampolines to like de-stress. <laughs> like, I love it. It's good. Anyway, if you like chill stuff that you don't really have to monitor, that's a good game. Good, good game. They do push ads a little bit for upgrades, but if you do that route and just watch the stupid ads, uh, the upgrades are worth it. So there's that. Do, 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 do. Relief with them. Oh, I'm super relieved. Like way relieved with the medical care here. This is way better than what I had. Way better. Mm -hmm. And I grant that, like, in Canada, obviously, that's not what everyone experiences. I'm very lucky that, that you know, I don't need to have, like, a big surgery or anything done. Because I know for those, it's a little bit harder. Let's see, suddenly there came a tapping as if someone was gently rapping. Oh, my God, rapping on my chamber door. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. If, if we're going Edgar Allan Poe route, like, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Autumn has you playing this game called, oh, I used to love Word Scramble. That was a good one. I played that for a long time. Do, 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 called Word Cookies. Was, were they actual cookies though? I also like the one where you, you have the vials and then you have to organize them. I'm, I think I like the organizing games because I'm so disorganized in real life. Like it makes it, me feel like I've, I've accomplished something, which is probably not true. Seems extra Canadian. I think it's reacting a little bit to the green screen. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. I'll just try not to move too much. Ooh, it's October. We're Scooby Spoopy Games. Oh, we can totally play Spoopy Games. Um, it's a long enough stream today. We can play a lot of different things. I have no problem with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not enough red to be Canadian. It's true. It's red and green. It's kind of Christmassy, if I'm being honest with you. I have a full green one. I was like, yeah, I should wear that. I'm like, I would disappear. I would pull a Dale. Can't do it. It's chatting with the girls for real, for real. Maybe. Tramopolines? Tramopolines. The levels are cooking ingredient thing. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I would enjoy that too. I definitely would. You live right next to where Poe is buried? Ooh, that's pretty cool. I bet it's kind of busy there because I'm sure people will stop there for like, you know, to pay homage. Everyone loves disembodied floating heads. I feel like if I ever was given the choice to like haunt the living as like a specter or something, a phantom, uh, yeah, I would definitely do the floating head trick, but it would be coming out of the water. Just really make them shit a brick while they're just running away. Mm -hmm. Also, why don't ghosts really show up during the daytime? Why is it only like, shit. only at night? Oh my oh, God. Me. Guard rules. Thank you so fucking much for the 10 freaking gift subs. That's so sweet. Now I gotta do 10 squats. <laughs> we have Dead Love, we have uh, Chameleon, Zen Kitties, Keshin, Boo Bear, The Cap, we have Mischief, we have DJ Joint, Lowercase Rocket, and we have Mr. Filica. Thank you so much. All right, squatty, squatty, squatties. 
Squatty, 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 squatties. Okay, I gotta get out of the chair. I can do it. Oh, I have faith in myself. Should I have faith in myself? Probably not. Okay, 10 squats. Side note, <laughs> you, should have, you should have saw those girls peep in my room that were knocking on my door and see this big ass green screen right behind me. <laughs> They're probably like, what are you doing? Just nothing, just don't worry about it. everything is fine. It's in downtown Baltimore and no one wants to be there. Oh, I can understand that. Except for Edgar Allan Poe. I wonder if there's a lot of like Edgar Allan Poe costumes. That'd be interesting because ghosts don't really exist. But when it's dark, you get you can't see properly, and your imagination can do some crazy things. I think that's true. How is everyone? Zombie Clover, I'm doing well. How about you? You have more room for doing squats? I do. A lot of room. And just you wait until that whole area. I like how I'm pointing because you you totally know where, it's it's over there. It's right there. But um, once I get it all dolled up, I think it can look really nice. I really think so. I don't know. Times New Roman font went on Squat Camp. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It can't always be freaking Comic Sans for you. You just finished God of War. How did you like it? Wait, the original one or like one of the newer ones? Do, 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 boy. Yeah, so um, on my throne stuff, I found a moon. <laughs> you can't see it in the picture for some reason. It, it, it didn't transfer. I don't know why. But anyway, oh, the 2018 God of War. Oh, hell yeah, get it. Uh, but anyway, it's like a 10 inch moon that lights up and it goes on your wall. So I've got that. And then I got a bunch of like wisteria vines and I think I can make them like kind of staggery cutesy. I'm bad at words when describing things. Kind of like how in the game Gris, how you're in that final level and there's like the, the draping pretty stuff. Like, I kind of want to do something like that. I think that would be really cool. And then maybe I'll add like a fuzzy blanket or something or some ridiculous pillows. I'm not sure. Words. Words are hard. But you know what? I do my best. I think the funniest thing being here is like, yeah, words are really hard for me. <laughs> but when I'm around a lot of French, it makes me think like I just can't hear right. And and then I think I have a hearing issue because I'm like, oh, wow, I really just can't differentiate words. I'm like, no, it's actually a different language, Hannah. You're fine. It was your first playthrough. You went for medium difficult. How did you like it? Next time, if you do decide to go back into it, are you going to keep the difficulty at medium? Are you going to up it to hard? Yeah, yeah. So um, I found some of the, par the partners that Throne has in Canada are completely different than the ones that they have for America. America, Jesus, the US, well, the state side. Technically, everything is like North America, but um, yeah, so I'm, I've been checking out some of those websites and kind of seeing what the deal is and if there's anything that's really cool. I also reached out to that that website that sells that one. So those pins, because they also have stuff from Gris and other uh, Devolver games, and they have the rights to make those things. So I sent them a message. We'll see if it gets anywhere. It probably won't because it's a smaller company. But I'm like, if you guys ever need an artist, let me know. Because if I can go ahead and do my shit under the guise of this business, like I can make some really, really cool fan art. Like that would be awesome. And then I can just go through them and like, make them pay me royalties for, for selling my shit. So we'll see what happens. Who knows? It's a big shot in the dark. Um, but I'm okay with shots in the dark. Sometimes it's good to just take a chance, right? Just so that you can. Oh, hi Crimson. The Pookie Pookie pin is really cute. Yeah, it's pretty adorable. No, she's changing already. What do you mean I'm changing already? The first playthrough you're like normal is the way to go. Like the artist's intention and the experience they want. That does make sense. Crimson, how are you doing? 19 months, you're still stuck with me. No regrets, not a single regret. Fan art, fart, noted. Oh my God, you and the farts. You and the farts, man. I'll never get away with that. And now that I put it on shorts, it's probably gonna be back 
to like bite me in the ass at some point. Anyway, we got a squat to do. Squatty, squatty, squatties. Badoo, 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 boos. Whoop One single squat. Hopefully this helps get rid of all my extra energy because right now I just have way too much. One. Okay. It's like going to a chef and being like, make me your signature meal and then add like hella sriracha. Oh my God. You put out shorts too early. What do you mean too early? I'm better off getting whatever I can on there while it's still like low volume. It's going to be, let's see, wait, you love God of War and because it's North mythology, you could not say no. And you got it for free with your PlayStation 5. As long as it plays good. Did you like it? Do you like their take on like the North mythology? All that stuff, because North stuff is pretty interesting. Oh, lazy. Lazies are the best. I feel like we lost you to Canada land forever. Now that you have medical stuff, um, the medical stuff does does help, not gonna lie. But no matter how long I wanna stay over here, I am restricted with my visa. So there is that, which is, which is a boo moment, but you know, there's only so much I can do with that. So much I can do. Oh goodness. Wait, is it because I opened the thing? Hold, me to mute that. Do, do, do. Okay, so yeah, they are just playing through there. Let's see. Fart Girls Christmas season one. It's pumpkin spice Halloween. Oh my gosh, I gotcha, I gotcha. We need Sarah. What? Sarah's amazing. If you restrict it with your visa, you should get a MasterCard. Oh. Oh my god. I do need to get a bank account. That's that's the next thing on my list. You could just marry a Canadian. I'm uncomfortable with that. Not because they're Canadian. I don't know, man. I've got I've got so many hangups when it comes to relationships. Like maybe it's best I just don't go back on the market. Like I should just Maybe it could be one of those marriages where like I get married to a gay guy. Like I would be totally fine with that. We have good news to share. You got a promotion work fantastic. Became official on Monday. Your title got updated by HR and a nice salary bump. Does it make the time that you spend at the job worth it? You love Norse mythology and Greek mythology and the game is about 87% accurate, which is really fun. That's awesome. That's freaking amazing. I love that. They're great A spouses. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I don't know if I could handle that. Ah, that's, mm -hmm. I don't know. In Ottawa, like, I just feel like a lot of people are really materialistic, which, I mean, I'm in a city, so of course that's gonna happen. People like the finer things, but like, I'm like so not materialistic at all. Like, I feel like I just, I wouldn't work in that, that dynamic. Let's see, what about getting married to a straight girl? That's an option too. Uh, I would be okay with that, but then I have to live with a girl. Like, we could, can we live apart? Can I just like have the title of married? Like that, that'd be fine. I'd be okay with that. At least with men, they're easier to live with in my personal experience. Do, 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 do. Is tonight pun night? It can be if you want it to be great one. That doesn't sound promising. <laughs> oh, geez. That is to be determined. We're in peak season again. 25 software releases this week alone. Oh my God. So all the, that's gonna be rough. That is gonna be rough, but you've got it. You're super easy to live with yourself. <laughs> well, now you're not even living alone because you've got that adorable dog. So, you know, it's a little bit different. Marry your Kezu plushie, <laughs> he'll make the news at least. He's so cute. He's, 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 oh, oh, I'm just gonna put that away off, off cam because it looks weird. Should I just like put him on my shoulder? A shoulder Kezu? It, uh, <laughs> can't do it, I can't do it. Oh my God. Other people, <laughs> let's see, if we're going uh, for easy to live with, just get a dog. Maybe if you adapt a Canadian dog, they'll keep you, doubt it. Um, who knows? If I can change my school visa to a work visa, I should be good, but I would have to have a reason to do that or at least a prestigious enough job. So maybe if I can get it to where like, I'm working on a large art project for the city, I can stay or something like that, uh, we'll make it work. But I have four years to figure it out. 
That's plenty of time. I can always decide to go for a Masters, too. And I could be Master Isosaki. Guys, go check out Sarah. Your victory bell is sick. It's albino. <laughs> yep, definitely an albino yeah, one. Could you live in a bus conversion? I probably could, but I'd still get thrown out of the country if something happened. I was gonna say hi, nerds, but then the, the plushy Kezu was mentioned, and now I don't know how I feel. You should feel amazing. You should feel amazing. Uh, see, you missed a conversation. Well, I mean, you missed it because you're not in the Discord that I am. But I was in a Discord the other day, and we were talking about like really, really cursed VTuber models, and I was like, what if I was just the VTuber model of like. Big Milky Dummy Mommy Kazu. And then also it came up like, what if I was a VTuber mo model of uh, Jimmy Neutron's mom? Like, I could totally be Jimmy's mom with a fucking like badonk and I wouldn't be so happy. Like, that's reason enough to try to save for like a, a, a freaking Valve Index so I can just be Jimmy's mom. It'd just be amazing. Master Saki. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Kazu plushie looks a, a little less phallic. I think they tried very hard so people didn't. Try to use it for weird things, maybe. Need to get on Discord more. You missed it too. It was a great conversation. BRB getting water. Apparently, big milky dummy mommy kezu is too much for Koi to handle. He needs some water. Needs some water. My gosh. Do do do. Sorry, I'm changing the the sub goal because then it then it'll be accurate. Because otherwise, it's gonna be inaccurate and it's gonna drive me nuts. Do do do. Do, 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 do. Okay. I have to edit this one. But then I have to change this one too. I'm trying to be better at this stuff, but you know, it just takes a lot of time. I had a different idea and I might, I might do that later. So usually when I have um, scenes for OBS, I have it sectioned by like just chatting, PC stream, uh, all that stuff. So I kind of have it by categories, but I'm thinking about changing it up. And the reason why I'm thinking about changing it up is what if I just do all of my goals on one? That way, when I change it on one, it updates all of them and it doesn't have weird shit like this. Um, like that way, when I change my schedule, it changes it across the board, stuff like that too. And then just overlay all of the, the, the fucking web inputs. Cause I feel like that would just be easier. It does, that makes too much sense. It does make sense. And then it would be less complicated in a way, um, instead of having to change everything across the board, like individually, I could do it in one fell sweep without losing the rest of everything. So like, because I updated this, that got wiped. And like, I hate that. I hate that. I don't want that. So I'll, maybe tomorrow I'll go in and fix it. We'll see how I feel. Not cottagecore VTuber model? I am not cottagecore. If anything, I would be like goth cottagecore. At that point, it's just like a Morticia Adams who likes to bake cakes that have skulls on them. Cottage corn, ooh, grody. That would be a thing. That would absolutely be an interesting thing though. Hmm. <laughs> it's corn. Oh, oh, you're one of those? You want skull cakes? Dude. I want to learn how to make them. I've got a kitchen now. We can do kitchen streams. I haven't tried it out. Um, I still need to figure out how to use my phone as an input on OBS, but I don't think it will be an issue. Um, I think it should be fine. It should be good. It should be good. And Angelica Houston is Morticia Adams. Dude. Oh, she's got some wonderful fucking features. Like that, that woman she does. Apparently her dad was a very famous director. Um, and because of it, she had some weird stigma in, in Hollywood, which I was like, oh, interesting to know. Yeah, she a sassy one. So you can't find the dono button on mobile, but you might go to the office and boot up the PC Crimson. You're so sweet. You don't have to do that at all. Let's see, the same with Kate Blanchett. Yes. Oh my God. Cool. She's beautiful. Oh, that's what I should do next. I should do my hella cosplay. My hair is back to the length for it. So I, I mean, I can totally do it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of that. Huge fucking fan of that. Mm. Listen, I watch TikToks at work. What else am I supposed to do? Actually work? Absolutely not. Fair enough. I totally get it. I totally, totally get it. So here's a link if it makes it easier. But then how are we going to get you to do all the squats again? I will see the dono change on, on the dono goal. 
And then I will do do squats for every five bucks. Five buckle roonies. Yep, yep, yep. Back when they invented scissors, it was sheer genius and so cutting edge. Oh my god, yeah, it was. It was, it was the tits. The absolute tits! Um, so, other news. Yes, the link helps. Five bugs. Oh, bugs? Why bugs? I don't want bugs. No bugs. No bugs. I killed a spider. I killed a spider the other day. Um, it was like a big house. Well, uh, it wasn't big by my standards. Tennessee spiders are a different caliber of spiders in general. Um, it was probably like the size of a nickel. And, and it was like the slowest moving house spider I think I've ever seen in my life. Cause like in, in Tennessee, they're like, I'm here to kill you and like eat your babies. Um, it, here, it's, I'm pretty sure he said sorry for invading your space. Like, sorry, um, as I killed him. Uh, but yeah, he died. He definitely died. He was not allowed to live. Poor little guy. I think he came from the hallway. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I kill the spider so she could get the bug? No. I think I killed a butterfly in your car earlier. Good. I'm proud of you, Sai. You get it. It was the size of a nipple. Yeah, yeah, it was. I, I, why, is, why is that so off-putting? I don't know how I feel about that. I killed a nipple-sized spider. Like, oh, I don't know. Whose nipple? Titties. I mean, yeah, it, it's, that's a thing. Um, that is that is definitely a thing. A spider season is coming to an end. I know, it's great. I haven't really had any issues. There's actually a really large spider. Well, it's not even really large. An <clears throat> Another nipple-sized spider. Um, but it's a different type of spider. It's one of those that has, they're like the orb weavers kind of thing, but it's not an orb weaver though, because those are bigger, but uh, they got the big booties, you know, it's a big booty spider, like, and it's it's in a window and on the outside, of course. And I'm just like, huh, I wonder when this thing's gonna die. Like, I'm just watching like the life cycle of this spider. I'm just like, okay, I'm close to it, but it's not in my space. So like, I'm all right with it. But like, if it gets any closer, like this, it's gone. Absolutely got whose nipples <laughs> they come in any sense. That's true. Um, it's, it's a solid nickel sized nipple um, for that matter. Are you from Nashville? Oh, no, 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 I'm not. Why? What? What? You mean, you mean ten are you from Tennessee? Tennessee? Is the spider, oh, the spider from the car is still? No, no, it's dead. It's dead. Um, I found that one. It tried to drop down on my face, believe it or not, in the middle of the night. I had to pull over in front of a freaking post office and like ran around my car with a shoe making sure I killed it. It was it was lovely for the people in the parking lot because there were people in the parking lot. Has it frozen outside? No, it's about 50 degrees though. Like it's kind of fluctuating between almost 60 and like mid mid 40s right now. What's up Disco? How are you doing? You doing well? I hope you're doing fantastic. Boo booty spiders are creeper than little booty spiders. Yeah, but big booty spiders don't run as fast because they got that big old donk with them. So, you know, they kind of have to maneuver it. It's just like one of those things. Through open the door for lady, it was good manner, but she just screamed and flew out of the plane. Magic, I love it. I love it. You're the only 10 I see has been used 75 times. No! Thank you for the sub over, gave it to you. Lowercase rocket, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Enjoy your emotes, they're pretty meme -y, but like in a good way, I, I think so at least. Is it like a cat head spider? Those have enormous boot. I don't know what that is and I'm afraid to look it up. I'm gonna be really honest. Um, Think about, I don't know. It's a spider. It's just, it's just a spider. It's Spooter? Spooter Steve? I, I don't know. Trapdoor sp I do not like trapdoor spiders. I don't trust grass because of trapdoor spiders. Mimi? Yeah, it's totally Mimi. Totally Mimi. Mm -hmm. Arachna booties? It's not Arachna. If it was Arachna Kadaki booty, like, I, I'm pretty sure I would be charged with arson. I would invest in um, the largest can of hairspray to use it as a flamethrower. They do have big butts. Ooh. Cat head spiders have cat head shaped booties. Oh, wait, are they the ones with the little, like, pokies? The little spiky butts? I bet they aren't spiky butts. Spiders did squats. <laughs> How would they do them? They would just get really, like, low to the floor and then go back up. Be like, oh, wow. They would teabag. It would be the equivalent of teabagging. Spiders don't do squats, they teabag, regardless of their parts. Do you, do you like how I'm trying to logic this? It's not really going well. It's not going well at all. And now I'm just have some really weird visuals um, that I didn't necessarily need in my head. And that, yet here they are. They are absolutely there. Good God. Got a can of nitrogen? 
All the killing and none of the flame. Oh, well, yeah, but nitrogen's expensive. Granted, it's not as expensive as helium, but either way, it's... Are we talking about, like, just in the gaseous form or in, like, liquid nitrogen? Because then you could freeze it. Not I'm well? You think Anybody it's doing great? Crimson. Crimson, you are so I'm fucking sweet. You did Anybody? not have to do that. You are so fu- Oh, my God. Coffee. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Right now, all the, all the all the monies and shit I'm making is going towards my freaking car insurance. Been on the phone with State Crimson Farm all day. One hundred dollars. Oh. Proud you killed a spider. Thanks. But also squats, cause it's the first stream I've caught in a while. All right, we got squats, 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 squats. We got twenty of them. Twenty of them squats. All right. With with my little. My little slippers. I hope I don't slip. That'd be so embarrassing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. All done. God, good thing I wore deodorant today, Jesus. Not like I wouldn't be wearing it anyway, but better, you know, safe than sorry. 20 squats. Got my heart going a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. I've never like worked out with these meds. So like, we're gonna see how this goes. It's a good introductory into working out. No one would smell you if you weren't, well, yeah. But still, I would, I would smell myself. Ew. Hairspray would kill the spider without the fire. They breathe with little holes. That's where you're wrong, Ree. I mean, technically you are highly correct, but I have tried to kill multiple spiders with hairspray. Only hairspray. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It just slows them down a little bit. And it's terrifying. <laughs> Honestly, what works really well is perfume. If you spray them with perfume, they like freak out and ball up for a second. And then you can kill them. Hi, Goku, what's up? How are you doing? Ew, your time's really fun. I will fix it eventually for you, eventually. Yeah, those girls looking in the bathroom could have been like, wow, she wasn't wearing deodorant. I'd be so embarrassed. Yeah, I just made them look fabulous. Their little like hairs were like, oh God. You're doing fine, thank you. And you, I'm doing great. Doing super good. Just like happy to be streaming and like feel good enough to stream. Good God, like, oh. Do you smell? What the Hannah is squatting? No, uh, well, I don't even want to know what that would be. I'll be honest, when I like work out, I sweat. I am a sweaty girl. It is not attractive at all. Like to the people who are like, I love it when a girl sweats. You clearly haven't seen me because it's just like, it's not, it's not, it's not pretty. It's just not pretty. Koi beat you to it. Hanel, how are you doing? Your go-to solution for spiders still has always been toss a bit of baking powder onto them and some water. Oh, that's a great idea. I never thought about that. But also, I don't have baking powder just staying around. But it would be interesting. What kind of hairspray do you use? I bet Aquanet would do... Aquanet would not only do damage to the ozone, but it would fuck up any spider. Um, I, use, I use Aussie, which is funny. But now I don't really use anything because, like, now that my hair is back to, like, its normal length it's just the the asian genes have just come through and it's like oh congrats your hair is just only straight and i'm like thanks just right in the rocks voice <laughs> don't be weird like i can't i can't not be weird weird is my default and that's what's even worse is i'm like this in person like you can ask anyone in here who's actually like spent time with me like if nasser's in here you could just ask him is hannah weird and he's gonna be like oh my god yeah Super weird, fuck. Like, incredibly weird. 
You don't have baking powder in your kitchen? Well, not yet. I don't have anything. I don't even have real forks. Like, <laughs> I am slowly like moving back into having a functioning apartment. Uh, I do have a rice cooker and I have a wonderful teapot though. And I'm really, really happy about that. What's up, Kara? You doing a little bit better? Posted a pic of right now on the Chonky Boys. Duke is pouting as you move him. Oh, dude, I love all the Chonky Boys. What are fake forks? Plastic ones. Actually, these are worse than plastic. They were the only ones that they had at the time. They were like biodegradable wood. Like, whoever made these just like, here, let me give your mouth splinters. I ended up just switching to chopsticks, I'm gonna be honest. Weird is the way normal is just another word for boring. Oh, uh, that's fair. I would agree with that. But like, I'm starting to realize like I'm even weird amongst the art students. I was, so we were in this giant circle in our painting class and uh, we, we were all just painting whatever we wanted to. We just like, we were working on color theory. So as long as you were using the color that you're trying to make um, and doing that well with color matching, you can pretty much paint whatever you want. And I was like, I don't know. So I made a line, I was like, kind of looks like a fish. So I made a bunch of koi fish. I was like, look at all these chickens. And then <laughs> the chick next to me, whose name is Holly, one, she is amazing and wonderful. And I like her art. Um, she also has this really interesting like aesthetic to her. Like, so she's got super like, I don't want to say frizzy, like not frizzy in a bad way, but she's like puffy hair and it's hot pink. And she has two really long braids that she puts like old school nineties beads on like the plastic ones. Um, and sometimes she dresses gothy, other times, like, she dresses really cottagecore. And, uh, so the other day she was cottagecore, but she also had made a mustache. Like, like a full-on hairy mustache that she had, like, drawn on. And I was like, this is amazing, Holly. Like, I love this. Like, I don't know what you're going for, but, like, I dig it. Like, I'm totally here for it. Um, and she was painting a croc. When I say, I mean the shoe. Like, a croc. And I was just staring at it, because at this point I had chugged coffee because I thought it was a good idea. It was not a good idea. It was a good enough idea though. And she was like, why are you staring at it so weird? I was like, it kind of looks like you're making a really derpy spider. And she's like, what? And I'm like, yeah. And your pillow kind of looks like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And she was like, how are you seeing these? I was like, oh, cause you got these lines right here and it looks like eyes. So I feel like it would be hanging from the ceiling and it looks like really puffy bread. And maybe I'm hungry. Um, and I just was like, <laughs> Just, yeah. And then she was just staring at me like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I'm, I'm not even gonna apologize. Like, this is just how it is all the time. And then and then I told her about how someone wanted a idea for, for, for drawing. And I'm like a kangaroo and like, like, just with coffee and all. I just, it was, Holly is like, I don't know what's wrong with this old lady, but uh, there's something there. <laughs> maybe it's like dementia, maybe it's Maybelline. I don't, I don't know. Rice cooker and a pot for potatoes. You have everything you need. I kind of feel the same way. Yeah, you could use chopsticks. I do love chopsticks. I have a lot of them. Biodegradable wood. Yeah, they like they're eco-friendly forks and it's just wood, just piece of wood with little cuts in it for forkies. Okay, today it's just been paying a lot of Final Fantasy VII. Give your brain as much of a break as you need. Mm -hmm. Chunky kings rise up. What? Weird in the arsons? Yeah, yeah, I'm weird. Just a weird, my brain just doesn't work the same way that other people's brains work, which is okay. Like, it's not bad. It's just, sometimes it's very obvious to me that it is not the same as everyone else's, um, which is okay. Cause it makes my art unique, but it's weird in social situations. Yeah, it's strange. It sounds redundant, a little bit, a little bit redundant. It's not as bad as paper straws. No hate for chopsticks though. See, if you're good, you could eat just about anything with them. And I was raised on chopsticks. There's pictures of me at like four eating with chopsticks, covered in rice, mind you. But um, I mean, I'm usually fine with that. Do, do, do. Yeah, but aren't most of them teenagers? They're all, the most part, they're 19. There's a few older people in there. We actually have a lady named Karen who is in her 40s. She's actually really sweet though. But um, let's see, you feel like teenagers are still too afraid to be authentic and comfortable? Some, yes. Um, the kids in the art department though, they're a little bit more okay with who they are. They're, they're still like trying to be the art kid, if you know what I mean. But, but I think they're starting to get there. Draw her. Um, I actually had to paint her on the very first day, but I had to paint how she felt. Not physically. I did not feel this lady up. 
That'd be fucking weird. Um, so I had to look at her and be like, I had to paint what I feel she looks like. So I painted her as a really pink teddy bear with the, with the braids and, and just with a septum piercing. And she's like, that's so cute. I was like, yeah, cause you think you're all hard cause you're all gothy sometimes, but like, you're just a teddy bear. Like you just, you're just happy to be here. And she's like, yeah, <laughs> like, I know it's okay. Like it's fine. Binoculars, croc shoes, the dog poo in it. Maybe, maybe. Holly was all like, what? Yeah, it was kind of that. Like, it was one of those moments where I was like, oh, I forgot to like mitigate how I am socially. Like, I, usually I, I don't, like I filter the fuck out of myself um, because I don't want to come across as off-putting or mentally deranged. Granted, I'm not mentally deranged, but uh, weird head, that, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm just, I'm just a weird person when it comes to art and what I see in art and how I make art and just fucking weird. But, you know, it's, it's art, so it's not really supposed to be a generic. But the chaos that comes out of your head is what makes your stream so entertaining. It's... It's taken me a while to be comfortable with myself. It's taken me a long time. Like, I don't think I started to really be fully comfortable with my personality um, until I started bartending full-time. Um, and what helped me a lot there is drinking because <laughs> when you drink you don't have as much of a filter so it kind of helped me break out of the just like hi how are you kind of thing instead of being like dude what the fuck's up they'd be like what it's aggressive I'm like i'm aggressive it's just what it is and like eventually i just became more comfortable with it and then when i got into streaming it kind of solidified that even more and now i'm here i'm here talking to all you guys about my, my weird ass neurodivergent self you know what? Whole animorphs on Holly a little bit. A little bit. I don't know why. Teddy Saki. I would be the. If I was like a little teddy bear, I would be. I would be like the weirdest little teddy bear ever. I feel like. Would I be a teddy bear? If I was a plushie, what kind of plushie would I be? Like, like I don't. I don't know. I don't fucking know what I would be. What's up, Boo? You doing good? You doing well? You doing fantastic? Your kid told you yesterday that your aura was purple. If I, I want to look that up, I'm, I'm curious. Um, strongly associated with intuition, psychic abilities, and connectedness with the spiritual realm. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, so I don't know too much about auras. That, that's not really my area of expertise in general. But uh, my therapist, she used to work with a lady who saw them. And like, she could very visit, like she saw them. Like it wasn't like she had to like focus and like close her eyes. Like she could just see everyone's auras, um, which I was like, that's really interesting. Uh, and she said that, that my therapist, she had a light blue aura and she was a very safe person and just like non-judgmental. I'm like, that's really cool. Her brain mouth filter is useless, toss it out. Yeah, exactly. It just didn't update with the rest of everything else. Got the same feeling at MCAD here in cities as well. What weird art students? Yeah, well, Savannah would have some really weird art students too. Um, I've never been to Savannah. I really wish I would have before, before I came here though. You see spiders everywhere. I see spiders in a lot of places. That is true. A crock of shit. Kangaroo with a coffee? Yeah. And his pouch is full of space. But the chaos that comes from your head is what makes um, the stream so entertaining. But does it though? Like, here, here's my take on it. I feel like my non-filteredness just makes people more comfortable because it makes them realize that other people are just as awkward as they are. Like, I am an awkward son of a bitch. I'm just really lucky that I'm pretty sometimes. Like, ooh, it's interesting. Draw how she felt, scrambles up a sign for art, emotionally, but gradually signs up for art. It was, <laughs> there was one girl who did not want to be in that art class. She's like, I hate it. I'm just here because this is what I'm good at. I don't actually enjoy it. I'm like, you should not be in this major then. If you don't enjoy it, what are you wasting your money on? Even when drunk, you're still on the quiet side? It depends on who you're around. Oh, you think I'd be a rack to play? Fuck you, would not. Dami Mami Kezu, I'd be okay with that. You vote Red Panda? Yes, just because... If I get scared, I'll be like, oh. <laughs> I'll do the, the, the panda jump thing. 
I, I would I would be on board for that. Like, I think I'm scary, but I'm really just this little panda who just has no idea what to do. And it's just like, I don't know why I'm here, but ah. <laughs> yeah, accurate. Super, super accurate. You're doing super fantastic. That's what I like to hear. Hannah plushie full of glass shards instead of floof. I mean, probably accurate. I've worked with enough glass in my time that I'm... Too many splinters from glass. That That's just all I'm going to say. It's not fun. It is just not. No bueno. No bueno. Not at all. Mm -mm. Let's see. I think you could be a taxidermied squirrel with a top hat. You know, I'd be all right with that. I would dig it. Do I also get a monocle? Like, I feel like it has to come with a monocle. Psychic abilities? Jean Grey. Your aura is red. I don't know what my aura would be, but... I don't know. If any of you guys in here see the auras, let me know what I got. Is that a giant spooter behind you? No, but it's, it's kind of some like naked little egg boys. You're super weird. I like your weird, Kara. You have a very, very wonderful, wonderful weird. Hi, Haku. How are you? Red pandas are your favorite. They're so cute. Lucario has an aura sphere. That, see, that's pretty cool though. Let's see, the huge part of how you act socially. You try to be very open, vulnerable, inclusive, weird. Try to enable others around you to be like, well, I'm not as odd as that guy, so I guess I could be myself. Rhea, I like that. Rhea. Guys, go follow this guy. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. His, his little fluff and scruff is gone, though. But you, but you should go follow him. He's, he's pretty smart. Opera, Bowser, and Twitch are having... Oh, not Bowser. Browser. Could you imagine an opera version of Bowser? I bet he, I mean, what if he was like an alto? Does Bowser just sing in falsetto? Like, I don't, now I have weird brain focus on that one. Um, I'm sorry that Twitch is having disagreements. But seriously, you should absolutely go follow Dale. Videos of them play bright in your day? 100% of the time, they're pretty cute. They're super freaking cute. Do well about yourself? I'm doing well. I'm enjoying it. I'm just kind of chilling out right now. But I'm getting ready to play some Monster Hunter. Do you guys want to play some Monster Hunter? Also, in Japan, there is a Monster Hunter bar. And I told my brother he should go visit it, so we'll see what happens. I hope he does. If, if he if he doesn't, I'm gonna be sad because that's such a missed opportunity. Also, he better take tons of fucking pictures. God. Mm. Yes, Monster Hunter. Damn, or straight. Side note: Nasser's in Japan right now, so uh, he's got a conference that he's going to. But I was like, hey, you should go to like. What are the muscle lady bars? Like, go to the muscle lady bars. Like, you'll have to tell me how it is. Cause like, of course I want to go to a muscle lady bar. What kind of lady would I be? Um, <laughs> no, I'm not, <laughs> fuck, you should go. But, but all they have are muscle men bars where he's at. They're just macho man bars. And I think he should go anyway. He, sh he should go to them anyway. <laughs> and also take pictures <clears throat> for science. Opera Bowser? Like, Pover yeah, like Pavarotti, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Have you seen the Monster Hunter TV show? It's been running for years. It's called Special Victims. <laughs> it's just me coming back in the cart every time. You'll th you should, you should. Macho Man Randy Savage Bars? Oh God, that would be interesting. Also, I feel like there's just gonna be a lot of like, Core's Light being drunk. That's okay though. <laughs> okay, if he does take pictures, you better share. Otherwise, how else are we gonna support Oh, supposed to live vicariously through him? Your inner weave must see, like supposedly they have like, like the weapons and everything like on the walls and uh, like they've made a bunch of cosplay props. So it looks really, really cool. Um, but that one's in Tokyo. But Thurston Herbert weird? Never heard such, I don't know who Thurston Herbert is. I, I don't know what you're talking about. That would, that would be, that'd be fucking weird. Real fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I don't. Who's that? Who's that? When they discovered my my Twitter at work, that was fun. They only serve Slim Jims. I wouldn't be mad. I do quite enjoy a Slim Jim every once in a while. Funny story, you had a guy check in and his name was Randy Savage. You couldn't check him in with a straight face. I'm sure he gets that a lot. Dono goal. I know, and I'm not gonna change it. I will change it the next stream. That is the Dono goal for the day and we reached it. Damn it. Well, you hate going? Oh, you're going to Tokyo that you'll cover the trip. Crimson, hopefully in the next two years. I'm gonna have to start saving for it though. See, Randy Savage, he was the chosen one. 
the chosen one. Yeah, apparently Crimson, they're about to open up the border and everything over there. So hopefully things will be super cool. I just want to see like all the all the ridiculous things. And when I say all the ridiculous things, like, yes, I do absolutely mean like the giant robot restaurant. Um, but also I want to see really cool things. Like I want to go and see the bamboo forest. There's tons of different tea houses that you could stay in where like the actual roofs open. So like at night you can just look up at the moon and stuff like that. Like I would die to see that. I would fucking die for that. Oh my God, I would be so happy. Um, there's just a lot of really cool areas. Really, really cool areas. I want to see a lot of the nature stuff too. Um, one of the air, one of the mountains over there, I don't remember which one it is, but they have the giant wasps and I was told don't go there because they're very aggressive. <laughs> Hulk Hogan screwed Randy Savage's push, lame. Absolutely lame. Oh, they already did? As of today. Oh, I was like, are, are you sure? <laughs> Damn. Let's see, you gotta act like you forgot his name and ask for it again. Just be like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> pretty good such a missed opportunity you spent five and a half months in okinawa the navy so now you must travel mainland that's really freaking cool that's super super cool how did you like it in okinawa no murder bees yeah i mean it's an interesting way to go if i if i go and die in japan like i i, I would almost hope it'd be a murder bee at least it'd be interesting yeah Yep, I would be like, you biatch, and then I would be like, ah, and then I'd die. So not yet mid-October. Let's see, just go to art school in Japan for it. There's actually a lady in my, my art classes who's from Japan. She was there getting her master's, and then she decided to study abroad and went to Canada. Um, her art style is so fucking cool. I just, oh, she doesn't know it yet. We're gonna be friends. We're gonna be friends. I'm so excited. Her art style is so... It's so swoopy. Like she was making this tiger out of metal and it was just like like metal wiring. But her her line work, it's not like like circles. Like it wasn't like she was like winding it. It just has so much like movement and motion and I was just like, oh, this is great. This is so great, I love it. What's up, Brian? How are you doing? Okay, so the article you said starting in October. So you thought October 1st. That's fine. Okie was great. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. I bet the food is amazing too. You have to travel Canada first. Oh, that's probably true. I have to travel Canada. I just want to travel the fucking world. I do. I want to travel everywhere. I want to go see all the things and experience all the things and, and take all the pictures. Like, I just, I'm just so happy. So, so happy. Maybe when I get married to that gay guy, <laughs> you know, to have the, the Canadian marriage. <laughs> or, or, you know, straight girl, whatever works. Um, you know, <laughs> we can just go travel. Let's see, the older gen out there hates us, but the newer gen knew we support a lot of the economy out there. But there was so much rich history that you didn't get to see it all. See, that makes sense. There's there's just so much to see. Like, so much to see. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so cool, though. It's, I would be jealous. Oh, Onsen? That'd be cool. Metal art is so cool. Like, metal health is your friend. Oh my fucking god. Let's see, you're good? You're here to hear any of your, your college student, or stories. Well, uh, you missed the one about Holly, um, dress in cottage core, but then she added a mustache for like physique. It was, it was pretty sassy, I loved it. Uh, she was very confused by my comments on her artwork on how they looked like kind of like a spider and also like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <sighs> yeah, I've got a good brain, but eh, things are good. Don't get started on the food. You did ramen around the world because there are like 30 different types to try. I'm a hoe for ramen, okay? I'm just gonna say it now. If you put jammy eggs in ramen and just go, here you go, Hannah, I'll just be like, you are the best thing with legs. Like, or if you don't have legs, I'll be like, you are just the best thing. Uh, I'll be like, this is amazing. You're all, you probably can't go to any on, oh, because your tattoos. Yeah, I'm on that club too. Um, I would definitely have to cover everything, which, which is okay. Like I wouldn't have issues like covering my tattoos given the situation. I understand. Not everyone is accepting to tattoos. It just is what it is. So if I have to cover them, so be it. But the only time it would really be like a bigger issue is if I tried to go to a bathhouse, um, which I, I can take or leave, quite frankly. But um, if someone was really wanting me to experience it, I know they have some bathhouses that are okay for people with tattoos, but I am also considered heavily tattooed, even though it's all in like one arm, but it's, it's 
Oh, it's a whole like, it's an, it's a limb. Um, you wanna go to Kanto and play Pokemon Go for the memes? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Mm-hmm. Sounds amazing. Have to bathe with the other Yakuza? I'd be okay with that. I'd be like, hey, which one of you wants to be my house husband? And then just see what <laughs> what kind of shit happens. <laughs> that would be fine. No, no, no. <laughs> Mine's only one, but it's a whole back piece. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if I don't remember if you posted it, Crimson. But if you haven't, you should. You totally should. Yeah, when you have like a large piece it's i guess it's a little bit more overwhelming like here even i have people stare at my tattoos very blatantly and i don't know if it's like a cultural thing like where i was in tennessee everyone was tattooed like for the most part like you'd be really surprised to not see someone tattooed so it was i don't know like you don't even really like stare at it uh but here they're just like wow like you have a lot of tattoos and i'm like it's just one it's just continuous piece um, so for me, it's no big deal, but for here, I wonder how it's going to be getting a job. If it's not in the artsy kind of realm. Okay, so it goes across your entire shoulders. Gotcha. Kind of hard to get pictures of your back. Gotta do that mirror selfie, you know? That good old mirror selfie. Alright, so are we ready for some Monster Hunter? We're gonna, we're gonna hunt these monsters. All, all the monsters. Oh, I have to change a thing too. Hold on. Eat the dope. Uh, stay. PC. Gotta make sure I get all these things updated. Otherwise, certain people in the chat gonna give me sass. Actually, that would be nothing new. That's okay though. Okay. Okay, okay. Do do. Gonna switch this out. Transition! Congratulations, guys. You see my background. Isn't it so cute? It's just so cute. Okay, we're gonna kill this. Goodbye, music. See you later. We're gonna we're gonna open this. Do 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 do. You wanna get a tattoo for your job and E on your left cheek and D on your right one for EOD? I dig it. I like it. Have you noticed a lot of tats? Um, not really, actually. Um, the people that do have a lot of tattoos are kind of like... I don't know. They're, they're more like... Either you're fully tatted or you have like one tattoo. One really small tattoo. Like, there's not a lot of in-betweens. At least that I've seen. You're not gonna lie, Grounded, the finished version, dropped this week, so you might go pick it up. Do it! Absolutely do it. Mm -hmm -hmm. Is there a way to avoid a chat sash? No, there, there's no way. I will always- oh look, we're compiling shaders. Uh, there will always be sass in chat. There's no way around that. You had a drop in when you saw the notice? Oh, Crimson, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate the crap out of you. You're amazing. Male version of the tramps- yeah, it's just the, the freaking forearm tattoo. That, that's one. No sass here, what you talking about? Lies. It's all lies. Absolutely. Do, do. All right, so game is slowly kicking off. It's just taking a little bit of time. Never any sass. Yeah, there's definitely a, I'm, I'm also not a sassy streamer. I don't, I don't know what we're talking about. There's no sass. There's never been any sass. Are we, are we gonna, we're gonna die. Like, do you guys realize this with this update? Like, we gonna die. You guys, you guys ready to cart? It's gonna be cart city, bitches. Like, it's gonna be bad. Go to the sumo matches, the, the plain pretzel. Just hold them, oh my gosh, throw salt on you? Well, I mean, uh, that would be a thing. That would indeed be a thing. I don't know if I wanna piss off sumo though. That, that would be a thing that would be a, uh... oh wait, it didn't show up? Nani? Maybe... What? Let's talk to people first. We'll do that. Team cart. Oh, I'm losing frames. You're always dead, just keep swinging. That just makes me think of, uh... That one movie with the aliens. Signs. It makes me think of signs. Oh, it's not an event quest? 
Okay, we're gonna pick these up. I'm gonna restart the thing. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna kill this real quick. Goodbye, Google. Hello, Google. Don't be a little biatch, Google. If you are, it's gonna be weird. All right, we're back. Full tat or small tat? No in between. Also, Hannah, it's literally the embodiment. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Oh. All right. You don't know me. We're going to open up a session. Hello, water fox. No, I'm not doing water fox. Screw your water fox. Okay. We are gonna play online. Let's create a lobby. It's gonna be boob. I hit the wrong button. Fuck. I am a noob. Nope. Let's stick around for a bit. The pup is running in a sleep. Oh my god, that's adorable. That's absolutely adorable. Let's see. Could either do an omelet, eggs, and toast, or maybe get. Bur Why don't you make breakfast burritos? Have you thought about that? Dang it, Ree, you are right! Mm-hmm. You hesitate to wake him up to go play games? Well, I, it's a cute, it's a cute puffer. It's like, how could you... I feel your pain. I feel your pain. If, if I had a small kitten laying on me, you bet your ass I would just suffer in silence. I would suffer in silence. <laughs> you know? Still training your doggo? Not go after your cat or you join? Totally get that. My rent is due! It's always due. It's always due so much. Thank you so much for the biddies. I wish we had freaking sound on this though. Let's see what the deal is with that. I don't know why it has such a hard time with this. But just to be sure, I've, I've gone through them again. But thank you, thank you, thank you. My rent is due, in a way. So how are you doing? Uh, do you want me to call you SMW? Is that easier? Or do you want me to call you team? What, what you want? Oh, there's sound? So you've got sound, I just didn't have it? Well, that's lame. These cats do make soup. Well, these don't, but the other ones do. Oh yeah, upgrade armor. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Upgrade. Upgrade. Oh my god. Take my money. You take my money too. Oh. So you're having a hard time with Duke because he's, oh, he's not treat motivated. And one of these days he's gonna catch one of the squirrels in the yard. What are you gonna do? It's really hard to, to kind of mitigate that, isn't it? But I'm pretty sure pets are just as complicated as kids. They're, yes, Sai, you were 100% correct. That would be amazing. I have no drip. Um, I'm covered in gold, kinda. I like how I have to say kinda, cause like, eh, it's only a kinda situation. All right, we do have room for two more if people would like to jump on in. You care less about the squirrel and more for your arm getting ripped off. Yeah, I had a friend get completely dragged um, by her dog. Granted, she had a wolf hybrid, so it was a big boy. And also she was on a longboard and man, he jumped off a curve and ran down a hill and just took her with him. It was pretty bad. She was super banged up. Do -do. Oh, thank you, Koi. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Everything that you've read is if you could train them to give you focus, then you can get them to stop chasing. That's smart. That is super, super smart. All right. I'm sure, surely this won't be too bad. Surely. 
It's, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be so bad. Can I upgrade my weapon? We'll, we'll do that later. Has a big tooth line. So you thought it was your dogo. Oh, got on a scuffle. That, see, that's not good. As the battle escalates, <laughs> you think, God, oh, don't ever worry about it. Oh, cool, you got that one? Okay. Comes to an end, and the conqueror to it's fine. Claimed. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Don't ever apologize, Cyclone fan. You're totally fine. I'm happy that I'm back. Because cause I, I took a few days off this week. Well, it was a day. But uh, I appreciate having you here for sure. Hopefully you're having a wonderful weekend. Oh, shit. This guy's gonna fuck me up. Why do I have a feeling that this SWM team might be related to that other one? We'll find out. I hope not. They'll use Brave for chat commands? Yeah, exactly. That's cool, Drake. Okay, we're gonna need this. I, ooh. Oh. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna fuck. Ah! Red Panda! Alright, after this hunt, I'll do a squatty. I'm gonna pick this up. Do you want me to uh, go ahead and barrel him? Nope, never mind. Just gonna go real slow here for a second. Ruined your Thursday? I'm so sorry. I hope not. Yeah, 30 freaking months. I have known that man for a long time. 30 months is a while. It's not very effective. It's not very effective. Oh, God. Oh. I am dropping a bit of frames on my end, on the gaming side. It's, it's gonna be bad. I need to move. Oh, I guess I don't need to move. Moving's for the week, uh, question mark? You're kind of impressed? That's <laughs> some commitment. It's definitely some commitment. I got a Cortex, though. That's nice. I think. It's probably nice. Don't yell. Don't yell. Okay, good. I got some Hey. Hoppy boy. Alright. The bitrate's too low or the graphic's too high? I don't know. The graphics shouldn't be too high on this. It's only been super recently. There's been some weird updates. Especially like OBS, and I think it's just making things chug. Oh, fuck me up. Oh, thank you for healing me that first time. I didn't realize how much damage he's doing. Oh my fucking god! I am stuccoed. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna roll. Oh, this is a bad time to have shit happening. All right. You need pumpkin pie beer? Ooh, pumpkin pie beer? How was that? That sounds disgusting. Like, was it just like squashy? You ate dumplings today? What kind of dumplings did you get? I don't think I would do pumpkin pie beer. Oh shit, I just was right there. Fire and also, it's, he keeps stunning me. All right. This guy's gonna suck. He mostly tasted the spices, so it was like pumpkin spice. Holy Shy, what are you Holy doing? Me. Shy, happy belated birthday. Squat, bitch, squat. I will if I die. I bet your ass, I'm gonna do some squatties. I say if, when when it's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. How did, what did you do? What did you do for your birthday? Tell me, tell me all the things. I wanna hear all the stories. I miss your face. Oh, your face is doing good. I'm so happy you fell asleep. I'm gonna hit you with a barrel. These are happy birthday shy barrels. These nuts. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. 
Hold Guys, up. please go follow Shy. She is um she's just a great streamer. So she does VTuber, VTuber stuff. Um, she does when she reacts to a bunch of YouTube videos, which just makes me really happy. Choo choo, motherfucker, got that choo choo going on. She's an amazing artist. She's got a cool as shit kid named Goblin. Like I, I'm low key jealous of her. Like she's gonna have the coolest upbringing. Like for real. God, get there. Yeah, kind of. How was f yeah? What is okay? I have to ask. What began Flat Fuck Friday? Because every time I see it, I'm like, I have questions. I don't exactly know what the questions are, but they're there. They are absolutely there. Oh my god, my face, my face hurts. Oh, thank you. Pro streamer doing birthday stream? Yeah. All the birthday stuff. Get off me, yo ho. It was pretty flat. <laughs> what? I want to know. I didn't know. Did Hocus Pocus 2 come out? Oh. I'm going to be honest. Alligators and crocodiles completely terrify me. I don't know why. They always have, though. Like, I've always been afraid of alligators and crocodiles. Oh, shit, fuck. Ah. Ah, okay. You watched it yesterday? Hell yeah. Wow, oh, that was a, a lot of kerbams over here by this dude. It's it's literally a flat as fuck crocodile. But how did that happen? I'm gonna get squishowed. I'm gonna get squishowed. This room? Guys, go it's follow follow here. Sarah. Cause it's getting hot in here. Oh shit. <sighs> Koi, I'm gonna I'm gonna just cry. This guy is just he's just He's trying to eat my biscuits. I don't want him to. He's like, excuse me? You have fantastic biscuits. Can I nom on them? No? Let me light you on fire then. God, fuck him. This is terrible. Roll, babe. This is, how fast can Hannah chick potions? They're cold? You could bring them inside. No, never. Fuck this guy. No. I am just... I think it's the maneuvering. The maneuvering for him is difficult. So I toast a little bit. A wee bit. I'm a bit, I'm a bit on the toasty side for sure. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I need to move. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I'm not safe. I'm not safe one bit. No, we're gonna... Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm on fire still. Why does it look like <laughs> you're farting on the run? Because I might as well be. I might as well be farting on the run. <laughs> Fucking, he's brutal. Okay, he's just brutal. I'm just want. I just want to cut his butt off. Please, can I just, can I just get that tail of yours, buddy? A little, little nom nom chomp chomp. God, that was just the amount of damage. Oh man. Uh. Well, good thing I went up in the air when I did, but now I need to move because he's gonna swing a swing. Oh, oh, Koi, you take it. I'm afraid of him. I'm afraid. He did poison the shit out of me. You fucking kidding me? It's like, hey, Hannah, I know we haven't hung out in a while, but like, here's a little parting gift. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, an avocado. Like, that's what this situation is. It's like, oh, you know what I would love right now? To be not only poisoned, but uh, could you also throw some fire damage in there for me? Like, hey, thanks. It's like, fuck this shit. No, no, no. Nope. I'm happy he's kind of tethered to the ground right now, but is it enough is the question. Oh, that was not enough. Oh my god! Oh, stop it! Oh man, I dodged two out of three. That's not terrible. That is not terrible. I am still- Fuck, fuck you, man. How do you even know? How do you even know? Um, I heard good things about Smile, but I haven't seen it yet. Guys, you- We had a hype train? Holy fuck. I didn't realize that we actually have- I just assumed it was hype. He's gonna swing his butt. 
Okay. Move, 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 move. Do, 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 do. Did you like Smile Reef? Was it pretty heavy metal? Fuck this guy! Jeez! I'm fine. I am composed. I hate life, but it's fine because I'm composed. That's what. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you have to be fair, Crimson. We do have an actual train conductor in here, so soft. Oh, fuck me up, man. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. <clears throat> okay. Fuck me. I have to do six squats. We're gonna do six squats real quick. Koi, keep him safe. Keep him safe. I need to squat it out for a second. Oh god, where's my my thing? Oh man. Hoppa. Alright, I'm gonna be quick. Yay, these are for shy because it's my birthday. And also for Dale. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I gotta go get my butt whooped. Oh my god. Let's let the, the whooping begin. Singing it was awful? Where is Sharpen? This needs some polish. Would you hunt? She keeps carding. I know. I mean, I'm honestly doing a favor by uh by not immediately jumping down here, let's be honest. Who got card? I did. Hi Burgundy, what's up? A lot. I did a lot of squats. I think I broke 200. That that was definitely a, a heavy squat day. Um my poor legs. He's gonna do his old nibble nibble bite bite. Is that a horn on your face? <laughs> or are you just happy to see? Oh, it, for you, it, it, yes? I'm just gonna say, oh, you fucker. No, no, I refuse. I'm getting in here. I'm gonna tap that booty. With my, my blade of vengeance. I lied, I lied. It's not a blade of vengeance. Please don't touch me. Oh. I mean, <laughs> today was supposed to be squat day. Uh, I'll put that ball in your court. <laughs> Good lord. I did hear that they uncapped the fucking hype trains. I hear that there were some streamers who had like ridiculous ones. I think they. The, the best one I heard was there was one streamer who got 69 level- Oh shit. Level hype train. I was like, this is insane. Absolutely insane. Don't sit your booty on me. Go cut it off. Can't handle it. I say can't handle it like- like it's him who can't handle it, but it's absolutely me. Noise! See, exactly! I think it was pretty nice too. I'd be like, you can't never beat that though. Like, what? there needs to be some sort of achievement. For fucking getting a, a level 69 hype train. There needs to be one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Crimson, I have zero expectation for you to do anything like that. I'm just happy to have you in here. But if you're feeling randy, I mean, I'm also not gonna stop you. I knew what I was getting into when I offered squats. <laughs> Crimson, you have a little bit of a reputation. <laughs> just just a little bit of one. You know, a wee little reputation of making me drop a bunch of spiders in my head. But that's fine. It's fine. Everything was fine. But that day will always go in infamy. Well, that's it. Shut down. But I mean, could you imagine? Like, what if we just had to have 69 streamers each have a hype train that went to 69 and then, like, could we, I don't know, get rid of one of the ads for, like, a month? Like, I, I think that'd be great. I would be so happy if that was the situation. Is it? Probably not. But, you know, it's what... Oh, I got your butt. Good job, me. Yeah, it can be fucking nuts. Um, yeah. I don't know. Do you think they did it to kind of cover up the fact that that the 70-30 thing? Like, be like, but we uncapped your hype train. Like, do, do you think that's what, 
I mean, I guess it could kind of be something like that, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, who can't move? Can I not move? They pay less? Yeah, exactly. Don't watch- oh, you won't kill me. Trust me, if I can survive, like, half a year of CrossFit, the amount of squats we do in a single freaking like, leg day is ridiculous. I think one time we did, like, 120 squats in, like, 45 minutes? With burpees and shit, too. But eventually I will have to pee. That's it. Could beat me to it. Absolutely did. Terrible business <laughs> decision. Look, shiny hype. See, that's kind of thing. It kind of sounds. It, it comes across like that sometimes. It's not just the 70 30 thing. They, uh, let's see, didn't the decrease the comp as a whole for everyone? Oh, no, no. It's it's still 50 50. They, they didn't take down anyone else's stuff. Um, also, new people that are. Um... Oh, we caught it. But I need to get the butt. Get the butt! Fuck! Oh, shit. Oh no. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Here's the thing. When I signed up for Twitch and I got affiliate, I accepted the terms. So I can't complain about the terms. If someone's making more money than me, that's on me for not trying to negotiate. But the same thing, I'm not partnered. Like, here's the thing. More talk. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yep, uh huh. Uh, no, it's Amazon. It is Amazon. Amazons. Talk to the doctor. I can do that. Do to do. Doctor. Oh, oh shit! This is the one, isn't it? It's the velvet one. Oof. Oof! This is gonna be so rough. This is gonna be so freaking rough. Do, 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 do. Let's see, hard CrossFit stuff seems so dangerous. Like, you've seen so many injuries from really fit people because of the wads, like, tend to... Yeah, well... Okay, I'm gonna tell you a story. A story. I only got hurt once in CrossFit. And the reason why I got hurt... Because I was an idiot and I lost my balance doing something called a... Um, is it a Russian get-up? I can't remember. A Turkish get-up. So you take like a weight and you start laying on your back and you have your arm in front of you like, you know, going vertical and then you have to go completely flat and then use your weight maneuvering to end up sit standing up with the, the weight vertical above your head. Well, I was doing my non-dominant side and I started losing my balance so I tried to catch myself with my hand and it popped my thumb in. Um, so that wasn't fun, but also... Uh, <laughs> It was the day after my, uh, I had snuck into class. So, like, <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to be there. And, of course, the day I'm not supposed to be there is the day that I get hurt. So I'm just like, fuck me. And it was, like, two weeks before I was supposed to move here and have to move everything by myself. So I was like, even better. Like, this is, this is great. I love this for me. Good, good job, me. Um, yeah, good times. So, like... If you don't listen to your body, yes, you can absolutely get hurt. But if you do listen to your body, you'll be okay. You'll be okay for the most part. The other thing too, if you go to a really good CrossFit gym, they don't tell you to push yourself more than your limits. So they, they tell you to either modify the workout. So for example, if we're doing tons and tons of burpees and I know, hey, I'm more prone to get hurt during burpees, you can change to, um, to like jump backs or something. Um, and, and it's just a little bit easier that way. So there are ways around it. But yeah, it's intense. It's definitely high intensity. Your friend was doing CrossFit at two different gyms, two different wads, and end up with a herniated disc. That sounds brutal. Absolutely brutal. You could have done that. You toppled over doing lunges. Well, I used to topple over doing lunges too. So, I mean, I definitely made a lot of progress doing it. Then kept working out. See, that's even worse. If you get hurt and then keep working out on top of an injury, like, if you tear, like, the meniscus in your knee, but you keep doing squats, it's probably not a good thing to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she had to fuse her spiral pool. Can't pay her creators fairly because the servers are too expensive. Also, Twitch. 
Look, we paid Megan the Stallion three a billion dollars, and she's gonna be at TwitchCon. Oh my god. <laughs> it's great and popular, but let's see, it gets advanced fast. Mm-hmm. And people are so motivated, it's hard to tell them no. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. What's up, Master Meanie? Oh, this guy's gonna... Oh. Oh. Koi, are you ready? You ready for this? Because I'm not... I'm not ready for this at all. Let's do it. Oh. Wait. I should go... I should go to the thing. I almost didn't go to the thing. That would have been so bad. Come here! Yes, sir! Okay. I'm here. For a bird. I took the bird. Dirty bird. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We going? Okay. Oh, we're gonna get fucked up so fast. So fast. Look. Koi's been practicing this because he knows he's gonna have to carry my ass. I can almost guarantee it. He's like, I have to be strong. So I can keep Hannah alive. <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. No, no, no. Why is he so angry? Hey, sir, please calm down. Love Hannah. Uh, oh god. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go over here for, for, for a min. Uh, what is that? That's new. Flamey butt bubbles. The bird is the word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, I, I just want to... Oh. You are just... He's all over the place. All over the... This is a dumpster fire. You're... Uh, ah! Shit. That actually made me jump. Okay, we're gonna... We're just gonna heal up real quick. How did you even get behind me? Oh, fuck no. Just, just fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck a fuck no. Herbiderbiter, nope. God, nope. Nope, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. No, stop it. Bad kitty. <laughs> stop. All right, at least I hit him a few times before I get my ass whooped. Uh, just gonna spin in a circle. Oh my god, I died. Well, I didn't die, but I almost did. Koi did. Oh no. I'm gonna hide over here behind this tree never gonna find me. He'll never know. He'll never know. Get, get, oh shit. Kill God. <laughs> Sir, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to, to die for me, please. Um, I know it's a lot to ask, though. Soup? Ooh, soup is good. Okay. Oh, I need to move again. I need to move again. I need to move again. Oh my God. How? How are we gonna- how- oh, Jesus. You've been watching- and yum! So, they just came out with more Spy Family. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm really excited because I'm going to. Um, I have not finished Cyberpunk yet, but I'm going to, so I've been working on that one. Um, big fan of that so far. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, what's Damachi? I've never heard of that before. Do tell. The idea is old? Oh. Give us give us a minute, and we'll fix it for you. Although, if you're friends with me, Sai, you should be able to hop on in. Why are you looking for clothes in the soup aisle? Maybe he's trying to close the deal on the soups? I have no idea. Is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? I love that. That's amazing. There is one anime that I've seen a few episodes of, but I was a big fan of. And I think it was, it was one of those ridiculously named ones where it was like, low level hunter from the highest leveled village needs, is getting training or something. And it was just like ridiculous. So pretty much, this, this guy thinks he's hella weak, but he's already like a level 90. And uh, he's just like crumpling everyone around him because he ends up in a really low level area. <laughs> but he's super fucking humble. Oh shit, this, this is where I go, isn't it? This is totally where I go. This is where I go. Ah. That's hentai, it could be. You've seen that one? Wait, to Crimson or to me? 
They're on their fourth season. Loosely beast. Oh, really? Greek mythology? That'd be really cool. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, stuff, bro. Step Mitsune. Hey, Dale. Era, era. <laughs> I'm gonna do it all the time now. I almost feel bad, but I don't. <laughs> It almost sounds like you're trying to rap, though, which is the best part. Okay, where is this bitch? Oh, there's the arm. Era. <laughs> I, era, era. Uni chain. God. Oh. Oh, God. The weakest from the strongest village? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's totally it. It was, it was pretty funny. I liked it. I liked it from the few episodes that I saw. Um, back when I was living with Ben, he was watching it. He was just cracking up. Life in the labyrinth of another world. I don't know if it's that one, but good on you for, for remembering your hentai titles. That, that's a skill set. That's absolutely a skill set. Error, error. <laughs> Kinda. Can we? Uh, can I make it so every time like my character gets knocked on its ass, instead of like doing the stereotypical like oh no or whatever. Like, I just want it to sound like Hank Hill going, whoa. Like, that's all I want. Can can someone please mod that? I'll, I'll be in, like, your greatest debt. <laughs> please. Please, please, please. Boy. <laughs> just, I want I want to have a Hank Hill monster hunter. And and he can do fire damage. And, oh, fuck. And it can be done with, with propane. And propane accessories. I think I'm on to something, okay? I think I'm on to something. And if you want to disagree, we can agree to disagree. I don't know how I managed to hit him, but I did. But he's definitely gonna return the favor in a second. Is that on Crunchyroll? Oh, is it Isekai? Oh! Oh no! I need to move. I think. I think I need to move. Do I? I don't know. I'm here. The scenes had muted audio? It was cannot display image. Really? I have, I didn't realize that they had that shit on Crunchyroll. That's funny as hell. That anime, what is it? I mean, I'm curious, but yeah. You know, hmm. Interesting. I like how freaking Sai came out of nowhere. He's like, it's okay. I know like this thing's been killing you a bunch. Let me just go ahead and ride it. Like, oh, that's. Just, no problem, guys. I got it. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know where my hands are. Like, what is even going on? Crunchyroll after dark. Is it anything goes after 2 a.m.? You can clean the dungeon, Liam. Go for it. Dang it, Bobby. Yeah, I would love that. That'd be amazing. You could buy the actual dungeon crawling as a guy with sexy. Oh, okay. But is it like amongst other people? Or, or, or are we doing like the bestiality, like route how, how what, what angle are they playing on this one? Oh shit oh shit i didn't move again i think i don't know where i am i don't know where he is sometimes when i play this game i don't i don't even know what my orientation is compared to the animal or fucking monster i i don't know i just know i'm probably gonna die eventually and i've just accepted this fate oh no Oh, I'm gonna pick this up though, because it's probably my only chance. Hi, buddy. Oh, I'm just gonna loop in here real quick. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. Fuck my life, I hit the wrong button. It's not that anime? So, Dan Machi is pretty good. The problem is they sign exclusive with High Dive. What is High Dive? Is that like the equivalent of Crunchyroll that's not Crunchyroll? Oh, man, there's so many like variations of shit. Oh, that's a bubble. Bubble of death. Death bub. I don't want the death bub. Got your butt. Oh! I'm on fire. Everything hurts. Oh, shit. I got scared. If this game was in VR, do you know how fast I would die? It, it would be like, honestly, like fucking comical as shit. But could you imagine having the viewpoint of your hunter when it gets flung through the air. Like, I would end up, like, puking my brains out. 
Oh, it's an alternative to compete with them? Gotcha. Bootleg. <laughs> I love that bootleg. We all know that pirates aren't the only ones here for the booty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The vertigo would be real. I would, I would, it would. <laughs> I would be so bad at this game. Like, I, I think Kula Koo would just, like, whip my ass. Every time it hit me in the head with a fucking explosive vase, or like any time you had a flash bomb, that would be quite interesting too, because like it would really throw things off in game. Oh, that would be weird. That'd be so weird. Sucking those butterflies! Oh, thank you! Butterflies are the best. How are you doing? Are you doing well? Missed your face. So you made a whole alternative account? I thought you were just like... <laughs> I mean, I, I give you a lot of props for that. That is hilarious. I'm on fire. Shit. Oh my god. Guys, please go follow Liftrid. She is amazing and fantastic. And she believes that I love butterflies. <laughs> First time chatter. Oh my god. Go give all the love. By the way, if you want to join in the hunt, Please do. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, shit. Okay, we're, we're gonna... Woohoo! Waha! And now I have to do a squat. I gotta do a, a lift trim squat. I, d I don't know what a specific lift trim squat would be. But I think, I can only assume that as I do the squat, I have to yell out like, I hate butterflies or something like that. She's such a troll. Such a troll. And then she's like, why is, why is everyone who's in my chat, why are they all trolls? Like, I don't know, probably because they learned from you. The best squat. It's a deep squat. Whole ass account. Even if you had to verify it. That's right, I have email verification. That is so funny. The level of dedication. Like... That's better than me waiting 10 minutes to be untimed out <laughs> to do gift subs. Booty! Booty, booty! Get it, get the booty. Oh no, no, don't get the booty. Don't get the booty. Try to live. But also try to get the booty. Oh, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I'm so terrified. Oh, I have phone verification? Oh, okay, that's not bad. I'm like... Trying to gauge... How much... Tail I can get away with. Okay. Tail! Tail me why? Tail me why? Oh, uh, he's so strong. He's the strongest. He's strong boy. I thought I almost fell off the goddamn mountain. Such a great day. I did wait 10 minutes. I was like, I was on edge. I was like, that sounds a bitch. Like, like, she got me. She fucking got me. Like, you were the first person to ever do that to me. I'm like, ah, oh, the worst. I'm trying. Oh, I'm going to be on fire if I'm not careful. Oh. Uh oh, shit. Dude, why are you spamming D20 rolls? Spam it. Oh, fuck. Ah. And potentially in danger. Until my dog beats me up. Yay, pup. We need this. I told- you did! Like, you followed through on it. I'm just so impressed. So fucking impressed. And the whole time that happened, I was messaging Koi because I was like, can't believe she freaking did it! And I was like, well, tell her I said hi! And then, then of course, naturally, he's just saying a whole bunch of crazy shit. Oh my god, I need to get out of here. Oh, gotta save Sai. And me. And Sai. And me. Oh, jeez. Accurate. Booty would be worth it. I mean, yes, booty's always worth it. I just know the probability of me eating the dust in here. I'm gonna say eating shit, but I mean, that's fair enough. 
Let's go. He relayed your thoughts. I know. It, completely incorrectly. So naturally, I was like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, you. Did I roll through that? It's amazing. That is amazing. Oh, we did it! See you soon. And by that, I mean I just ran around. I did great. Are you loving the new monster? They are so bad. So, so bad. The new layered weapons are so cool. So, Liftrin, did you hear that you can get additional layered um, for streaming for half an hour in Discord? He's, he's bouncy as shit, man. He's so bouncy. Bouncy. Big old bounces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Regardless of your living conditions, please don't spam. Fair enough. So you try to jump after- He's difficult too! Oh man, I didn't even get the good goodies. Oh. Is the armor worth it? You get some armor, armor, but you're not a fan of them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Koi got him. He got the stuff. The goods. Need more <laughs> IG jumps? Probably. Probably the weapons, though. Oh, you didn't get them? I thought you did. I thought you said that you were able to unlock them. Were you not? You have to have one view- Koi, what if we both stream at the same time and we're the other viewer? Does that work? You were able to get a show up? Did, but you have to buy them. You shouldn't have to buy them. They should be free. Um, let me- let me check into it. I'll definitely check into it. Let's test. Okay, we'll all get in a Discord chat. We'll all stream at the same time. You can pop in now. I mean, you can go ahead and live stream this. Go for it. Oh, not the armor, but the weapons. Okay, maybe that makes more sense. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think I'm on this one. Okay. I'm still maxed. Discord beta is the layered armor set. Streaming at lowest res and FPF do it. If it works. I would love to. Uh-huh, I would, yeah. Huh? Oh, I gotta go talk to this doctor guy and then I have to do a squat for you. Squatty, squatty, squatties. If anyone else was, was planning to troll me with squats, now's the time, because I'm about to get up. Figured I'd warn you in advance. Okay, what's the session ID again? Do, 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 do. I updated it, I, I think. We're, we're gonna go here and, and I'm gonna show you it though. You're more scared of Kara than you are of me? That's fine. You should be scared of her. She's got a big ass sword and she'll use it. Also, uh, the password is boob. It's 8008 because who, who doesn't like those? Those are great. All right. Do do. He's speaking language of the gods. I know, it's just like... We're a troll with squats. Should we wait for you to sit down? That's a fair, fair point. Fair point. All right, I'm getting up. We're gonna do a squat. I'll let this go in the background. Do, 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 boop, boop. Squat, the best squat I've done. I don't know what the best squat would be, but I feel like it's gotta be fancy or something. I don't know. It's just gonna be a squat. This one's for Liftrin, and I still don't like butterflies. But that's okay, because Liftrin is fantastic. Even if I do dig holes with shovels. Many, many shovels. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Although, I should tell you, Lift. So I was adding things to my wish list, and I happened to be on, um, oh god, Dolls dolls Kill. The only thing I, I ever usually get from them is shoes, because they have like the most ridiculous shoes. You can read a shovel again. Thank you. I would love that. I'll, I'll just put it above my bed in case of emergency. Um, and uh, anyway, they had tons of really cute shoes and they all had butterfly wings on them and I was like I should put these on as a joke and then I was like no if I do that someone's gonna get me home and then I'm gonna have to wear them uh, and then I'll have butterflies on my feet 
and then they taste with their feet. So like, I can't, I can't mentally do that. It is no, it's, it's a no, no. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm a little, I love shoes. I love shoes probably too much. So I added a bunch of those on there. I'll probably eventually add some cosplays on there too. Okay, we're gonna do the lottery. Ling ling ling. A golden one. So golden, I will take it all. Okay. Take. Well, that's not terrible. That's nice. Uh, I don't know what Rapid Morph really does, though. Hmm. What does Rapid Morph do? It doesn't have a password? Oh, that's fine. It should, but if it doesn't, then it doesn't. Do, do, do. Although, if we're already friends on Steam, I don't think it's an issue either. Okay, wah! That is beautiful. That weapon? Oh my god. Like, I want to make that out of foam and then smack someone upside the head with it. That lo that's just freaking great. Speeds up weapon uh, morph switches? Oh, charge blade and switch adds, okay. That makes more sense. So it wouldn't be beneficial for me, but that's fine. Hey, Lip, go ahead and pick a, pick a questie. That, oh, ooh, oh, that one's cool too. These are so cool. I love these. Also, I just love that you're fucking rocking a glaive. I miss it. I miss it so much. These are neat. These are nice ass weapons. I dig it. You have a new weapon? Okay, what is it? Is it is it your sparkling personality? <laughs> Cause it's so sharp. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's a cat. Meow meow, motherfucker. Um, that looks like an American McGee's Alice sword. Which I would I would love that too. Not a testy, but a questy. Yes, exactly. Ha ha ha. Questy testies. But to questicle. To questicle? To questicles. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so you're giving me spiders. I see how this is. Alright, I see you. Go. I see you. Great game, by the way. I love this game. It's a great game. You'll just see yourself out. No, I like it. Nightmare, you are you are right at home. You are absolutely right at home. You told me to pick. I did. I did. I am not surprised that you took advantage of such situation. Not surprised at all. But now if you cart first, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> Actually, it'll probably be me. I'll probably cart because I'll be reading chat and then I'll just be like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, how that goes. Wow. I mean, it would be like a little laugh. It'd be like a little like hee hee giggle. Are you saying that you wouldn't enjoy my little hee hee giggles? Oh, Alice. Yeah. American McGee's Alice is a great game. It's one of my favorite games. One of my favorite games. They're coming out with a third one and I can't wait for it. You have the most cards because you're making sure I didn't die. <laughs> I'm not saying that, no. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, let's see what we got. Do do. Okay. We're going to the caves to find fucking spiders. What could go wrong? What kind of lady doesn't enjoy the company of a cave spider? Both of these, both of these nuts? Is that what? Ooh. I'm a big fan of both of these, too. And then I just say both of these dicks, and then I like dual wield and just like flop it on the table, and it's like, what you gonna do about it? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, no one was expecting that one. <laughs> all right, so. Holy shit, look at all that meat! <laughs> Crimson. <laughs> of course, of course, Crimson. Okay, we have uh, Jester, we have Hexagramos, we have Street Shark, 
We have Night Denzin and we have Oppo. Great dildo nunchucks. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. Why haven't I thought about dildo nunchucks? Nunchucks? Nun oh. I feel like I'd be going to hell. Oh, oh God, why now it's stuck in my brains. Poor little brain. I wasn't ready for that. All right. When I get a chance, I'll do your five squatties. I just, oh God, no, this is this is not, cool. there's so much going on. Okay, no, oh, I got your tail. Got your little tail butt nub. Your little fluffy feather duster of an ass. Five more squats, all right, all right, I got you. Would be a weapon of choice right after sword under the bed. I hope the sword you keep under your bed is also just um, a, a nunchuck dildo combination. Uh, just, you know. It, 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 but you think about it, it's still kind of a sword. It's a different type of sword. Kinda. Kinda? I, I don't know. That's not what I wanted. Shit. The timing is off. This is heading in the wrong direction. Is it the wrong direction? Or is it the right direction? I don't know. I feel like it's a toss-up. Okay, got his butt. Feather duster of an ass is not a mental image that you are expecting. This is gonna be no, easy. but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Do you lube up the delto checks? For expert mode? Oh man, it would just fly out of your hand so quick. Yeah. You <laughs> There's so many comments I really want to make, and I'm like, no, I should not make them. I should not make them. <laughs> no. No, no, no. But it'd be so funny, that's the problem. It would be so fucking funny. Shouldn't shouldn't do it. Shouldn't do it. On this line of thought, you'd expect an upgrade to the sword to be of one of those uh, double-edged ones. Okay, so this one time, <laughs> I was on the internet and I've come across some very ridiculous memes. Um, really, and a lot of the memes I come across are super inappropriate, for one, like super inappropriate. So. I don't post a lot of the memes I find on my socials because I don't want to scar people, okay? A lot of them are super hella cursed. This one specifically hella cursed. So it was... It, <laughs> it, <laughs> God. It was, um, it was a butt plug, but there was kind of like... <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. it <laughs> there was... <laughs> The standing statue of Jesus with his arms out, like coming off of the butt plug. And then directly next to it were, were two other areas to hold tacos. Um, so it was tacos on the right, taco on the left, and then Jesus in the center of a butt plug. And then it was like, make sure you bless your food this Taco Tuesday. And, and it, was, it was just so bad. It was so bad. So that's all I can think about now. I'm sorry. And now, now it's just stuck in your guys. Yeah, now it's in your brain too. Oh, I'm totally saving you guys. I'm trying to. It's, it's difficult. You know, it's, it's funny as shit. I can't do it on Discord. I can't. I don't because once you once you open that can of worms, it's really hard to close it. Again. Oh, hello. Okay. I'm just over here, just lighting this bitch on fire. Jesus and Budapest looking like it was yeah it was pretty much that it was it was so bad it was hilarious though I thought it was hilarious because I mean when I saw it I was just like who made this and like the fact that someone had the skill set where they could make that is really impressive like super impressive it was trying to save yeah you're right that buff plug was trying to save us three It was just a hot mess. Okay, so we start in Spider Boy. Thanks, Kara. We'll grab these crazy spider biatches. Go get toaster materials. Hi. Okay. If 
you absolutely need to share some of them, you find hilarious, send them to you. You'll share in your amusement. Awesome. He's gonna try to grab me. I don't want a spider hug. Oh, nope. I just get butt slammed instead. Okay. Feels good, man. Feels good. I'm just gonna, gonna just poke this real quick. Bop, bop. Okay, we're not gonna poke this real quick. We're gonna poke this. Bop, bop. Also, I've just realized how difficult it is to explain curse memes to people that haven't actually seen the meme. Because it is just a weird thing to try to explain. For you. 3D printing? Oh, this wasn't even- this was made out of metal. Like, this was a metal butt plug. Like, it wasn't 3D printed or anything. Also, you can't really 3D print a butt plug just because it's porous. You can't you can't have that in your your nether regions, bruh. That's, that's how you get hurt. Don't don't put anything pointy in your booty hole, please. Send you curse stuff on Facebook Messenger all the time, so Discord wouldn't hurt. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, I thought he was. Oh, he did. Oh, a little bit. Comfort le level for curse memes definitely can vary slightly. Like, I have a very high tolerance for cursed memes, but I know not a lot of people do. Metal butt plug? But why? I think the, the answer is why not at that point? Like, I don't know. It's a weird one. Like, it's absolutely a weird one. I didn't make it. Why are you asking me? Oh, from the form and make a cast out of it? I guess that's fair. I feel like I'm gonna get booty smacked if I'm not careful. Just mess up. I'm just gonna smack you around a little bit right over here. And then you're gonna butt slam on me in a second. No, no, no. DNA manipulation? It's gonna be mainstream in a decade? Well, that sounds cool. Maybe I'll finally not be lactose intolerant or something. That'd be great. Oh, synthetic virus disease tutorials. I mean, it's CRISPR. CRISPR is technically like free to use. Okay, I'll go pick this up. And I'll go help Koi. Koi Minoi Minoi. Oh. Metal butt plug is probably on the tamer side. I think you might be right. Oh my god. Yeah, people put some weird stuff in their butts. People, please don't put weird stuff in your butts. Or if you're going to put weird stuff in your butt, please tell us about it later. I want to know how, how it works out for you. See, this is the dangerous Saki chat. This is so cursed. I can't believe someone made that. It would be, yeah, exactly. It would be that hard to make bet. See, that's how I feel. I'd be like, now that I know how to MIG weld, let me uh, weld something that probably shouldn't go somewhere it shouldn't go. I mean, I was maybe. <laughs> Lemmy wings? Ooh, are you talking about like uh, putting gerbils up your butt? Because like that's a whole other thing. We don't need any gerbil booties either. Please do not put live animals inside your booty hole. That is not a point of entry. It is for some. Do 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 Exit only. You've never been curious, not even once. For some it is, but also I don't know what the appeal of metal would be. Well, versus what glass or silicone? I don't know. It's it's pretty standard. I feel like it's cheap. No. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna tell you what to and to not do tactically, but like, ah, that gerbil's family might be a little upsetty spaghetti if you start doing shit like that. Oh god! Um, you know. Did I go to the wrong one? Oh, okay, Koi's gonna catch that one. So we're gonna knock this guy down. Glass is popular due to ease of maintenance. Be worried that it would shatter. Eh, how much stress are you under that your booty's so... Don't clench it, man. Um, 
Most blown glass is actually stronger than you think, but I'm no like sex toy aficionado. I do have a funny story though. Um, okay, so you know that I have a business email obviously for like potential sponsorships and stuff like that. There's been this company that has been reaching out to me on multiple occasions and oh, fuck me up. Uh, anyway, it's called uh, Lolo. And I was like, that's weird. Like, I feel like there's like a sex toy brand called Lolo. And I'm like, oh, weird. Must be like a video game or something. And I was like, either way, I'm not interested. I'm gonna pass. Well, anyway, they kept reaching out to me, right? And uh, it turns out, no, it is, <laughs> it is that brand. And they're like, we think that your content would be great. Like, we love it. And I'm like, I don't make content like that. What are you even talking about? Yeah, yeah. So apparently they wanted to partner with me for an upcoming campaign. I was just like, I don't know how much you're going to pay or whatever, but like, I don't even, what are you expecting from me? Because <laughs> the answer is going to be no. Oh, it's okay, Lip. It's okay. It happens. It happens. It happens. Of course, quiz typing will play. He's got a skill set, man. He's got a skill set. Turns out Snowball's been the one that's been typing the whole time, though. Having the Diablo sauce that your Taco Bell- Oh, but Diablo sauce is so good. So good. I brought my death to live- It's okay. I'm sure I'll get the next one. No, laugh. Aw, no, I'm not gonna laugh. You good? Okay, just sleepy, baby. Where am I? Oh. I'm getting- God, get him. My secret! How- How is the snowball doing? You doing good? She doing good? Must have used an algorithm to see how much the word booty pops up at your ch If that's the case, it, it, you know what? Maybe. Maybe. Damn. I was just like, wow, this is impressive. This is also really funny. Like, how are they taking their stats? Like, how did they figure... Like, you know who would be good for this campaign? Let's help Cosmic Saki. I'm like... What is it? Like, now I'm just kind of... Now I'm just kind of curious if I'm going to be honest with you. She's got more energy. She tried jumping into the kitchen counter. She think okay, so she's her her mental stuff is she's she's clearing up. Good, good, good. That makes me happy. Booty, oh fuck me. Yeah, oh shit. Yeah, I could see how they would think that. Um Hey guys, do spiders sleep? I'm curious. Do they? Do they do they not sleep? Do they do sleep? Is on the booty list? I might be. I think it's just so funny. It's just so fucking funny. Because part of me had like a slight moment of extreme worry. Because I may or may not have one of their products. But <laughs> I was like, are, are they like getting data on me? Like, is, is that how this is working? Because like, fuck. Oh, no, no, it was good. Oh, boy, the lava crunk. Just going on the context of the current game that's probably fair probably fair uh apparently a lot of things i say could could potentially be taken out of context whoops whoops a daisy all right i have five little squatties to do five of them i know right ah eh, fuck it here's the thing i don't know a single woman who doesn't why not? You know, potentially, <laughs> potentially. May, may not, almost, yeah, I mean, I do, I do, you know. I mean, if you guys seen me make art, I have other things as well. <laughs> You're happy that the plaid shirt is back? Why, thank you. You knew that was the secret of the card way before? Oh, it's fine. See, Koi, Koi was doing a good job. We are all doing good jobs. The best jobs. What am I doing? Why am I in here? Am I turning something into you? Hello? Mm -mm -mm. We'll get something here. Hey, Lift, if you want to keep posting questies, go for it. Do, do, do. Okay. Well, that happens. Web 2.0 is scary, man. Like, you've never worn hats. But the other day you saw a guy with a hat and was like, that's a cool hat. Now your socials are all full of hats. Yeah, that happened to me one time with, with, with chicken ads. All of my ads were about chickens because I used to sell weed and I used to sell these weed pens 
called little chickens. So my friends would be like, hey, you got, you know, like, is there, you got a chicken? I'd be like, yeah, I've got chickens. And then um, it just became code word, just chickens. And then <laughs> all of my ads were for overalls for chickens and small football helmets for chickens. And I was like, good thing I wasn't talking about weed. <laughs> yeah, weed pens, exactly. What's fortify? Uh, oh shit, that, that's a koi question. Koi note, ah, I should know that too. Fortify. It's the thing. It's the thing that you do to fortify. You're glad you grew up in the age before digital photography? So you say that some of the images, or images out there from the first time your friend took you to a very popular, ooh, smexy shop. Those are fun. Oh, I need to get stuff over here. What's up, Polonian? How are you? Happy October. You gonna do orcs? Do it. You should totally paint some orcs. Get some orc boys going, paint them red. Very helpful, Saki. Thank you. <laughs> Grabs shovel. Grabs the shovel. Makes your butt cheeks cut harder when the muscle when the monsters hit you. Oh god. Well, that that's a thing. You know, when the monsters are trying to nom on your biscuits, makes your biscuits a little little chewier. Is is that right? Okay. On that note. We are, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do those five squats. <laughs> These are for Crimson. Got five. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Fortify your butt cheeks. You don't need fortify for the, what? Are you doing squats too? Is that why? Damn. Don't pull the fire alarm. Oh God, now I want to. That's the worst. But what if I did? What if? What if I just give in to the intrusive thoughts and just pull a fire alarm? That'd be great. Surely they couldn't track that it was me. Or it makes them go faster. Really went purple ones. Purple makes them sneaky. Nah, man, just fast boys. Get some fast boys, man. I'm good to go. Oh, what a boop. I'm good to go. Could be the lunk alarm. <laughs> the lunk? A writing bowl that looked like a large dilt? <laughs> Wait, a writing bowl? What do you mean? What? I need more information on this. I've not rode. Oh, oh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I see. I see. Did you use Fortify? You did squats for fun ages ago? Because I saw you do it. But you did 160? It was uh, interesting. Holy shit. Was that from your chat? Did your chat just kill you? Because that, that tends to be how that goes sometimes. And you're always just like, damn. Yellow is more splody. Oh, I do like the splody ones, though. Like, are humans really so predictable that an algorithm can tell what we want? And when, with a degree of accuracy, are the CIA psychics? I mean, if they're psychics, I, I almost feel bad for them. They're going to pick up on a lot of stuff that they don't want to pick up on. Sprayed some coloring on you so you can see who pulled it? No. No. But uh, it's an alarm system, so you can see what, which one is triggered. No, you're curious how many you could do? You didn't do that, chat? They definitely- oh, they would have gone crazy. There was one time where I had to do 300 push-ups. Um, I thought I was gonna just absolutely die. I was so burnt out by 100. Like, there was just- oh, it was rough. It was so, so rough. Good time, though. I was so sore for the next three days. So you got two- you got that many? That's pretty good. Get it, Lyft? Yeah. Not sure what Fortify is, but, uh, like the mechanical bull. But it was red and white and blue. It looked like a giant. <laughs> Not sure what else you need to know. Are there pictures, Crim Sereno? Like, I gotta know if there's photos of this. Yeah, 300. My roommate fucking killed me on that one. He's like, oh, you're doing push ups. Here, I got you. And I was like, you son of a bitch. He just instantly dropped like 100 subs. And, and, I, <laughs> and I was like, no. Oh, God. Some do, but most of them just uh, stay lock open after the system is engaged. That makes sense. The burpee stream? Oh yeah, that was Joe is fucking nuts. To be fair, Joe wasn't doing full burpees, but 
Also, why would why would someone decide to do that many freaking burpees? He did a thousand burpees. I mean, it took him like five hours, but that's just too many burpees, man. Too many. What was that? The Murph? Oh, I, I couldn't do the Murph. Mainly because I can't do pull-ups. Um, maybe one day. I could do the running from it. There are pictures? Oh, disposable cameras? So they exist, but you- oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I'm just gonna drop off this mountain real quick, don't mind me. Burpees are evil. Burpees are hard. I tend to do up-downs instead, because it, it just makes me not want to die. I mean, I still want to die from up-downs too, but... Ugh. You haven't talked to that friend in over 10 years? Damn. It's a long time. Well, hopefully, it's just because uh, of timing of things, not because, you know, shit hit the fan. But... What kind of place has a riding bowl that looks like a dildo? Like, wh where were you at? Was it a gay club? Because, like, I would probably go. Kilo abs? The old martial arts bowl? Oh, 100 sit-ups. Get sponsors for every 100 you do. It was a blast. I love sit-ups, but the problem is I like them better when it has, like, a, a little back arch pad. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh! Nope. Excuse me, sir. I don't want to play this game with you. Okay, I'm rolling. Where you go? Oh. Societal pressure to be a certain way? Is there profiting off insecurities? Wait, what, what do you even mean? As a, what, what's profiting off of, of whose insecurities? What's happening? No, a thousand? I would totally do a thousand sit-ups. A sneaky sex shop? Oh, is their main attraction? Okay, that makes way more sense. That's pretty funny. I like that. I mean, at least it wasn't like a Sibian or something. Like, would have been a little messy. Exercise? Exercise isn't societal pressure to look a certain way at all. Exercise keeps you healthy. <laughs> like, if you never exercised for a day in your life, you would die so much sooner than the people around you that did. Diet and exercise is important. It's not a societal pressure. It's to keep you alive. Like, there's actual science behind it. Sometimes people prefer to hurt physically, that way it matches their pain emotionally. Sometimes that's why I work out. Found out that you've never been at the age of 19, so they took you? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That would be an interesting place to go. Weird, 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 weird. What state was that in? Now I'm just kind of curious. Where do you think you're going? Emotional damage? I, yeah, I've got a good amount of that. It's, uh, it's, it's fiery. I've attacked him because he fell off the face of the earth. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, Minnesota. God, wow. I didn't realize that Minnesota was so, so spicy. Okay, left, I'm following you. Don't steer me the wrong way. Health as a societal pressure is an interesting idea. It is. I can see how it could be like a monetary gain, like to sell like workout equipment or like fitness items. Fitness, never mind. Um, but <laughs> yeah, it's also just, it's important to, to maintain your physical health. Like, going on walks is really important. Um, and the reason being is, one, it helps so much with when you start to get older. If you don't, if you don't use it, you will lose it. Like, and, and there's a reason they say that. Like, if you don't keep good joints, it's, you're gonna have some really bad effects. Social expectations surrounding, um, let's see, working out mentally. The toxic gym rats can suck a dog. Oh, I agree about that. I completely agree about that. But also, usually it's not the toxic gym rats that are trying to, like, necessarily, like, sell the, the common folks things. Like, the toxic gym rats kind of just go after other baby toxic gym rats. They sell to each other. Because you don't see, like, moms... In their in their thirty like late late thirties, being like, 
You know what I could go for? Like, some creatine. Like, <laughs> usually you don't see that. Yeah, definitely. Um, that is one interesting thing about being in Canada, that specifically where I am, because there's just a ton of different outdoor activities here. Everyone is very fit. Like, I haven't seen- I think I've maybe seen like one or two people that were like, looked like they were from Tennessee. Private clubs? Really? I had no- that's crazy. I have a friend that's a pro dom too. Pro doms have some great stories. I don't even know what the dehydration look is, Holonian. Yeah, well, most of fitness is, is health, like, it, it's what you put into your body. That's why it's you know, the phrase diet and exercise kind of go hand in hand. Like, you can do all the abs you want every single day, but if you don't lean out and eat really well and really clean diet, you're never going to see your abs, really. That he can make you a dom, but you're pretty vanilla. Being a dom isn't for everyone, just like being a sub isn't for everyone either. Booty, booty, booty cut? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. But I do, I like, I can definitely see, like, there are some people I can think of that have a personality that work, would work really well to be a dom. That doesn't mean they have a desire to do it. You do fitness, fitness, whole piece in my mouth. I dig it. I dig it a lot. What's your tub scene in Wolverine? They drink less and less water over three days until their skin retracts and their muscles more. Like, their muscles look more prominent, but Cavill mentioned it was so bad that he could smell water. But that's, you, you realize, like, that's not normal. Like, that's for a movie. Like, not a lot of people do that. Fitness? Oh, all right, we got another squat. Hasn't caught up in two fights. I don't know about that. I'll have to check. How many male actors and bodybuilders? Okay, extreme dehydration. Um, fitness tipped five dollars. That makes sense. That's why it's called fitness. Fitnessing these nuts. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You hate how they push that and use it? I've never seen anyone push it though. You have coffee? I'll give you coffee. I'll make you all coffee. You guys want some coffee? Some good coffee? Make you all of it. I can make like fancy syrups to put into it too and it could be even fancier. We'll have the best coffee ever! Okay. Can you have some- yes. I have so much tea. I love tea. That was one thing I was told with these meds I have to kind of back off a little bit on is, is the amount of black tea that I drink. They're like, green tea is still okay in moderation, but you know, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, okay, fine. You know what coffee I want? You want? I would make you a pumpkin spice latte. I would do that for you, just for you. Maybe lift trend if she wanted it to. But I, I would do that. I would do that. Cause I care. Um, I've never had one from Starbucks. I had one like back when I was in high school, a long time ago. I'm not, I usually, if I drink coffee though, I usually drink it black. So I don't, I don't usually go for all the flavors. I did, I did get them figured out. Um, I'll definitely know more by the end of the week when, uh, when I go for round two of tests, just to make sure my body is handling everything. Um, but they put me on Vyvanse instead of the Stratera. So I've, I've come off of the Stratera, I've dealt with the wonderful world of withdrawal from it. Uh, super fun, would not recommend. Um, and now they put me on these Vyvanse. Today was the first day of them. So I pretty much take them for a week, one a day for a week. And then they, they test everything and then they'll make the decision like, hey, is this level good for you? Or would you like more or less kind of stuff? Social spicy tea. A girl who's got some tea. 
<laughs> what do you mean by spicy tea? What? Whenever I just see a tea by itself, all I can think about is testosterone. I was like, you like that girl who's got some testosterone? I'm just like, ooh, woo. I'm like, that might be a different kind of lady. Is there a, a fat Alice in here? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. I don't know if they're going to add one. Fuck me. Um, but... It would be brutal if they did. It would be brutal. Okay, your... Is, yours isn't working well lately? And that's the one they suggested? Um, I have another friend who's on it. I will say, there, there was definitely like a solid two hours shortly after I took it where I was like... I am on drugs. <laughs> like, I had way too much energy. I was just like... Da -da 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 -da. It was just so different. Um, because when, when I was on Stratera, there's none of that. Because it's not a stimulant. So this is the first time I've ever taken a stimulant. So it just caught me off guard. Because uh, I was not ready. But... It's definitely calmed down. The big thing they warned me with it is, like, it's a big-time appetite suppressor. So make sure you eat breakfast before you actually take the meds. Because chances are you won't eat until dinner. And I'm like, all right, no taken. Oh, Dom, yes. Okay, good. That makes more sense. I was like, wait, what are we talking about again? Because at first I was thinking that we were still talking about working out. So then I was like, testosterone. <laughs> but now it makes way more sense. Edgar Allan Poe, coffee shop. This rave thing, coffee. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Oh, there's some tea there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I thought you were t Oh, we're talking about mushroom tea? Have you guys ever had mushroom tea? I've had mushroom tea before. Well, it was well, I had mushroom tea once, and then I had mushroom orange juice the other time. <laughs> Mushrooms were not what I thought they would be. Let, let me tell you. It was a different experience than than I thought it was going to be. Not a bad way. It was probably in a, in a much better way. There's mushroom coffee? Yeah, actually, I have that on my wish list because I saw some on there. I know the like original mushroom coffee or something was called mud, but that stuff's like $40. It's super expensive. Um, so I didn't go that. You've never partaken? I don't know if... It's definitely not something I would do on the regular. Like, I've only tried it twice, and, and I think I'm kind of good with that. It's really emotional. Um, that's, that's probably the only way I could describe it. Like, there's definitely, like, stages of it. Which isn't bad. Um, but if you weren't expecting it, it, it can kind of catch you off guard. So, usually, like, really happy, jovial, and, uh, just, like, having a wonderful time the first half. And usually, like, on the tail end of it, though, like, some people will just start crying. And they, they won't necessarily know why, but... It, it kind of, like, low-key helps with some, like, traumatic shit you've been through. If you've been through some stuff. It's supposed to be good for if you have depression. Mushroom-infused honey on toast was actually fantastic. That sounds good. Then again, like, one month ago, you were stressed out, a friend came over and told you to hit this vape pen, and you thought it was CBD. It was not. You were not a fan of the feeling. Yeah. Well, one, if you're expecting one thing and you're getting another, it's like drinking out of a cup thinking that it's water and then it's Sprite. You're just like, what the fuck is this? Like, that's the worst. That is the absolute worst. You know, hallucinogenics are not friends. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a hit or a miss with a lot of people. Um, I had a lot of friends who were the type to go to, like, um, festivals. They're festival people, or they'll go to raves. I, I don't do that, because... One, I'm an introvert. Two, I'm an old lady. And three, I don't understand why I have the, the pacifiers in their mouths. It gets me confused. I'm easily confused. So, it's not my thing, but they do a lot of LSD. And they're like, no, LSD is like way better than X, Y, and then there's like the people who are into like MDMA, all these other drugs. And I'm just like, yeah, I, I can't even handle caffeine. Like, every once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll get a little stoned if I'm stressy. Like, that's about it. That's about it. Switch to water and getting warm, flat. Oh, God. Blurb about getting people LSD soaked. Dried paper and making them trip ball. Oh, that's that's super bad. 
Yeah, throwing up and having panic attacks, that sounds horrible. Like, absolutely horrible. Eating an M&M thinking it's a sour Skittle. Ugh. That sounds so bad. That sounds so bad. It's like losing track of uh, time. Yeah, you were hammered drunk. So you were drinking too. So when I learned all about this because I had to get certified for um, selling alcohol here. And because weed is legal and recreational in Canada, um, we had to learn that too, which is interesting. Yeah, so when you combine weed and alcohol, it creates some crazy shit. Some people just pass out. Some people will black out. Some people like extreme, experience extreme drunkenness. It kind of just feeds off of each other. So it can be a doozy. I would never recommend like getting crossfaded like that. Yeah, that 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 can be pretty rough. MDA is is the pacey? Also the grinding teeth? It does? I isn't MDMA supposed to be like the same in <laughs> spider asshole on Koi What? Um isn't it supposed to be like the same thing that gets released when you dream? I I don't know enough. Similar first time story, you spun out blackout, you woke up handcuffed to a chair. Jesus. Drift, what's up? How are you? Looks like I gotta do a squat. Weed kahal. Mm. Gotta love the weed kahal. Oh, you weren't drinking? That was the sensation. Oh, gotcha. Pacifiers. Oh, pacifiers are fucking weird. Fucking weird. It's koi. Of course it's koi. What if they're ring pops? Um, I do like ring pops. I would, I would partake in, in ring pops. They're delicious, okay? That would be fine. That would be fine. Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire? 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 Mm -hmm. The sauce. We're just gonna call it the sauce. MDM would be Molly's. Oh, fuck. What's the other one? What's the one that's like the, the brain thing? You know what I'm talking about? Is it MDMA? No, what is it? Sarah! Now I got two squats to do. Oh my god. Two squatties. You're sweet for waiting for me? To make a latte, but you don't drink coffee. You'd have tea? I would make you a delicious tea. What kind of tea do you drink? I can make you whatever tea you want. I got you. It's the same? Oh, I feel better. Think you're thinking of soy sauce? You referencing what I think you're referencing? <laughs> you totally are. Of course you are. The soy sauce? I don't know. Is it moving? <laughs> like, ugh. That was such a good book. That was such a good book. Um, I'm trying to decide which one I want to read next. If I want to go for spiders, or if I want to go for one of the other ones. Oh, Crimson, thank you for the hype train. Ridiculous, you just had the worst coffee known to man. Ooh, nasty. I'm Jay and Molly's, um, and then X. Oh, yes. Gotta love ecstasy. I don't know, I've never done it. You miss squatties for hotties. I mean, it's still squatties for hotties. You just all are the hotties, and I'm doing the squatties. You got a P.O. box? You gotta find a few Costco bags of ring pops? I don't have a P.O. box anymore since I moved. But I can always add ring pops to the wish list on Throne, and then you can get them that way. She got the, the Worsh sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. I did it. I did so good. There you go. Guys, go follow Drift. Do it, do it, do it. On Throne. So if you scroll down in, in my little bio thing in me about me, you'll see one for Throne. So all my all my uh, wish list now goes through there. There's not an Amazon wish list anymore. There's no PO box because um, I have to go through all these weird addresses because I live on campus. Spent your early twenties doing X. You killed too many brain cells. Don't you get really overheated with ecstasy? Like, isn't that an issue? Like, you just kind of get baked. Oddly enough, I'm, like super dehydrated. Your weapons have so much sharpness. So sharp. Chamomile? Ooh, if you drink thing with fruit, I can give you all my fruit teas. Because usually I don't drink too many of those. Let's see, book of full of spiders is technically book two. Wait, they're actually linked? Okay, then I'll do full of spiders. That is so funny. It sounds like it was written by you. I hate that. You can't get to your bio. Oh, mobile. No worries. No worries at all. You do get hot. Yeah. Follow me. Hot. Don't do it. Okay, well then fine. Come into the gym with me, chat. Heck yeah. Get them heavy lifts in, man. Gotta keep drinking water. See, I, I think I remembered hearing something like that. That's why you had to use, oh, that makes sense. Here, if you want. Oh, Koi's got you. Koi's got you. I'm gonna knock out these squats. Squatty, squatties. 
Squatties. Good boops. All right, we got, what, two squats to do? I think, yeah, yeah, we got two. Squats. One, two. And I think I need to change the circle, too. Do, do. Hop, up, up. Okay. Okie doke. Is there anything with butterflies on that? Would you like me to add something with butterflies? I could add a butterfly cosplay on there if you would like. It would be the butterfly cosplay from uh, Demon Slayer. I could do that. Yes, I did the five. I did, I did. They were a good five. They were, they were definitely a good five. Five. Five and dime. Okay, hold on. I need to do this. Do a do. Okay. Edit. Let's go. I'm gonna do it. Hold on. Hold on to your butts. Do 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 do. Sure. Now I'm just picking numbers. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear that, it just makes me laugh. Like, absolutely makes me fucking laugh. I love that shit. Got him! You're saying hell yes to that, Sarah? Can't afford dating, but you can afford proper coffee! I mean, proper coffee is important. <sighs> Please don't bring up my dating life right now. <laughs> You're gonna be alright, man. Amazon has butterfly shaped gummies. So Amazon in Canada has completely different products. Completely different products. I can no longer use the American Amazon. So you're thinking of uh, one demon butterfly from Berserk? Oh, I didn't even think about that. That wouldn't be too bad. Everything is going to be like 20 to 30% off. So they can clear inventory? What's the vendors? This is your last stop for there. Damn, really? That's crazy. That's super crazy. You always change the setting of Amazon. Um, yeah, but you have to pay a giant upcharge and the shipping is always like $10. Or at least that's what I've found. And it's also like a week. You dare me? All right, I'll do it. I'll add it on there for you. Holy shit, look at all that meat. <laughs> oh my God. We have five more gift subs. We have Storm Song, Stormburn, Born, oh my god, Slayer CJ. We have uh, Jericho the Gamer. We have oh, J Baker Arts, which is Mad Girl with the box. It's Crazy Man with the Crate. If you don't know who that is, then you should. He's pretty cool. He makes some fantastic jewelry. Mm -hmm. We have Dirty Wolverine. All of those meats, all of the meat. Yeah, all of them. All, all, all five of those meats. Ooh. Ren Fair, flea markets, best time to shop is in the afternoon, the last weekend. Oh, that makes sense. Where the hell am I going? What color am I? Okay. I'll find my way, maybe. Oh, fuck me up. I'm not going to. I'm going to be so confused. All meat grinder with uh, ranch. Oh, garlic stuff. That sounds really good. Okay, we're going we're gonna to just... Am I even supposed to kill this one? What is this one? No, I don't need this one. I need gore. And Belios. Okay. Can we get him? Where's the stinky mink? Shouldn't it be nearby? Stinky mink. I want the fucking stinky mink. Oh man, if you kill me right now, this is gonna be so fucking embarrassing. So fucking embarrassing. Oh. Stop it. Stop it. I'm a nice lady. Okay. I just want you to follow me, but I need this. There it is. There it is. I should have got it first. Why I didn't, I don't know. Pick this up. Okay. Oh, my God. Just, God damn. Okay. Run, bitch, run. Okay. Oh. Stinky mink. I mean, it might as well be that. Okay, you bringing it here? Are we going? Are we going to Camellios? Okay, you got Gore. Go punch him in the butt. 
I'm over here, you little asshole. Do you want to let a low-level boy in the backpack? Hell yeah. We can make room. Okay, fuck it. Put it in the fuck it bucket. Buzz Buds, what's up? Oh my god, this guy. He's nomming on my booty something fierce. Okay. Thought you were a fast boy. He's so fast. Pick this up. Bit. What? Adderall causes nice addiction. Stuff. Well, good thing I'm not on Adderall. But uh, thanks for the PSA. Have you ever thought about just like telling people you care about about your feelings on medicine instead of like pretending you're a doctor and you know things about addiction? Because like technically you're not giving people true information. Yeah, anything can cause addiction. Any meds that you take too much of can cause addiction but not everyone is at risk for addiction. And some people might really need medication. So that might be something to look into. If you're gonna come into my chat and try to be a dirty hoe and push your ideas and thoughts onto people, I'm gonna call you out on it. Cause it's rude. And that's not how you make friends. And if you're not able to actually make friends with people you're trying to quote unquote change their mind to, it's just not gonna work, okay? It's just not gonna work. So how uh, Europe bans medical ads? These are your feelings. I mean, it kind of depends. We have a very privatized medical system here. Crimson. All these nuts. All right, let's go take this boy down. Are you ready? I will. It's just, I think it's stupid. Um, I understand that their intentions are good. Don't get me wrong. I totally get that. But you're making so many assumptions about a person. One, you're assuming just because I have the tag ADHD that I am taking Adderall. When clearly they don't know enough about people who have ADHD to know that there's many different medications and not all of which are stimulants. Yes. Ritalin and ADHD are notoriously sold sometimes, but not everyone does that. <laughs> and not everyone, you know, has intentions of doing anything like that. Some people just want to have a normally functioning brain. Um, and this allows them to achieve their daily tasks. So this could be bad. This could be real bad. There's a problem in a fighting game and the competitive scene. I can see that. Let's see. Your mom asked you to look up so much useless stuff. You still have those Facebook and Instagram ads. Not real things. Please stop clicking on them. Polonian, are you stressed? You seem stressed. The fact that you have over 200 hours combined across PC and Switch and you're only mastering five. Oh wow, you baby. You little baby. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna go kick this guy's ass now. They don't have it. I know, they have no cross save, no cross play, nothing. It'd be great if they did. Oh man, he just fucking ran over me. Bye, Clay. All right. Man, that keeps killing me. Well, it's not killing me, but it will if I let it. Now that could kill me. Well, I hope one day, Polonian, that when you come into chat, you don't feel stressed. And you don't need to vent. And that you can just enjoy your time. Alright, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, don't move. Oh, did I get him still? Shit. I don't think I did. A pie hole ad blocker for your folks place. It reduces the number of awkward conversations about fake news and misleading headlines about 50%. That's really cool. That's super freaking cool. Oh my fucking god. I just keep missing my marks. Let's try it again. 
Oh, Black Rainbow. Run. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate the prep, buddy. Black Rainbow, how has your stream been? Was it wonderful? Oh, I just... No, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Not you, Black Rainbow. You're wonderful. It's been great. Let's see. You're doing all Monster Hunter Rise, too? Heck yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So where were you hunting tonight? Were you doing the, the expansion a little bit? Were you getting Violet? Currently sitting at a black screen waiting for your finish. Oh gosh, are you uh, compiling shaders? That's the worst. Yeah? Nah, not yet? No worries, you'll get there eventually. Been grinding your ass off. What are you working towards? Now you're compiling shit. It takes forever. Fuck. Oh my god. He's hitting so hard right now. It's not usually this difficult. All the weapons. Ooh. Which one are you going for? Hacking the mainframe. I love that. Like, I hope it's like old school hacking the mainframe like they had in like 90s movies. That was the best. Damn. All right, so he's taken care of there. Let's switch back over. Have a wire bug soon. Why are the boots at your wish list so expensive? Oh, do you know how much boots are? Dude, that's just how much boots are. Boots are hella pricey, especially if you want goth girl boots. They're expensive, um, which sucks. Sucks big time. There's a reason why I don't have a lot of them. Oh, but I do have some really nice ones. How good this looks in 4K? Yeah, it's because you've been playing it on Switch. Fashion costs money, Crimson <laughs> Fashion. Getting the crimson rock to silver. Nice. Oh, the rook? Cool. That'll be super freaking cool. See, that's awesome. So it sits in the router, so it would completely bypass that. That'd probably be good. Then it won't even be a conversation. That's nuts, by the way. You didn't answer if you want um, fairy wigs? Oh, fair wings. Sorry. Let me think on it. Let me think on it. I'd have to see him. I'd have to see him first. Oh man, Lyft would be so happy if I had fairy wings or little fair wings. Like if I had wings in general. I'd, oh man, what would I do with that? What would I do with that? Yeah, that'd be awesome. I would love that. He forgot the word was banned. <laughs> um, I am not sure Black Rainbow off the top of my head. Buzz Buzz, thank you so much for continuing your sub with your prime. So I've got six squats to do after this hunt. Six squatties. But fairy wings don't have much muscle strength. Why would muscle strength have to... What? That's not an issue. Oh, it's up to you. DMs would be fine. You're gonna check? Let's see. Yeah, I can't remember which, uh, what master rank that one is at the top of my head. Man, that guy was tough. Oh, he's still tough. Should have sharpened, but I'm gonna do it now. It's on six? Okay. That's not horrible. So close, Drift, so close. Pumpkin Spice, you're right. Pumpkin Spice is absolutely free game. No! <laughs> One day, Drift. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, it'll be unbanned. I feel like Fair Wings are on the low end tier for wing capability, like you can do better. It depends who makes them. 
I mean, there's some really good craftsmen that go to fairs. Also, it's not like I'm gonna be wearing them full time. And like lifting heavy objects at the same time wearing fairy wings. That monster is a cake! True, he needs a monocle. If, if, if we got him with a monocle too, I would be like, this is, this is fantastic. He would be fancy. He'd be so fancy. I bet he drinks his coffee with a smell spoon. Five cartons? You drank five fucking cartons? Oh my gosh, you better get your sugar levels checked. Dapper? A dapper fucking monster? It's a dapper Dan. Oh god, this gonna be a bad time for me. Real fa Why would I be talking about real fairy wings? I'm not a fairy. How am I gonna get real fairy wings? But he drinks coffee and the tiny co only drinks espresso. Only espresso. He doesn't want any of those American American coffees. Or if he drinks his tea, he drinks it with milk. Milk and honey. Oh no, I don't want to fly. Jesus, I can hardly walk in a straight line. If someone gave me the ability to fly, like, I would immediately fly right into a power line. Like, I know my limitations as a human, or as just a creature in general. I don't need those. That's a horrible idea. That's that's terrible. And if you rip one of them, you're fucked anyway. And it's just like, we, we're not gonna play it like that. Just nope, 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 nope. Mm -mm. Don't wanna fly. No, never. It's not even on my bucket list. Like, I would, nah. I like my feet on the floor, please. I'll keep them there. Mostly decorative. The cool ones would be the full butterfly wing cloak. Oh, that sounds crazy. Yeah, I'd have to see those. Jeez, those sound nuts. Yo, what happens in a month, eh? What happens in a month? Hopefully something good. Well, now he's disappointed. He's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> What's that, a bus? Splat! It, seriously, like, it would just, I, it, mm -hmm. no good, no good. I, I would end up trying to text and fly, and then, like, it would just be terrible. Some hawk would try to, like, freaking carry me away. It would just be terrible in every way possible. Like, like, oh, <laughs> it'd be, it'd be great. We'll just say, it'd be, oh, no, I just went directly into that. <laughs> I went into the meme. Oh, no. A oh, no step row. They're like 200 plus. Wah! I'd take the boots. I'd say boots with the fur, but then I'd also need the apple bottom jeans. Oh, start swinging. Oh, this could be bad. Could be very bad. 27. Your birthday's on Halloween. Interesting. You'll be 27? Oh, you mean you're, you're gonna be 16. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Around the neck cloak that runs to mid-calf. Oh, and when you open it up. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I see what you're talking about. Okay. Do, 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 do. Everybody at the club was looking at her. She hit the flow. Next thing you know. Should have got tired and went home to sleep because she's, she's too old to be in the club. That's what happened. With the apple bottom jeans. Just took a whole thing to just went home. Yep, drink a lot of water. 17, so close to being an adult on his 18th birthday. We, we take him to the titty bar. <laughs> Only advantage of fairy wings is that they're good in small areas. It depends on the size of the fairy. What if it's a person sized fairy and the wings are fairy sized wings? You, what you gonna do? Amen. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> like a flasher's trench coat, but fairy-like? Crouching tiger hidden fairy girl? Like, <laughs> I feel like I feel like we could work with that, though. Like, I feel like it's not terrible. It's not terrible, all right? Like, you know, it's like... Oh, gee. 
Uh, sort of, except they don't fully close in the front. Okay, so they kind of like prop themselves open. They're gonna drop group for drift, do it. So you can fly by flash. Ah, I've just, just teabag on the go at that point. What's the code command thingy? Exclamation point add D. I got six squats to do. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the squatos. You're good, Lyft. I don't get a hunt with you that often. We're even talking about butterflies. Okay, so I've got six squatties for all you hotties. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Feels good, man. Feels good. Do, 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 do. Ah, fine. Yes! There's a trench coat. I expect the voice from the merchant from RE4. Oh, God. Forgot about that guy. It's the flannel for you. I mean, I like the flannel. I have this dark green flannel that I just got, but I can't wear it on here because I got a green screen. So it would just, I would disappear. I would completely disappear. Welcome to the north. It's so comfy. It's so comfy and I don't care if I get paint on it. It's great. I always get my flannels from the men's section though, because the women's section, they're like paper thin. I'm like, this is not a fucking flannel. Give me flannel or give me debt. Water buying. Mm. Trench coat of invisibility. I wouldn't want that either. I just, okay, if I can get any special trinket that gives me an ability is to make sandwiches whenever I clap my hands. That's all I want. All I want. I don't want invisibility. I don't want super strength. I don't want to be able to fly. I don't want to have like the ability to read people's thoughts. I just want to clap my hands and make whatever sandwich I'm fucking thinking about. That's all I want to do. I am an easy woman to please. Like, give me it. You're 90% sure that you have this shirt? Well, I, I got it from Goodwill. It could be yours. I don't know. Maybe. Don't look at my numbers. I won't look at a single one. Drift, I'll let you post. Oh, you think of when you say flash or trench coat? Is the gremlins? Oh my god. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have room for one more. Ring of sandwich making? It's not even- maybe? Maybe it could be a ring of sandwich making? The, the apron of truth? I have no fucking idea. Maybe not of truth, but like, truthfully good sandwiches. Oh god, I love it. I need a floating head sake stream for Halloween. That would work for Halloween. Shit, what should I be for Halloween? Fuck. Hey, next Saturday, by the way, next Saturday stream, I'm gonna do a cosplay. I think I'm gonna do a Hella from Thor. So if you wanna be around for that, then what you gotta do? Just be around for it. Posture check. Oh yeah. Fork of truth. Do you eat your sandwiches with a fork? It's forking weird, bud. Fork weird. One of these things is not like the other. Oh. Hello from Thor. Noted. Hard not to abuse that. You're very least shopping easier. It would make it would be so much easier. I could solve world hunger by making Sammies. I just have to go to a really good concert and be like, yeah, and then like clap my hands and be like, sandwich, 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 sandwich. I'll be like, you're welcome. Damn it. You're welcome. Ah, fucking koosh. It would be perfect. Oh, whatever piece of clothing you're thinking of, that's pretty good too. You can make money off of it. I can sell sandwiches. I can have a sandwich shop. That's all I need. Up north, helping your dad winterize the farm next weekend. Are you excited? Are you excited to help him though? Like, hopefully, uh, everything gets done quick. That way, you can kind of like spend some time with him, and then like you know do your own thing. Costco in one bag. Mmm, that would work. This is the long sword layered thingy. Where are you at? Meow meow. Ooh. <laughs> Look at those wings. <laughs> They're beautiful. There, you are a beautiful butterfly. It, that's a really cool fucking looking sword though. Oh, I love it. I love it. No health safety rules. I mean, I would hope it has some nutritional content. But man, it'd be paninis for days. I'd be like, oh, I want a hot Sammy. Done. Well, I'm, I would have so many grilled cheeses. So many, so many fucking grilled cheeses. Oh my God, bon me? yes. Absolutely, yes. Not really, and you've spent plenty of time with him over the last, oh, month. Oh, gotcha. 
Gotcha. So he's very involved. I see what you mean. Joining, compiling, shaders. Shaders. Okay, ooh, so we've got Mastering 4 over here, too. Alright. Black Rainbow, can you join this quest? Hannah can be the beautiful butterfly, too. Beautiful butterfly. Minus the last weekend when he was down here every weekend for three weeks. Okay, that might be a little bit overbearing. I need personal space, usually. Hannah's the oldest one here. I'm 80. I'm an 80-year-old granny. Thank you very much. Um, I wear that badge with honor. I'm also just the old lady in the group whenever I go out drinking or whatever because I'm like, you have me until like 10 o'clock and then I'm going to go the fuck home. Like, I'm very upfront with my time limitations because of how much I enjoy actually like having alone time and going to sleep. Run. It's important to me. Why does your dog look like a hairy version of the Ghostbusters dog? Because swag. Um, oh, Savage, thank you so much for the raid. That's super freaking sweet of you. And none of you have back pain. I mean, I have back pain. I have got, yeah. Y'all ready? Almost. We got, we got some more. Mm-hmm. Agreed. She could match me with the wings, but she won't. She's too chicken to, you did not just call me chicken. Not chicken. Not chicken. Be red panda, damn it. Red panda. Yeah. Maybe. She's a hater. You called me a hater. Stop. Stop. Make it fun of me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go, go take out my aggression on this Kushla. Savage, how was your freaking night? Did you have a good stream? Yeah, were you doing Destiny? My stream, like, how perfect those Ooh. two jumps were. I know someone in here who really, really enjoys Destiny. Maybe they should follow you. Mm-hmm. Do you already have the wings? We need to get so she can match. I'll chip in on that. Oh, my God. It would have to be something that I could add to my throne list. Where the fuck? Damn it. I thought I was, I was yellow the whole time. I went the wrong direction. That's the worst. 100% a great fight in Sunbreak. Tio is annoying. I, I, I'm not a big fan of Tio in this one. She gets wings. I'll get the set too. Fair enough. Your game crashed. Oh yeah, you just, you just got, you just got borked. Get bored, bitch. Well, we'll still, we're still in here. Maybe it'll help out Black Rainbow. Okay, hello. Hi, Tornado. See if you can get back in. With Red of Ace, the Crucible and Friends? Cool. Oh, shit. He's doing damage to me. Man, why is his damage so high? You need that quest. OMG. We'll see. You might be able to get back in. There's only one way to find out. Look for duplicates? I love it. See, yeah, you should be able to... Oh no, it's gone, gone. Oh, fuck. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't fucking with this. Good, da, 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 da. Oh, abandoned. Yup. I wonder if because he was the one leading it, that it went poop. He just pooped the bed. Unless, is, uh, is Steam doing some work right now? Does anyone know? Because that's what happened last time. Steam was, was trucking. Do I still? Yeah, I don't have any lobby settings either. Huh. It's 8.15 now. I feel like it. We'll see what happens. Well, let's try it. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Hmm. You have friends that get on games with you anymore? Well, maybe you just need to play different games a little bit. You never crash like that? Did the whole thing just like literally poop? Like, how did this happen? So Koi was here, then he's gone. You'll leave a lurk and do some shotgun? Do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Okay, I don't know if that ID code is still correct. Get new friends, yeah. I mean, you can hang out with us any day. Steam needs to update. Or something. 
Hmm. I wonder if that's what's going on. I mean, it could very well be. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. New ID! I like that announcement. It's a great one. Announce it to the world. Melting pot. What do we got? Over shells, one proof fire attacks, fair shot, for longer. But. That's a nice tush over there, Koi. I like it. I like it a lot. It's good quality tush. The tushiest. Oh, shit. I was telling you guys something at the beginning of the stream, and I, I lost track of what I was saying. Naturally. That's what happens when I read a chat. But I was gonna say, I am doing smaller cloisonnés. And uh, my, my equipment for it should be coming in next week. So I'll let you know how it goes. Um, and once I get everything priced out, it should be between... Uh, $100 and 150 with free shipping across North America. Let's see. Uh, if I want to, if we're gone, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's in use. Okay. But um, they're going to be four by four by six cloisonnés, and they're going to be fan art. So they're not going to be prints of any of these, but you're going to individually, like, you're going to get, a, you're going to actually get a cloisonné. So that should be good. I'm really excited. Can we get teacups? You, you can have teacups if you want. I don't know. Um, I could tell you a few of them that I'm going to do. I'm definitely going to do some Monster Hunter monsters. So there is 100% going to be a Kezu. Um, I would like to do some Ghost of Tsushima. Even if it's just like a little thing. Um, I would like to do a little bit of that. So if you guys have any cool ideas, like if you want me to do Pokemon, I can do Pokemon. Or like I can do Doug Trio, but make it really cursed. There's ideas out there. There's definitely ideas. Please, not a kezu. I didn't say big milkers, kezu. Jeez, Drift. What's up, Rowan? How are you? Um, so Crimson Rona. So cloisonnés are what I what I make in general. So um, if you saw that grist piece of artwork that I did, that's a cloisonné. So it's done with metal wire. All the line work is metal wire. Um, it is glued to a piece of plexiglass in my case. Um, and then you fill it in with colored sand. Technically, that sand is like a hybrid of type of glass. So like if I fired it in a kiln, it would turn into an enamel. Um, it's, it's technically an enameling art medium. Mm -hmm. Need sugar for your coffee. Your coffee, of course, there's going to be. Yeah, there's going to be it. Middle Hill Singer Wire. It's just it's just golden wire. Your hair looks awesome, boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, so that, that's one of the art forms that I do. Um, I really enjoy that medium a lot. Um, Black Rainbow, go ahead and post a quest. We'll get you started. Um, but it's not usually like the tr traditional version of it, of cloisonne would be like, you would see it on beads, like very small jewelry. And then you can kind of see it in vase, like Chinese vases will sometimes be done with cloisonne. Um, but I make non-traditional cloisonne paintings. And usually the paintings I make are so large that like you can never put it in a kiln anyway, because it's just fucking massive. So yeah, that's what I make, but I want to make some nerdy stuff. So I'm just thinking of ideas. So if you guys have any other ideas of things that you think would look cool in Cloisonne, then uh, let me know and just put it in the Discord under like check it out or something. And then I can uh, start getting ideas for it. Your PC was really like, no, your whole PC did it crash? The whole thing? For Pokemon Digimon? Oh yeah, I didn't even think about anime waifus. Anything that is... Um, like from a video game or not hyper realistic usually translates really well. Do, 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 do. It kind of almost looks watercolory ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a suggestion, y'all. That would work. Dummy mommy. And I stamp. Do you want me to just make her butt? Just make her butt for you. And then she'll just look around like, hey, eh? with her little long hand. Like, is that what you want, girl? I got you. <laughs> That'd be. It would be funny as shit. Buns. The game froze, and then Steam was like, time to update. Oh, that's no good. Well, we got bait in here, so this will be nice. I dig it. I bet you would. I bet you would. Well, it depends. Do you want more booty or more, more like titties? Because, you know, I could also do it for it. There's many ways I could do this for you. How can I help make your dream a reality? <laughs> oh, my God. Why do I feel like I'm, like, pimping these people out? I'm just pimping out these waifus. Like, oh, here we go. Yeah, yes, that's what we want. Oh my gosh. So if anyone has requests on monsters too for Monster Hunter games, 
I am totally down. Nah, nah, this will be fun. No, I should probably do this. Just in case. Oh my god, Hannah, what? You like the selfie portrait of Lady D? She's lovely. She's gorgeous. It would be something. It would be something. Since technically these will be custom, um, I'm okay doinking just from like Capcom, from like the video games and stuff. I have no issue with that. I'm not necessarily going to be making original content with it. However, if I really like one, and if I am like kind of doinking around with it, um, I could always turn it into a larger cloisonne too. At some point, we'll see. Rachna, ah, you probably would, I'm not surprised. This is PC. Oh my God, Hannah, what? Just, just trying to make all my ladies happy. All my people, just wanna make you happy. Let me love you. God, I'm gonna grab that. You still don't get the appeal of Lady D? Our voice motion capture artist? I mean, not everyone is attracted to everyone. That's all I can say. Personally, I thought she was more beautiful in, in uh, you know, her vampire form. I love tall women. <laughs> there, I said it. <laughs> well, that's amazing. I, I like that so much. That's, that's great. You don't get why this thing is taking so long to load. It's hefty. It's, it, I mean, my computer is struggling with it too. Oh. You're gonna act like you didn't see that comment? I love that comment. Dude, I outed myself for having sex toys. Like, you know what? If people want to out themselves for liking tall women, they can do it. As long as it's not hurting anyone and, uh, you know, anything like that, we're good. It's just so hard to tell with how the internet is. Maybe both? What it, I mean... The internet does not define who I am. So... I know well enough that what other people like is not necessarily what I like, and also what you see on the internet of what quote-unquote people like is just a very small sample size of people. It's not everybody. It's not like everyone took a vote. It was like, oh, out of this, like, out of these ten people, nine out of ten people really like booties. Like, it, that's not how it works. It's, opinions are just opinions. It's not a truth. So you don't get the whole issue with having sex toys grow Bingo bango, I feel the same way, but that does not mean that I'm gonna be sponsored by Lelo. But if I did, I mean, they might pay me money. Maybe if guys could actually get women off, <laughs> oh my God, Corey, you're my favorite person in the whole world. Oh my God, have you seen Rent a Girlfriend anime? I haven't seen it, but I have heard about it. That wants a fake sword collection. Why stop at a fake sword collection? Get real swords. Give your lady a real sword. Do you know how like, that is wonderful. What a thoughtful gift. A real fucking sword. Oh. How do you gauge what the real interest is? Just for the sake of a meme of sorts. Uh, what do you mean by the real interest? People just push it on the internet. They don't think about it. I don't think about any of the, any of the content I make for, for like TikTok. I've never thought about it once. I've never taken multiple takes on my TikToks because I don't care to. It's just what I'm feeling in the moment. It's not what I think other people want me to say. It's it's just what I want to say. I did not expect that one from Koi. Koi is, is a fucking like, dude, I love it. He's working that charisma skill tree hard. Five-year-olds have no filter. <laughs> so happy. I got my head in, that's all that matters. Your current favorite wafu is uh, Sumi-chan? I'll have to check into that. Does the internet- you, you're saying the internet, that's too broad. Do you know how many people use the internet versus how many people even know what Resident Evil is? It's way too broad. You're making a massive generalization. Or is it just because it's- oh, so you're talking about sensationalizing. That's a whole different thing. Yeah, usually when it comes to attraction, it's not necessarily sensationalized. It's either you're attracted to something or you're not. But also, not everything needs to have a reason. Koi, Koi is absolutely a wild card. 
Real sword, keyblade seams. Oh, I mean, you can go ahead and do keyblades, whatevs. But like, you know, let's go crazy with it. Go fucking crazy with it. Get your girl a fucking whole wall full of sharp, pointy objects. What could go wrong in a fight? I mean, nothing, nothing. You definitely will fight a lot less option, like often when, when you have a wall full of sharp things that could kill you. Um, I am in support of giving, <laughs> giving women <laughs> swords. But yeah, a keyboard forged by a Japanese swordsman, a sword man. Oh my God, the two and a half K, that's a lot. That is a lot of money. A keyblade from it, a keyboard. Pretty neat. That would be so cool though. Like, could you imagine? Being at that level of like blacksmith where you can be like, yeah, I can make a keyblade. That's insane to me. I would love to learn that. It's okay to not be attracted to Lady D. No one needs to put her down to those who do not like exactly. That is a wonderful way to put that. Everyone can coexist like that. Like you don't need to everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but they don't need to shame the other people. No, Helonian, I'm going to politely tell you to tone it down. The reason I'm going to tell you to tone it down is you've been very on edge since you've come into stream. And I get that. Stress happens. But I don't like people making generalizations in my chat. And the reason I don't is because it inadvertently causes other people to feel bad. And I don't ever want that. One. Me personally, I fucking love pornography. I love it. I have no issue with it. The stuff I look on the internet does not change how I am in a relationship. Um, it is a very religious viewpoint to be against something like that. And for the people who are against it, I'm fine with that. I have no issue with them. Um, and I think everyone should do what is right for them and their bodies. But um, it doesn't make someone less of a person, less of a partner, if they look at that kind of stuff, in my personal opinion. And I hope that anyone seeing your message doesn't feel guilted by your viewpoint. So that's just what I say. We don't need to always turn everything into a discussion. Just enjoy life. All right, where is this? Hook? There he is. I'm gonna follow bait. I do agree with that, Bravo. I'm a big fan of, of, you know, pineapple on pizza. Oh no, oh no. Oh, we're good, okay. Maybe it won't see me and I can sharpen. I should have done that when I was riding the pup, but I was reading chat. You know, more and more I can marry you. <laughs> oh, it's just like secret tunnel. I'm like, I'm just gonna fall off a cliff. Famous last words. You do realize I have a pray mantis tattoo, right? Oh, that lady do. Oh, you've never played the game, but the context you sort of remember it. I'll be playing back through the game in October. Well, I guess it's October now. Um, when they do the the expansion for it, the DLC. I'm really excited. Nope. <laughs> You're like, yes, pineapple. Pineapple on pizza. Okay, we are gonna heal so we don't fucking. No, oh, God. Yeah, maybe I should be more careful. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you for that heal. I needed it. Game it. Okay, so pineapple on pizza or anchovies on pizza? I've never had anchovies. I can't make that judgment call. However, chat absolutely had an opportunity to make me eat an uncut anchovy pizza, and they didn't do it. I mean, it was still uncut, which was horrible, and I had to eat it with my hands, but they didn't put anchovies on it. I was surprised. Um, Helonian, it's, it's different if if that subject matter was already being talked about. But not everything, like people come into streams a lot of the time to relax. And they don't want to turn it into a debate over morality or, you know, what defines a society. We're just here to have fun. Anchovies are salty? Are they really? You will eat both together? Are they, okay. What's the consistency of anchovies like? Cause that's something I don't know. And, okay, so pineapple on pizza is fucking alien, though. It's so good. It's so good, especially if it's spicy. If you've got jalapenos up in that bitch, it's like, oh. The Pray Mantis tattoo? Yeah, have you never seen it? It's to remind me not to play with my food. 
<laughs> they're spongy like mush are th they're fish fish aren't spongy Can't, it, could it wait are they dried I, I, I don't know how they're are they pickled shit and that's okay if that's how you distract yourself like i, I totally get that but if people don't want to immediately like jump into those conversations or are off put by it that's probably why because that kind of stuff stresses people out usually because you're drawing lines when people draw lines, it kind of defeats unity, you know? We're all just a group of people. A group of people that like watching me get carded. Or like watching me chop off booties, like one of the two. Like, that's the one thing that we all have in common right now. And sometimes it's nice to just have that community without trying to put people into categories. They're salty on their own. They can be very plain like tuna. Okay. No, you mean anchovies on pizza is one of the most iconic and classic Italian pizzas. Okay, that's true. That's true. I just maybe I need to try it. Do I need to try anchovy pizza? Is this gonna be a thing? Jalapeno pepperoni. Put pineapple on that. You'll be so happy. Add it on half. See how you feel. Just imagine canned tuna. Oh, see, I don't know if I'd want canned tuna on a, on a pizza, but I don't know. If it's salty, I, I could handle that. The more you, I love Jello, yeah. I love Jello so much. One time I had lychee Jello and it was the best thing that I ever had. It was amazing. Get a pre-typed ID for when you come back. Do it. The sharp degrees. Bullshit. Bullshit. People drawing lines makes people hostile. Meanwhile, the team of architects with the pencils, <laughs> rulers in their hands. Yeah, that's fair. Technically, I'm an artist. I draw lines too. I, I'm just not very good at drawing lines. I just admit that I'm not good at drawing lines. Oh my gosh. So you made strawberry? Do you put fruit in your jello? Correction. Do you put alcohol in your jello? Do you put alcohol and fruit in your jello? <laughs> I'm fine, I promise. <laughs> that is one thing I've never been able to master. I am so horrible at taking jello shots. I don't know how I could be as terrible as I am, but like half the time I like choke on it. I don't know how to get them out of the little like cup because you gotta use your like finger and then it's weird because you're like trying to floop out your shot. And it's just so strange. I just don't know what to do with that. You have a coworker that eats anchovies and sardines like pickles? It's disgusting. Drinks the juice? Really feel good. Oh, that's a weird one. That is definitely a weird one. We're friends last year, you derp. Do you put jello in your jello? Te technically, if I have more than one piece of jello, then I would be putting jello in my jello. That's yes. Mm. You don't like fruit in jello, it ruins consistency. Fair. There's no proper way, just use a spoon. You, you can't use a spoon at a bar. Be like, excuse me, bartender, can I, can I borrow a small spoon for my jello shot? <laughs> it would be interesting. Oh, but that's not usually how that one happens. I don't know where the boot booty. I'm not gonna get this booty in time. I'm gonna, there we go, mate. Oh, America's really think that anchovies are the devil incarnated. I don't think it's that. It's just it's an old. It's an old flavor profile. Not a lot of people eat anchovies in general, except for if you have Caesar dressing, and and usually a lot of people don't even know that there's anchovies in Caesar dressing. Jelloception. I guess it would be. It would be that. See, we, we, I don't have, I've never really had Swedish food. Except for Swedish meatballs. Mm, those little plastic spoons that they sell. I mean, yeah, you could do that. Or the little little wooden spoons that used to come with ice cream cups that you got in school. Nah, just bring a small plastic spoon. Just pull it out of your pocket. Oh, between the boobies. Between the boobies, jello shot spoon. It's totally not for Coke. Because it's teeny. But I mean, I, I wouldn't know. I've never done Coke, so I wouldn't even know. But I've heard there's Coke spoons. <laughs> Banana, pineapple, anchovies. Can't recommend that combo. Don't let chat pick your toppings. That sounds horrendous. Oh my god. They did that? What did you what did you do to earn that? that was it Ed? <laughs> I feel like it was Ed. God, you love Caesar dressing? It's good. In a lot of Korean foods? I could see that. Oh, what? I just fucking did that. Jesus. Okay. Do, 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 boo. I didn't mean to talk to this dude. Not wooden? You taste wood more than I- that's, <laughs> I taste wood more than anything. Um, <laughs> you got three gems? Holy shit. 
It's amazing. Y'all let me know when you could pop in. I wish I could pop out so you could just <laughs> be like, you could take my spot and then. Let's see. Lyft, do you mind cycling out for a little bit? After this one? You're just imagining some chick at the bar that she whips out a jello cup from her chest? I mean, what else am I, what else are we supposed to use boobies for if we can't use them for holding her jello cups? Okay. Sometimes I wish I had boobs so I could hold a beer. It'd be easier. Beer titty koozie. I don't know. Charity run. It was great. Only ate half of it. I don't know how you ate half of that. They're Coke spoons? But not that you know of. Oh, from the 2000s. Fair enough. You're turned away, and I'm guessing that there's two different comments, but I heard I love Caesar dressing on Korean food. Ooh, two, yeah, two different ones. Still have half pizza to finish tonight. It's onion and tuna, which is super good, but you assume people go ape shit if they hate anchovies. Well, usually we don't see tuna on a lot of pizza. Like, it's not even an option when you when you buy it. You got four on the right. How are you getting four? Good lord, that's amazing. That's just freaking great. You can cycle out now? No! You go on the next one. Go on the next one. We'll do one last hunt with you. A plus five to charisma? It could be. Easy fix. Use your butt cheeks to hold the jello shot if you don't have the bobs. <laughs> Just wear some like high-waisted pants and then like put it in the back. That that would kind of work, I feel like. You know, that wouldn't be too bad. You can't play with you. Just know that I'm playing with you in spirit. I love it. Your spirit is welcome here. Absolutely. Thighs can hold them. True, but my thighs be too toasty. Like, it's gonna melt my jello. You don't want sloppy jello, okay? You'd smash a tuna melt. Oh, fuck. Tuna melts are really good. Those are really good. No, butt cheeks! I don't want to put jello in my trouser hams, okay? That's not what I had planned for my Saturday. One from carving and three as a reward? Get it. Jello enemas. That wouldn't work. In solid form. Guys, it crashed again? Oh my fucking god. Really? That's not good. What's going on with your stuff? One thing I'm curious to taste is poutine. Putin. 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 Um, I haven't tried it yet and I need to. People are gonna yell at me if I don't. Um, I did have ketchup chips and those are fucking delicious. But yeah, I, I absolutely need to get some of that. There's a lot of like tradition. Maybe I should just make some. I do have a um, Canadian cookbook now, which I'm really happy about from Devious. So I should start working through those and like try to make them and then also go out and eat them and see how they actually compare and how bad of a cook I am. I should do that. No Putin? Putin. Putin. My French skills are negative 10. I'm so sorry. Instead, uh, I, I put those 10 points into the anxiety category of my skill tree. Uh, sorry. Canadian, oh, Canada french fries with cheese on them. And also, it's got gravy. And usually cheese curds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good gravy, good curds. Mm-hmm. Don't use mods? You're not using the big booba mod on your, uh, on, on all of your kezus? Are you sure? You don't have Kezu Big Mommy Milker mod? How can you not have that Kezu Big Mommy Milker mod? <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. Oh. Jello technically isn't a solid. Well, you can always de jello jello as well. You just have to put it in a microwave. Holy shit! Admiral! Cross. <laughs> Thank you so much for the gift sub. I will do a squat for your sub as soon as this quest is over. Mm hmm. Kezzy's. Capcom's like big booby dami mommy kezu noted. They're <laughs> I hope they're not taking notes on the things that I say. If if they do, I am <laughs> Capcom's gonna be like, why exactly do we bring Cosmic on here? And I'll be like, oh. I don't know. She just she seemed like a good fit at the time, and now they're like, oh. Mistakes were made. You're Italian, you love to taste other countries' recipes? Which could sound obvious, but Italian stereotype. Um, you eat food with the rest sucks? I mean, you're gonna have different- it happens. I don't know. Everyone has different priorities when it comes to, like, what kind of food they go after. I just like anything. I will try any food once for the most part. It doesn't have to necessarily be from a different country or whatever. I'm still down. Added boobs to everything? I'm adding boobs to everything. Warm jello that has just started to thicken is so good when you have a sore throat. Oh, I just drink whiskey. Whiskey is what I do when there's a sore throat. 
Most countries butchered your recipes? Oh, I can see that. They've definitely butchered Tennessee hot chicken here. Like, it's terrible. It was not hot. It was not Tennessee. It was literally chicken on bread. It's like, what the hell is this? No, fatal is big booba dami mami kezu. Exactly. Why shouldn't there be boobs on everything? You know, like, isn't there a one SNL sketch where it's like, put a bird on it, it's, it's, except for it's put a boob on it, you know? It's full of pervs, let's be, I would like to meet them. Not because they're pervs, but because I like their skill set. Mm hmm. Like, Captain doesn't already know what we like. Fair enough. Admiral, you're so right. Each time your hunter hits Kazu, its face blushes and it goes, Era, Era. <laughs> Have you seen Yuri? I'm thinking about doing a Yuri cosplay. Um, I have to find a good one though, because you know if I, if I don't, it's gonna. I don't. I don't like cheap looking cosplays. That's the problem. Um, so I end up dropping big money on them, which is fine because I don't have the skill set to make my cosplays. Um, it's, it's kind of what I have to deal with. But I want to find a good one. I really do. Okay. Hi, deaf boobies. We gotta get those boobies in 60 frames for those jiggle dynamics. Gotta love the jiggle wiggle dynamics. I'm trying to think which game, like, has the weirdest booby jiggle dynamics. No, I mean not booby ones, just jiggle dynamics in, in general. I think it'd be fun. I would have so much fun. I just, I've missed doing cosplays a lot. Like, ever since I moved, um, oh, fuck me up. Um, it's been, it's been weird because I had to get rid of a lot of my things. And a lot of my cosplay stuff no longer fits because your girl's got some thighs. Uh, and when I got the cosplays, I did not. So I've had to kind of like monster mash some stuff together or make changes or I'm going to have to find replacements. It's just going to take some time. No! Don't run away from my love! You won't be able to play with you today? Probably got to uninstall the game and reinstall. I'm so sorry, man. That sucks. Well, you can keep working on it. I mean, I'm gonna stream until 11. So you do have time. Soul Calibur, yes. Ivy and Talk. Talkies were ridiculous. At least, they I mean, they covered them, so I was just like, hmm. But I think that was one of the first times where I was just like, what if, like, with Ivy, I was like, I don't know how old you are, but like, I, I can't find your face because it's just boobs. Just boobs. Had some weird dynamics. Immortal Kombat had some weird dynamics, too. Okay. Taki. I used to play with Talon. I'm making coffee. I was really with Talon. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? I'm having a cup of you coffee. You serious? Anybody, Thank you so much for the dono. I'm having a cup of coffee. Now I gotta do 20, 21 squatties. I got 21 squatties. Thank you so much. Is it because we're talking about bobas? <laughs> Are you here Mommy for the bobas? One hundred dollars. Probably not getting above two hundred tonight, but closer. Also, haha, -ha, Capcom probably knew if they've see any of your streams. That's true. They probably know. I I don't know. I feel like one of these days, they're gonna really realize like how ridiculous my streams are. And they're gonna be like, all right, I know we partnered you for one of, to be our creators and everything, but like, can you can you tone it down? I'll be like, no. All of a sudden I'm gonna have the, the freaking Resident Evil Lady D mouse pad. I'll be like, tone it down, how about to tone it down? Squats do be bring, I mean, also I just need the squats right now because I'm on new ADHD meds. And I have way too much energy. So it's like, I need to be able to go to sleep tonight and then hopefully this will help me wind down. Getting some performance errors too? See, that's not good. You know, I definitely started having more issues with performance stuff um, after they did one of the updates. Not the most recent one, but the one before that. It's good for wrist support. See, and wrist su I should get some wrist support. I should, I should indeed. But also, I saw a, a Jotaro mouse pad, and it was his pecs for the wrist support, and that's really tempting. Because I really like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So, like, if, if you guys like that kind of stuff, then, yeah, you're gonna fit in just fine here. Oh my gosh. Alright, so maybe I won't die. Go ahead and knock him out. Go for the booty. Shall I go for the booty? Oh, good thing I'm- oh. Oh, I was like, 
Surely I missed that large hit. No, no, I did not. I never did. Was the unhooked monster tracking from your frames? Oh. Okay, so is there a good way to mitigate that? Because that's why I've been having issues in game. Like, is there a setting I could change to kind of correct that? Because it's been fucking weird. Can you tone it down while ADD in this swimsuit? Yeah, exactly. I'd be like, please. I'd be like, either you tone it down or I'm. T I just, I had a wonderful thought. Do you guys want to hear it? It's so good. It's so good. Oh, now I'm going to die. Uh, this is not good. Nick Schleck. Um, so. Oh, I am in, I'm in art school, right? And uh, I am currently in sculpture. I love sculpture. Sculpture is going to be my thing. I can tell now. But anyway, right now we're making a giant bus. And when I say giant bus, I mean it's uh, it's an oversized human form. So it's about three feet by three feet by three feet. And um, so I'm making a humanoid kind of reptilian creature that's a little bit like an Asari mixed with like, you know, a lusty Argonian, uh, you know, woman. Um, but what if I just made Lady D? Should I just make a realistic Lady D? With some big old, big old tatas? Be fun. Be like, this is good. If, okay, so because earlier if you played at 20 frames, the monster would basically never hit you. At 100, it was a perma hit. Yep, fair. See, it's more the donos are more money efficient than gives up. That is true. Uh, we're hoping to beat the 200 ish she did during the stream. Oh my god, you're so sweet, though. So freaking sweet. Gonna. It's gonna help me a lot with my bills. I'm <laughs> really, really, really thankful. Big is a word. It is. Yeah, sorry, Argonian Lady D. It would be so much fun. And now that I know how to weld the frames for it, like, yeah, I feel like I could do it. I feel like I could totally do it. Gotta order dinner, then I'll do it. Yay! <laughs> the answer is just yes. Gonna borrow this butt over here. Even solo? Because you're just browsing your inventory the second time and it froze? That's not good. You're having a lot of issues with your setup, aren't you? I mean, I, I have some pretty stupid issues with my setup too every once in a while. Mine are usually like, the main issues I've been having on here is just freaking Chrome. Chrome keeps jacking up my stuff, specifically with OBS. Um, but yeah, it's been, my computer in general has been having a hard time running Monster Hunter. It's been really jittery. And I think some other streamers too have been having that issue. I know that, um, uh, Aussie man plays was was having some issues with his. Yeah, Chrome is a big time hog. You replace your stove? They only dropped it off. They didn't install it. What? They didn't install your stove? You're like, oh thanks. I have a stove, but I don't know. <laughs> Do you not? I wouldn't have no idea how to install it. Is it difficult? It depends what kind. If you've got an electric stove, I feel like that would be kind of like figure outable. But if you don't, then I don't know if I want to mess with a gas stove. This is gonna hurt. The overlay drinks on the CPU constantly brings it to 100%, chokes it down. Okay, that's that's interesting to know. You've ever had a huge problem playing Rise though on your PC? Yeah, this is a, a new thing for me too. I wasn't having issues with Rise until um, apparently they fixed that issue. Frames. Opera GX. Okay, I'll have to figure out what that is. Oh shit. I've never even heard of Opera GX. I assume it's very basic, right? So much of uh Megadol? Megadol. Oh, are you talking about this dude? I need to actually hit this guy real quick. Could be gay. Oh god, there we go. Make a backup for your local save folder. That would probably be a really good idea, especially if you have to uninstall it. You're tinkering with OBS settings. You switched it to game capture to try to cut out the fuzziness when while it works for just recording stuff. 
cover snowball and twitch guru uh, mine will not let me use game capture on a monster hunter for some reason my my game capture only picks up like certain games which is really annoying oh good we caught him from age of sigmar gotcha okay that i was like why does that sound so fucking familiar you found a vid to replace a dryer heating element. So there's vids for tons of stuff, as long as you can identify your model. That makes sense. Stove hookup is a different size than the existing gas light. I would not fuck with that. I would definitely leave that to a professional. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't blow up your house. That would make me really sad. One or two minutes before the game capture picks up in Sunbreak for you? Really? Well, I can technically turn both on at the same time and just toggle. We'll see. I'm kind of curious if, if that is a thing. Does it take less or more resources if you do that? Orb obtained. Get it. Let's see the save folders in your programs. Lucy, you are, you are such a save when it comes to that kind of stuff. I'm happy someone knows because I don't. I never have any idea where, where things like that are. I'm just like, my shit's broken, I need to update everything. And then I see what actually is broken, and then I'm like, hey, help! It's usually a big help. Okay, Drift, if you can get in, go for it. La boop! Oh, Shaolin Monkey, how are you doing? You're gonna head out now? Do your thing. You're totally fine. I mean, if you want to stay and do some hunts, that's totally fine. I have no issue with that. If you do act deactivate the steam overlay, it's going to consume less CPU. But I think the game in general became slower with the latest update. Yeah, I'm thinking so. It's so late. No worries. Do whatever you got to do. We do have one slot open. Well, almost two slots open if anyone would like to join. But since it's picking up the capture from the game instead of the display, it doesn't have to spend resources downscaling. Oh, okay, that's fair. I've been having a lot of issues with OBS. Do a daily backup. I'm real bad at that. I'm probably not. I should, but I'm not gonna. Currently reinstalling the game, so may not in a bit. Okay. So you're starting to get a headache? Oh, that's not good. Make sure you're drinking some water, everyone. Drink some water, go take a bathroom break. Um, eat some food. Yes. Mm-hmm. Need to find the command? We got you. Got you. You made coffee and- Ooh, what kind of dumplings did you make? Sounds wonderful. You don't want to drink what? Okay, drink some booze. I don't know. Drink the blood of your enemies. Drink in the undying beauty that is your face. Trying to get sassy with it, and I'm having a hard time coming up with fancy ideas on the fly. Fucking crab boys. Thank you for the hunt, Spy Rainbow. I'm happy you joined. Oh, now we just we're just kind of drilling it. Usually we don't have a massive line, so if someone wants to hop in, they just kind of say so in chat, and then we make it work. Drink water, Sarah. There were veggie dumplings. That sounds good. Yeah, it works. So booze is out. I will drink the blood of my enemies, though. I think that's fair. You can just like, uh, you know, put a, put a little little tap in Amy and just follow her with a very long straw. See Standing if that up. works. Oh God, you've gone full lumberjack. Sorry. <laughs> Am I getting better? Am I getting better with the sorries? Oh nipples, how are you doing? How, how is life? Tell me. Tell me all the things. Okay, you're joining? Streamer can always drop group. I would love to. If I could just sit here and watch you guys play, I'd be like, fuck yeah, this is the life. This is the life for me. Ooh. Nightmare just got good girled. Oh man, I hope that doesn't awaken anything. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Damn, bandit. You're at 901. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. I love it. These little cats so cute. 
You're doing good? You just had Rosati's? Aw. Did Rosati's make you think of me? I won't be able to get deep dish pizza here. There's just not, there's no way. Also, I had uh, Nashville's hot chicken and it was horrible. Terrible. It was a monstrosidot. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Master rank levels faster than uh, high rank? I think you're right. I better awaken something. <laughs> like the total XP required for HR uh, 999 is double than what you need for Master Rank? Good God. It's fucking nuts. Let's see, it's like a bell. So the first 500 levels, high rank goes by fast. That makes sense. Easy. From where? It was in a place in Ottawa. It was just, it was so bad. I knew it was gonna be bad. I'm in Canada. I'm like, what are the chances they've actually been to Nashville? And the answer was, they, they haven't. They had no idea. They had no clue. You had a late night, got home around 11. Oh my God, what were you doing? What kind of shenanigans were you getting up in? I'll live vicariously through you. Well, that was dangerously close. Oh, no, I would never get that at Buffalo Wild Wings. But Buffalo Wild Wings, yeah, I mean, it's, it, that guy just, he just... Uh, I have to refrain from a comment. All the shenanigans, every little shenanigans that ever did shenanigans. Okay, we're gonna... Let's go and do this. Mr. Crab Boy can kiss my ass. They have a Nash- yeah, I mean, I just don't understand it. Like, I feel like Nashville hot sauce isn't that difficult. Like, fuck. It's not that hard. Just make something hella hot. Oh, shit. I, oh, I didn't need to hit that button. Mango habanero, that sounds really good. I think that's a good call. Got you going. Come on, let's go and get swinging on you. Most places make it. And it tastes buttery? How does... I... Okay, so... Here's my issue, right? My issue, if you're gonna go ahead and, and like, make a restaurant menu that references another type of cuisine. So, for example, Nashville hot chicken. Or if you had, like, let's say, um, Memphis dry rub. If you're gonna add that to your menu, even if you've never been there, why the hell did you not just Google a recipe? Like, why are you trying to make it up? It is, it's super easy to find out online, to get a good recipe, and to doctor it up a little bit. Like, it doesn't have to be that shitty. It doesn't have to be that off. It could be really close. It, it's just like, yeah, it's totally a marketing ploy, but also it's just like, you're making some really crappy food. Because if it, like, Nashville hot chicken legitimately has hot in the name. If it does not even taste like hot sauce a little bit, like, I'm gonna be really concerned. Because that's weird. That's real weird. Chicken, spinach, feta, pizza. Oh, that sounds really good, Crimson Rona. That sounds fucking great. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting... Crab cake. Uh, what, what is happening here? Oh my god. Your can of spicy is- oh no! Is that an issue here? Is this the equivalent of like... Thinking that- why am I hitting- he was- oh, he's been dead. Jeez. Oh, I hit him anyway, so we're good. But... Do they not use spice here? Is it- oh, is that gonna be a problem? That's gonna make me really sad. I like spicy stuff. Why does everything look like a dick in this game? I'd say maybe you see what you want to see, but I don't think you want to see dicks. Found the crab erection. The the crabbing. Um, why is there a little spinny hole? Spinny hole? Mine now. Hmm. Farther up you go, the blander the palate. See, I like, I love spicy shit. I like freaking, oh my god, Cajun food. Love that. Hot sauce. Love that kind of stuff. Spicy Asian food like hot chili oil. I will drink hot chili oil. Like, oh, where did you move from, Tennessee? Moved from Knoxville. Nope, not a fan. Sorry, wiener owners. It's like the best phrase you could have picked. Wiener owners. Hi, I'm Hannah, and I'm the proud owner of a wiener. Okay, yeah, no, I, I definitely know the deal. 
Like, we've got Carolina Reapers and all that good stuff. Spicy Indian food is so good. Yeah, Indian food. They don't mess around when it comes to spice. Mm-hmm. Okay. I need to do 21 squatties. 21 squatties. Because I didn't do the 21 squatties yet in the dono. I need to. You love Indian food? Wieners. God damn it, Koi. Can't just be yelling wieners all willy-nilly in my chat. Hannah has a what? A big old dong. Mm-hmm. You heard it from me. Right from the source. It's massive. It's, it's huge. Your dad loves it. Okay, so. <laughs> While we get going on that. Holy fuck balls. 21. Yeah, we had a big old dono. So I have to do 21 squatties. Okay. One, 2021. Alright. And we are back. Paid for. The puppy just brought a stick into the house? Be back while you chase him. Do it. Go for it. The couch. Thank God it's not black. I know. I know. I'm gonna have to get like a... A lovely chair cushion chair cushion no, i need to get something to go over it. i need to get a blanket you'll have to restart though oh you had to do a driver update yeah it was pine but it smelled good i love the smell of pine i'm, good to get I'm one of those girls that like i like the candles that smell like wood <laughs> like if if Home Depot came out with a Christmas candle and it was just the wood aisle, I would buy like 12 of them bitches. So you went and closed the door? And I was like, he's chewing on. Yeah, what is he chewing on? Ooh, it's spiky. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's a great smell, Dustin. I love it. You're gonna keep quiet. Fair enough, Grey One. I know exactly what you'd say because I thought about it at the same time and I was like, fuck it, we're doing it anyway. And that's why we're here. Yep. You missed the old Axe body wash that was sandalwood? I feel like the Axe body wash wasn't nearly as, like, crazy scented as, as the deodorant or the body spray. The body spray was just super overwhelming. I'm good to go. Trees. Yes. Formaldehyde covered wood. Mm, pass. Mm, I know. Maybe. Maybe. You say things sometimes and I think, she's gayer than I am. Maybe. The night is still young. I don't know. I'm just at this point. Like, I don't even know. I just don't even know. Maybe I am fully gay. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just questionably bi. <laughs> your Switch is laughing at you right now because you stress over your PC. That's a rough time, man. To the long load times. I hate those long load times. The smell of a high school locker room. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. Light barely breaking through the clouds. A creature wanders restlessly through the You love the workout idea? We need a sub goal for a new corset. Dude, I've got so many corsets. I love them. I don't know. Maybe I should get a different color. So I've got... I've got a black short corset that's mesh. I have a full black, just regular black satin corset. And then got another black one. I have a blue one with stars. I have another black one with kind of like mesh on the sides. I've got my uh, flamingo one. I like that. Bi women are too powerful. I think that's okay. Maybe I should get a red one. I feel like a red corset would be nice. Wondering if you're bi. Yeah, no, absolutely not. I mean, maybe. Really strong. That's true. That's true. Makes my back feel better when there's really strong boning. 
absolutely accurate. I know, I had to move to Canada. Do, 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 do. Not boners, you perved. I'm by curious. I'm just freaking by as shit. I don't know. They, <laughs> I have all of my friends are so confused by me sometimes because I don't really have a type um, at all, really. Like, I used to think I just didn't have a type with men, but I also don't have a type with women. Like, I think the personality, like, makes or breaks it when it comes to, like, level of attractiveness for me. Like, you could be the most traditionally hot thing in the world, but if when you open your mouth, it makes me really cringy, like, I will get the ick so fast. I'll be like, no thanks. <laughs> Automa doesn't like anyone. Don't take it personal. Straight as an arrow. You're, you're straight as a noodle until it gets wet. It is kind of strange to... Okay, so also, I'm almost 30, right? So a lot of my friends are like, hey, you gotta settle down, you're gonna find someone, you're gonna get married, blah, 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 all this stuff. And they're like, well, like, let me hook you up with someone. They're like, this person seems like your type. I was like, I don't have a type. You're not gonna be able to just, like, eyeball this. Like, it doesn't work like that. Straight as a noodle. Mm-hmm. Kendra also doesn't have a type. It's just, uh, I don't know. For people who aren't like that, it's kind of hard for them to understand. Oh yeah, no one ever likes an uninvited wiener. <laughs> Unless it's, it's wiener. If it's wiener schnitzel, I'm doubly down. Just all a guess, kind of. I think that's why I can't really like do dating apps. Because everything, like, I don't know the personality yet. Until I'm friends with someone, I can't tell if we'd be a good match. Like, if I don't have that initial, like, level of attraction, I'm not gonna want to go on a date with them. You fall into that as well? Yeah, like, I want to get to know people before I want to think about dating them. Because I want to know if they're fucking crazy. Mainly. Lucky me, then? You're not even near conventionally- I mean, hotness doesn't matter anyway, Riri. And the reason that it doesn't matter is just because looks are so fleeting. And it's just, they don't survive time. So if you're dating someone strictly on their looks, like, that's kind of a shallow person anyway. It's confusing sometimes. Dating apps never work. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm more in that, that kind of neck of the woods. Especially these days. Yeah, dating apps are weird. Super, super weird. Farmers only, let's go. Let me go get my car hearts. I got you. You're just gonna be a cool rich uncle? That's awesome. I'm just gonna be an ant. I'm not gonna be cool. I'm not gonna be rich. I'm just gonna be existing. Your hand is big as I mean, there is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It gets the job done and is efficient. Well, let's be honest. Oh, fuck, I missed it. Let's try this again. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I missed it twice. Ah! Oh. You grew out of a lot of that stuff? See, that's a thing. As a teen, you were kind of, uh, kind of like your type. You grew up with Alyssa Milano. Another TV, so like Game of Girls. Yeah, I totally get that. There's like the stereotypically attractive people, I think. But it's just when they open their mouth. Like, it, it either kills it or it doesn't. Like, I went on a date with this dude. And we were kind of talking. Um, but it got to a point whenever he would, like... He gave me the ick so fast. So, so fast. And that takes skills. I'm usually, like, really... I'm a slow mover. But it was how he talked about things. And it just completely got under my skin in a way where I was like... I'm gonna, like, give myself a migraine from, like, grinding my teeth if I don't get the fuck out of here. Like, that personality completely ruined it. As long as you're happy. Definitely nothing wrong with being a single. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Also, no one needs to pressure anyone to have fucking kids. That's an important thing. That is probably one of my greater pet peeves. Is being like, your baby maker is clothes and suit. It's like, I never said I wanted or did not want kids. Why does someone get to try to, like, pressure someone into doing that? Well, you'd be a great mom. How do you even know? I can't even keep my cat off of the countertops. Like, how am I going to make sure this kid doesn't get hit by a bus? Like, what? Craziness. You your You're not a boxer guy, sadly? <laughs> You're definitely crazy amateur. Oh, absolutely. Let's see. I think I'm going up here. 
See, you got a dog, you're 34, you're sick of trying to find someone that matches your vibe. If it happens, it'll happen, but you never go out. So unless you fall through your roof, probably isn't happening. But that, that's kind of the case. That's totally the case. She pressured you even though you started. I literally had my mom tell me that I should just get a sperm donor. And I was like, excuse me? Like, and the thing is, I had a boyfriend at the time. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell kind of shit is that? Don't, don't be like that, people. Don't do that. It was so weird. We can keep our kids off the countertop. Fair enough, Kendra. <laughs> like, my brother has three kids, and he wants six, which is insane to me. But every time I talk to him, he just... He just really vocalizes, like... I don't want to say that he has regrets of having his kids, because I don't think he does. But... He has been very openly envious of not having- of me not having kids. Oh, well, don't worry. She's completely chill now, because uh, there, there's no- no contact at this point. Six in this- I know, it was- it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy to the person that's filmed the place cute. I'm after you now. I like it. You're glad that you're not- oh no, you're, you're definitely not. I've had a rough upbringing, to say the least. But, yeah, it's definitely, if I ever decided to be a parent, I can guarantee that I would never put any child through what I've been put through. Granted, in some ways, would that make me a better parent than what I had? Sure. But, would I still have a really high chance of fucking up my potential kids? Absolutely, because I'm sure I'd do something else wrong. And that's not necessarily something that I'm like, you know, I'm bored, I really wish I could have kids. Like, oh, like, no, I, <laughs> it's a lot of responsibility. Try not to fuck up something that's gonna, like, you know, have energy, power, and opinions. Your grandpa, before he died, said that you were the last hope to carry on the family name. That's a weird pressure to put on someone. That's super weird. Mom occasionally expresses that she hopes to someday be a grandmother. Like, if you wanted- oh, I hate that. I'm so sorry you're dealing with that. It's so fucked up. But also, it's not a big deal. <laughs> like, you shouldn't have kids in hopes that they have kids to make you feel fulfilled. Like, that that's really, that's really fucking weird. Like, if you, if you actually look at that, like, as a whole, like, that's really weird. People shouldn't have kids unless they are ready to have kids financially, emotionally, just stable enough to have kids because they want to have kids. And just because you have kids doesn't mean that you have rights to have the pressuring ability to pressure your kids into having their kids so you can experience being a grandma. Like, that's just fucking strange. You and Autumn, if we do have kids, we'll adopt. Oh my god, that's great. Hey, if you want an egg donor or something, like, you let me know. I'll give you a little Isasaki. I'd do it. The last hope for your family name. You carry the unsated pressure. Unnecessary for a long time. Like, yeah, I mean, it is, it is a weird pressure. Um, as a woman, I don't really have that, because obviously I don't carry the family name. Um, but I do carry other weird pressures, too. I don't know. It's just... I'm doing the same thing over and over again. I'm on autopilot in this game. It's an interesting thing. Martha gave up on that when you have kids a long time ago. I'm happy that she did. <laughs> so you don't have to do that. The goal is to assist the creation of, of decent adults, not raise kids. Yeah, exactly. You're totally right. Please, no children. People shouldn't have kids if their interest is to continue a family line. I agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. It adds a strange obligation into the dynamic. At surrogates, but that oh, it's it's incredibly expensive. It's very very expensive to do a surrogate situation. I mean, even when it comes to like getting an egg donor, like if, if you had a spouse who was like, you know, I'll, I can't, like I struggle with fertility, so I need to have someone else's eggs. Which, random fact, a lot of people probably don't know, is one in eight women actually struggle with fertility. Like it is that that much of an issue. It's interesting. Can't stop them from growing, but you can make them <laughs> highly broken adults. Yeah, or you could... <sighs> I could... I could write a TED talk on this shit. I'm gonna be really honest with you. There's just way too many kids in the system. You're right. You're absolutely right. There's... there's just... Oh. Sometimes I just want to take two people's heads and I just want to smash them together and be like, what the fuck are you thinking? Oh, wait, you're not. Kind of thing. Why are there fireworks? Let's see, we actually have a fertility issues. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big issue. Kendra, like, you're, you're absolutely correct. So, um, me personally, 
a little bit about my background that probably a lot of you don't know. Um, I had pretty significant issues with my parents, specifically my mom, um, ever since I was in high school. And when I say significant, I mean enough that now there's no contact. Significant. And uh, so I had made a promise to myself when I was in school, in college, that if I couldn't solve the issues that I had with my mom, I would not feel comfortable having kids and I would want to get my tubes tied. The reason being is I wouldn't want to bring a child into a situation where there is constant friction and chaos in between her mother and the grandmother because I know it gets watered down to the kid because that's what happened to me and I wouldn't want to do that. And so I decided that at that point when I was like 27 um, that I would pursue being an egg donor because I wouldn't be the one carrying the kid and this would be the best chance for my genetics to be carried on by a loving family. Because you know what, if they want a kid so bad, they're willing to drop like $20,000 in order to have one. Like that kid is going to have the best chance at having a happy childhood that is not influenced by generational trauma or anything like that. So um, I told my mom that that was what I was going to do. I was like, hey, I'm gonna pursue being an egg donor. And she scolded me so hard and pretty much berated me on about how selfish I was that I would prevent her from seeing one of her grandchildren. And, and it just blew my fucking mind because I'm like, this isn't your grandchild. I am just supplying the parts. It's not my kid. It is being carried by another woman. Like, yeah, it's my genetics, but this is not your grandchild. Like, it's, that's just not how this works. And it was just like absolute chaos, like to be in that situation. And if anything, it made me realize like, hey, this is why I'm doing this. Because I don't, if I even had a kid, like I would not trust my parents to be around them. And if that's the case, like, it's, that's just like, that's not someone that I should be around either. If I wouldn't trust my kids with someone, I shouldn't trust myself with them. So that's when I kind of was like, all right, we're cutting ties because it's the only thing I can really do. I'm super sorry that you've struggled with fertility issues. That, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of stress, especially if you really, really want kids. Um, it can be really frustrating. I have a few friends that have struggled with it as well. You cut out a toxic member? Yeah, I think that's smart. How dare you just, I mean, it's not even that. It's, it's, I don't know. She knew the reasoning behind it, and she still, she turned the, the thing into her. It was a her issue, is what it was. It was how could I take her children away from her, her grandchildren, and and that's that's not something that I want to support. I thought that was gonna loop around, but it doesn't. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. That's why you want to have kids to try to raise a new generation that respect human rights of everyone. I mean, if you can do that, then it's like, hell yeah. Um, but it kind of sucks that usually when, when you're in a situation where you see how big of an issue that is or how big of a need there is for that, it's because you've gone through a lot of trauma yourself. Yeah, you got covered, you guys. Highly suggest therapy before kids. Yes, I just suggest therapy in general. I think therapy is a wonderful thing. Wow, that dropped. Was this like a level two? Oh. It, I just, it just looked at it weird and it just died. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Um, yeah. Also, if you're under the, if you're around the age of 27 and you do decide that you want to be an egg donor, you can always ask me questions. Um, it's very lucrative, but there is definitely a physical cost to it. So that is important to know. Um, when I did it, which was last year, it was, it was last May. Um, so it pays around $8,000 if you're in the U.S. And some places they let you negotiate for more or less, depending on the situation and like how many times you've been successful. But yeah, it's two weeks of getting three to four injections in your, in your stomach every day that uh, gets really taxing. You pretty much go through like an accelerated version of like the first trimester for an egg donation. It's pretty rough, but it's probably one of the more rewarding things that I've done. Like, I'm really happy that I did it and I would do it again, especially now, like knowing the process because it was not really explained to me because they don't want people to back out. I really wish they would have just been more open about it. Um, your eggs are broken. 
If you need a donor, you let me know. I'll make sure your stuff gets taken care of. It's just a... I think people need to talk about infertility. You know, I think it's I think it's an important subject. And I didn't even know that there like one in eight women struggled with that until I was an egg donor. The key, unfortunately, is not necessarily to raise a better being, but to become a better being, you must change uh, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Yes, but also being economically, financially stable enough to have a kid and not raise them in poverty also makes a difference. Um, there's other factors than just trying to be a good person. Now you're 100% done? I totally get that. I totally get it. I am more fertile. <laughs> and Kendra is, bro Kendra is broken. Oh, it's okay. I mean, shit happens. Uh, the other thing, too, is birth control. People don't think about the long-term uses of birth control, what that does to your body. Because that can also affect some things. What's up, fam? Hi, Enigma. How are you? What's new, man? What have you been playing lately? Guys, if you have not followed Enigma, you should. He is the resident Uni. Plays a lot of shooter games. He has a lot of fun, though. All the dongo. Is that a lighter now? See, we get more monster booties? Yeah, I'll do some more. Um, around 10 o'clock, though, I'm gonna change into some power washing simulator so we can kind of like play a nice calm game. Quit on the game and immediately booted. No wait before. You think it fixed? Oh, I hope it did. PCOS, you've got a cycle semi monthly, but the only ovulate like, every two ish years. See, that's, that's, yeah, people know, know about that. Or like if you've been on birth control for like a really long time and you go off, you're like super fertile for a little bit, but then all of a sudden it's really hard to get pregnant. There's a whole bunch of shit. Whole bunch of shit. Knowing is half the battle though. Do, 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 do. Yep, we got a spot open for you, Drip, if you want to hop in. Let's see, I think you said you're five, so we should be fine with Bates Quest. 12, 10, 7, and 5. Killing it, though. Got some nice, like, age gaps in there. My brother is one year older than me, and we had some issues. We went to school together. We ended up in a lot of the same classes. It was stressful. Compiling shaders after a fresh install, so it's gonna be a bit... Okay, we'll, we'll go without you, then. Standing by. What is your definition of... What, what defines super fertile? Like, I'm honestly curious. Is this like a term? Do you, did you get a sticker that says, hi, I'm Zach and I'm super fertile? Like, is that how that works? <laughs> oh my God. You ready for your system to update? I'm playing a lot of Destiny 2, DC Universe. Oh, Bioshock. I love Bioshock. The important ladies of your life with PCOS. And it's awful. I'm sorry to hear it. We find some relief. Absolutely. I probably don't need anything in here. So you've got a twin? We're mortal enemies in high school, and now we're very close. See, I love that. It would have to be so strange to have a twin. I, um... Oh, I don't want to go there. I was always told if I had a twin, I would have eaten them in the womb. It's probably true. 11 T billion swimmers, swimmers in her <laughs> per pool. Oh my God. Oh. Some fun numbers that they collect. Is there really? I mean, I don't know about any of this stuff, mainly because one, I'm a lady and, and I don't have those parts. But two, I'm not like actively trying to like, you know, pop out a, you know, a crotch goblin or anything. Really? You had ones. Gotcha. I'm going the wrong way. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's see. Well, I think that's Koi over there, so I'm going to join him. 15 months apart. You have very few classes together. Really? Oh my gosh. Joe was in like four of my classes in one year. It was terrible because everything was always alphabetical by last name. So he always sat right behind me and he just tormented me the whole time. And Legend said he's still compiling shaders. You can make some tea. Strong swimmers, big tails on them swimmers. Just shakes your hand, boom, you're pregnant. Exactly. This is why we don't hold hands. It's lewd. You have a bad pun, I wanna hear it. 
Pretty finished. The new Saints Row. How did you like it? Is it worth it? This is the end. Well, now it's zero. Yep. He's still holding on to the pass. It's okay. I don't blame him. I mean, I probably would too. Your brother's 15 years older. See, that sounds great. You can see his button up? You can. Shogun of C4. Of C4. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. That's 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 totally a thing. Just finished it too? It was super fast. How many hours are in the game? I didn't realize it was so quick. Cut the nub. Chop it off. Let's see, that was your brother? He'd kick your chair? The only time Oh, he's dead already. I keep forgetting that he's not he's not normal. Oh, butterflies for life. You're such a troll. Such a troll. Oh my god, I love it. I love it, I love it. Got out of a school suspension. He got in because they didn't want us in the same room. Wow. He one punches. <laughs> That's something special, for sure. Good god. Thank god. <laughs> I've never even had, it's a wiglet. Ugh. Hey, how do you guys feel about Diglett? How, how do you guys feel about that? On that note, you're off to bed. Lift, you are fantastic. I will see you Tuesday. I'm super excited. We're going to go attempt to survive in the forest. It's probably not going to work, but that's okay. What the fuck? Did I miss this little son of a bitch? I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm yellow. Fuck me. I thought it was red. I'm just gonna follow bait. Your art teacher panicked when she saw us? That's great. You know, it's funny. So my brother, I had, so Joe is a year older than me, but I also had a brother, Zach. Zach was a little bit of the, the problem child, um, but he was seven years older than me. So he wasn't even in the same school at all. Uh, the wiglet, it was, it was wiggle diglet, diggle wiglet. And uh, my art teacher, didn't know I was related to Joe, even though he had him th the semester before, but he did realize that I was related to Zach. And I was like, that's not good. I hope he did good in your class. He's like, no, I think he got a C. I was like, oh, that's not a good sign. Fuck. For your sophomore year, most of the teachers knew not to put us together. <laughs> Yeah. It just got... Man, dealing with siblings can be difficult. So, is it technically a diglet? Or is it technically, like, something else? Wow, advanced placement perfect. classes? See, that, that's what fucked us over. So, we, I was in advanced placement for a few classes, and so was my brother, but they were only offered certain semesters, so we would always end up in the same fucking class. And... And he would try to cheat off my homework? And then he was just, oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Prism, I, it's a light sentence. I love that piece of cool. I love that. Didn't remember your older brother, but he remembered your dad. What? He remembered your dad? What made your dad so memorable? Like, now I'm kind of curious. Was it a daddy situation? Maybe he knew your dad. Because everyone wants to be above average. I'm Asian, not Bijan, for example. Definitely not Bijan. Oh, he was the school trouble. Like that's awesome. I love that. So it's genetic, is what you're telling me. Regional evolution. Oh, so it's in a variant. Okay. Okay. I feel better then. Sold nunchucks and played drums. Were the nunchucks made out of actual nuns? I hope they were. C's do get degrees, especially if you're in the science field. Security guards knew you and your brothers. They all watched out for us when we were in school. Damn. I just took people out of their classes and told them I needed to interview them for, like, yearbook. I wasn't in yearbook. I would just take them out of their class. We would go to lunchroom and buy cookies. That's all I did. It wasn't anything crazy. Nope. I was a good noodle. The most part. Everything's good? Hop in! Made them illegal in your- What? What did he do with them? 
What was he doing with the nunchucks? Good God. I'm concerned. I'm just a little bit concerned. <laughs> what an interesting thing to be known for. Hi, Tommy. The hunts are going wonderfully. Absolutely wonderful. Dildo nunchucks? I know. Well, I mean, clearly, as long as they don't turn into swords. In a yearbook, I never thought to do that. I'm disappointed with my younger self. It's okay. Uh, we had a guy in our yearbook dress up as Flash. And he got in trouble for it, but they just kind of eventually let it slide. <laughs> Drift, keep in mind, if you post a quest, there's a chance that bait won't be able to do it. It's not, though. It doesn't stand out when it comes to getting a job. They ask if you just graduated from college and you're applying for a job, a lot of times they'll ask you what your GPA was. If your GPA is a below pretty much a 3.5, which is like an A minus to like a B plus, um, it's not gonna help your chances in getting a job. You never got suspended, that's not bad. You were, a, ooh, you were on a roll in high school. Went from that, all the supervision and control to autonomy in college. Got straight C's your first year. I got, I only got, well, okay, that's why. Um, one of the C's that I got, because I only got a few of them, um, <laughs> was in life skills because they took attendance and it was at 8 a.m. And it was my freshman year, first semester, and I didn't want to do it. I aced all the tests. I got 100% on my tests, but I didn't, I didn't go to class. So they gave me a C. Um, and my mom, of course, was like, you failed at life skills. And I was like, I didn't fail at life skills. I just didn't show up. The job hiring market. No, the, oh, it's super garbage. Super, super garbage. Apparently, you used your grandfather's wood shop and sold them to all the teenage guys. Holy crap, that's awesome. That's freaking awesome. I love that. Your dad sounds so cool. My dad used to make ninja stars um, out of paper, but he would put needles in the points, and then he would throw them at people. Which is awesome. They make people go back for second and third interviews. There's also phone call interviews, too. Bait, do you mind if we go ahead and do drifts? Because he's been having a hard time. If you can do it. If you can't post, or like, if you can't um, get in this one, let me know, though. Had to report to basic before graduation. And he would not re Oh, release the polis? Really? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Kung Fu Wars, 1980s. <laughs> Oh my god. You're lazy in high school, and you only, uh... The only A you got was in gym? History? I was terrible at history. Horrible at history. Anything with geography, I... You don't you don't want me on your, your trivia team. I'm gonna be honest with that. I, I used to think that... That Ireland looked like a bear with wings. Um, I had to think of them as images. Otherwise, I, I had, like, actual tests on maps of different time periods. It was just brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. I don't know why they put me in AP European history. They shouldn't have. Not at all. You barely graduated? I, they wouldn't let me take Woodshop. Woodshop, they had designated for people that were struggling, and because I had A's, they didn't want me to take Woodshop, so I had to take Bakery twice. Which is great the second time, because I already, like, I got to audit it. So I didn't have to take any of the tests, but I got to make pie first period every day, and it was fucking great. Calc-based physics class the professor was Korean, and you couldn't understand a word he said through his accent. So you didn't attend class, and had your friend let him know what the homework assignment was the next day. That's brutal. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, Koi. Fletchettes? Fletchettes? Your dad's a war criminal. Well, um, that would not be surprising. Considering, uh, my, my grandpa Hisashi was in, in World War II for the second, second Nihai, or Nisai, which is like second generation Japanese soldiers, and he was a drill sergeant. So, probably. Probably did some questionable things. See, so yeah, you had to get the AG from the army involved too? Damn, bear with wings, it kinda does. You wanted to fail you so hard, but you got an A minus while your friends actually attend the class got C's. It's because you weren't struggling to learn. Like that makes a huge difference. A lot of weird stuff going on. Ooh, I'm so excited to hear about it. You're a history junkie? I wish, I just, my brain doesn't work like that. I'm really bad with dates. Silver Samurai and the Wolverine? I don't, I don't know. 
know. Uh, he, I mean, he was he was fighting on the American side. All right. Let's see if we can get this guy cut down a little bit. And his dad is Wolverine. Nah, it'd probably be my grandpa. My grandpa would probably be Wolverine. Uh, my, my dad would not be. Would not be Wolverine. You get it! I know you like the Monster Hunter restaurant. Yes! It is so freaking cool, Tommy. I sent it to my brother because he lives in that area. I was like, hey, if you don't fucking go to this, I would be upset. So he said he's gonna try to make a trip to it. I met grandpa. Oh, you yeah. should have. My my grandpa was like, they were all pretty cool. All the all the men on my my dad's side of the family, like, actually the women too. Oh man, Isasakis are are a different breed. Let me just say that. Because all the guys were were all trained in judo and mixed martial arts, but also like hardcore debauchery. Like one time, my dad was growing weed in his closet, which was big time no no, um, because grandpa and grandma were big time Catholics, and also you don't piss off grandpa, because um, <laughs> he'll he'll beat you to an extreme extent. So anyway, um, apparently grandpa found out about the weed in the closet, and. Grandma, who is like the sweetest, sweetest little German woman that you'll ever find. Oh my god, she's great. Um, her name's Alice. She's so cute. Um, she was like, Tony, like, you have to get rid of it. Like, it's, you gotta get rid of it. Like, I'm trying to help you. Like, it's not, like, <laughs> she tried to cover for him. So, apparently, Grandpa comes home, and <laughs> Dad's trying to get rid of it. Doesn't work. So he's got the closet all locked up. Which, for any parent, is going to be a major red flag, right? Why is your closet locked? So, um, my grandpa proceeds to use my dad as a battering ram and open the door <laughs> that has been barricaded. So, uh, yeah. So, once the door is open, because of my dad's head, uh, he ripped up all the plants, flushed them all, and then proceeded to take the rest of the wood pieces and beat my dad with them until he ran out of the house. And then, like, he didn't come back for a week. Yeah, this is this is why you, you don't piss off my fam. Casual brain damage? I know, right? It's just a little bit casual brain damage. I knew you would have proved my dildo nunchucks, dad. For real. For real, for real. So, yeah, that was a fun one. I got a lot of interesting stories. Isasakis are a little bit hardcore. Let me let me just say that. Technically, even the ones that aren't Isasakis, I'm like the ones that are that are married to my aunts, going. like they're pretty hardcore too. Super hardcore. Um, so I've got an Uncle Joe. Okay, I should go into all the Joes first. So my brother's name is Joe. My grandpa, his name's Isashi, but he always went by Joe because it was more of an American name and it was easy to say instead of Hisashi because he didn't speak any Japanese after he uh, moved to the States because he wanted to assimilate. And um, then we have Uncle Joe, which is Uncle Joe Payne, who got, who got married into the family. And then their son is little Joe Payne. So we just, we got a lot of Joes, okay? I don't know why we've got all these Joes. Joes, not hoes, but we do. And uh, so Uncle Joe Payne, was a California cop. And this guy is six foot five. Like, he's a big dude. There's a reason. We call him Big Joe. There's Big Joe and Little Joe. And Little Joe is six foot four, too. So he's not even little. But Big Joe Payne, in his prime, got into a conversation with my Uncle Frank, who was also married into the family. And Uncle Frank knows tons of judo. When I say tons of judo, he also went on to teach mixed martial arts to Olympic fighters. Um, so there's definitely heavy, heavy fighters in my fam. And uh, they were all drunk at a family reunion in California where <laughs> Uncle Joe Payne and <laughs> fucking, oh, it wasn't Frank, it was Dan, it was Uncle Dan. Uncle Dan was the one who had trained the Olympic fighters. 
So Dan ended up stepping on a stingray at a family reunion in Cal or in Mexico. So he was just fucking chugging tequila to numb it. Fucking chugging it. And it went straight through the fucking heel in his foot. And his son ended up stepping on one too, which is and the whole different thing. So uh, Uncle Dan was absolutely fucked up. And then Joe Payne took it as an opportunity to challenge him, which is like Nothing no one, everyone knows in the family, like you don't, you don't challenge Dan. But he did. And uh, so he was like, hey Dan, I know you say that judo is like, you know, top tier, but like, how does that actually help you in real life? Like as a cop, that's not gonna help me. You know, I can't take someone down by just their hand. And so Dan was like, all right, give me your hand. And everyone looked at Joe, like, don't give him your hand. And he's like, he's drunk. What is he gonna do? He almost snapped his fucking wrist in like two seconds. He had him on the ground crying because of the way he bent his hand. And then uh, <laughs> he was drunk off his ass in tequila and a hole in his foot from a stingray and he just fucking put him down. Put the six foot five guy, like five guy just on the floor, on the freaking floor. And that's why you don't mess with these Osakis because we get crazy and we get drunk and then we start flipping people over. Oh man, stepping on a stingray at a reunion as one does. I know everyone does that, right? Side note, your chicken bacon ranch is so good. Ooh, they added tomato, not onions. Interesting. Hmm. Chudo twist. Oh my god. Does answer the question. Even when drunk. Highly effective. Very effective. Also, you just don't piss off Dan. As a martial artist, judo is no joke. No, it's not. Um, I'm really upset that I didn't have an opportunity to learn it. I, I really wish I could have. That would have been great. But I, I think I think my dad knew that that I would just get in fights. Because I would have. Because he taught me one flip and I started flipping kids at church. Um, for Jesus. I'm getting flipped for Jesus. I still can, yeah, but it's gonna be... It's a lot different when you learn something as a kid. Like, I could have absolutely benefited from having self-defense taught to me when I was young. Because, like, it would have helped me avoid a lot of things that I had to deal with after that. Like, ooh. Flips for Jesus, <laughs> eating kids. Yeah, there's one where you can take the two arms and then you can hook them at the elbow. And then if you spin them, it throws the whole center of gravity and they, they pretty much flip sideways, but you can absolutely like dislocate someone's elbow. So like, don't do it. Sponges, kids are sponges. Yeah, that was a sponge that wanted to hurt people. Um, So it's probably a good thing. But dad was like, hey, if you're ever in a situation where like you feel like you would need to use judo, like you need to just run. Joke's on you, dad. I'm fucking slow. It's not gonna help me. <laughs> Oh, man. So as an adult, I did end up getting into like um, a little bit of kickboxing and stuff like that. Tried out a wee bit of like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's not the same though. It's not the same as an adult going into that stuff versus as a kid because I have that second of I don't know how to react. As a kid, if you've been doing this the whole time, you immediately know how to react. I don't have that. Don't do it to people. You're like, that's fair, but I didn't like a lot of people back then. You got to yell about in Jiu Jitsu? Barely ever need it. See, I love that. I'm so happy that you haven't needed that. See, if you need to use judo, you sit or lose it. Don't post it. Go ahead and post again. Go for it. Drift, you're good. Just throw the waffle iron. Excuse me. Let me grab this waffle iron that I've been keeping in my um, non-existent female back pockets. Um, and then I can throw it at you. That's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Absolutely great idea. Let's see. I don't think we have anyone waiting for a spot right now. I think we're good. If anyone wants a spot in, let me know. It's the only way I'm going now. You have an immediate reaction, even though you only did it when you were a kid? See, that's great. A frying pan works. I don't have frying pans by my booty either. Jesus. Gotta use the magic pockets. Are you talking about my prison pocket? I don't think a waffle iron is gonna fit in my prison pocket, sir. I mean, you could do it to people you like, but the fluff better land on something soft with a reward default. That's fair. A nice head pat would probably help a little bit. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I hope so. Well, not with that attitude. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe I should I should rethink my life um, in regards to what I could fit in my pants. <laughs> Being able to fight is pretty great for conflict avoidance. People who actively want to fight tend to back down when you react to them like you do that shit every day. You're absolutely true. Um, but I also will say, knowing how to be a good bluff, 
also helps those situations. However, if you get called on it, you could be in the danger zone. Um, and that's when the nut up or shut up kind of happens. So like, yeah, you keep a book in your bag. I don't have a bag. I, I'm a raging bisexual. All I have is a car like a carabiner, like keychain that holds a bunch of other keys and stupid keychains that I don't actually need. Um, I, I don't bring a purse. Maybe a small backpack. I'm one of those. Maybe, maybe. Fly into the danger zone. That's why these streams are fun. Also pretty sure I just made you blush a little. Oh, no, I haven't blushed. Um, but if you want to pretend that I blushed, go for it. Um, if they can't have a backup quest, try. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Bait, 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 bait. I think he's going through some stuff maybe on his. Raging Bisexual, name of your new power metal band. I like it. I do. There's, there's always random names for things that I have bouncing in my head. So like if I get another cat, I really want to name it Cabbage. Um, but also if I wanted to have like a satirical podcast, uh, I would I would name it the morning. Uh, wait, shit. What was it? The morning douche. That's what it would be. It'd be ridiculous. I would love it. Pocket sand. I should always have room for pocket sand. Your black belt and Muay Thai. Oh, hell yeah. But being a wrestler, it came in handy. Made you know, yeah, when not to hurt people. That's probably a good thing to know. But what about Metal Hell Singer? C cabbage. It's just cabbage. Mm -hmm. Not cabbage patch, just cabbage. Goblick, how are you doing? How have you been? And then you need a kitty method? Oh, oh, that's true. The keychain dongles on a lanyard. Oh, I have a lanyard, but I don't really like using it because it's, it's, it moves too much. I just want to clip something to my belt loop and just like... I'm Let it sit go. there. That's what I want to do. I, I'm so low maintenance. It's terrible. Or like I could just have a, a glamorized purse. In other words, someone there with me who has access to pockets or something. And I could just be like, here, can you like, take this for me? And they'll be like, yes. And I'll be like, thank you. Good, good sir or madam. Yep. Although usually I don't let, usually I don't have chicks hold on to my stuff because they tend to run away with it. And then it's super hard to get it back. Like I had a chick try to run away with my phone one time. And I was like, okay, this is why I don't do this. And this is why I don't wear dresses. I do like dresses, but I also like somewhere to keep my phone. You've been well, you're finally done with the chaos of the disastrous relationship. Goblick. Proud of you. It took you a little bit, but you got there. You should have a mini kezu plush chain to your belt loop. Just extendo neck. Ew, would that be it? Someone say metal Hellsinger? It's happening? Maybe. New widget looks like a uh, squeeze pimple. Oh, wi oh, widget thing? It looks so weird. It looks so weird. Oh, it reminds me of a gooey duck. Do you know what a gooey duck is? Go look that shit up. It's gonna look really weird. I'm sorry in advance, but it reminds me of a gooey duck. Mm-hmm. Do-do-do. A metal lunchbox? I love that. I freaking love that. That's a great idea. I just got used to not bringing anything with me because, um, when I used to bartend, it's like, if you bring something with you that you have to sit down, it's gonna get stolen. Yeah, Hello Kitty, I love that. I still have Kurumi. I should just fast travel, but I'm not going to because I'm going to get this honey. You have returned it, savage. I'm happy that you have. You started working on music? Oh, I'm super proud of you, man. I hope it goes well. When are you going to have your music out? Do, 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 do. Re they redid Hellraiser? Oh, did they? They have a minion one and a little pony one. I love that. I love that so much. That's great. That's fucking great. I'm trying to think like if I got a choice. Um, no, it was a pencil box. It was a pencil box. It, it kind of looked like a metal lunch box. I used to have a Rugrats little pencil box when I was younger. I really liked it. Mm-hmm. You heard that right, Drift. Go help the randoms do it. I was too far away from this guy. Oh my god, now I'm just flying away. Ugh. It isn't considered a weapon, it's just a purse. I, that's amazing. That's great. Yay, goblet! Fucking get it. I just changed my meds too. Today is day one. I can feel them wearing off though. That's interesting. You just finished your first two and a half minute song? Get it. Just let it out, man. Share it with the world. Sometimes it's good just to create for the, the sake of creation. 
They made your sleep schedule so weird? Oh, what did they put you on if you don't mind me asking? Status trigger activated. Dodge. All the dodge. Dodgy wadgies. You can find just about anything on a metal lunchbox. Maybe I should get a metal lunchbox. Oh, that's what I just got off of, and it was terrible. Um, the withdrawal from it is not fun. I'm going to tell you that now. I didn't really have too many issues being on it, though. But, uh, yeah, on, on the get-off time, it, 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 ooh, rough. That's what I did last week. Keeping you from losing your mind? Get it. Enjoy the time that you have to work on, on your craft. Yeah, because once you start working, it's it's all going to go back into work mode. That's why I'm going to see if if I can avoid bartending. And I'm going to see if I can do art again. And just do art in school and stream. That's why I'm doing daily donos and, and daily goals instead of like the long-term ones. Because I'm definitely going to be pushing a lot more of my custom work. But I'm also going to not make it a million dollars for a gallery piece because I'm not going to be making a lot of gallery pieces. Bankman, own it, get it. Yeah, I mean, if I'm here to, to be an artist, like, I, I want to try to do that. Like, I want to I, I wanna get in into the art scene here. And yeah, being bartender is great because, you know, the, the money is fantastic. And if all else fails, I do have my certification, I could go back to that if I need to. But I'd rather not have to because it's going to seriously cut into streaming and to homework and all this other stuff. I don't make blue motherfuckers. I make fancy ass cocktails with like ga great Gatsby references that were originally made during like, I don't know, the 20s. You left your locker at work for the weekend? Would have random weird fall down drunk spells? Oh, that's, see, that's not good. Mine was, like, my anxiety was so high I couldn't function. It was like constant panic attacks getting off of it. Certified badass? Uh, I'm a certified hipster is what it is, but, you know, I'll take it. Okay, I'm just gonna punch this wall. Alright, we're going over here. Oh. You didn't get like that, but maybe because you haven't been off of that long. I've been off mine for a week. And that, that stuff just ended yesterday. Only certified badasses punch the wall. Yeah, just call me Kyle. It's good. That was the first drink you learned how to bake. Oh, you went to bartending school, that's why. Oh, man. Yeah. Bartending school, I, I hate telling you this, is, is a big time waste of money. Because all that stuff, you could literally just Google on the internet. And you just pay like three grand for it. And a lot of actually like really good cocktail bars won't even hire you if you've been to bartending school. Like that, that's a reason not to hire. Custodally punch drywall, that's true. Maybe I just haven't had enough monster. A little over a month ago? Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, hopefully it, it helps, you know, you get all sorted out. It makes such a big difference when you can focus versus when you can't. Wow, that was perfect. They were supposed to help you find a job too. I think they suggested you had already applied to and been rejected from. Probably because bartending school. Bartending school and experience are two separate things. But um, the way that the owner of the distiller, the distillery that I, I worked at and managed, um, had, had worded it to me was, was it made sense. Um, and it was literally, you could teach anyone how to memorize a recipe, it doesn't make them a bartender. What makes them a bartender is being able to identify their guests' needs and be able to hold a conversation or start a conversation or, you know, mitigate, you know, some sort of altercations. And that kind of stuff can't be taught in a classroom. You got a job working in plasma? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, stay in the science field. So what do you do for plasma? 
Anybody can play Monster Hunter, but not all people can cart with finesse. Yeah, or, or cart in under two minutes. Big cart energy. It didn't work out for me, Goblin, but hopefully it works out for you. Or adjusting your dosage. You need to get you through the headaches and the, yeah. Um, the doctor that I saw here on Friday, they said that that med won't actually fully get in your system for two months. Fuck, we got both of these guys. Your whole no job thing is that it's giving you time to fix your sleep schedule and start exercising. You feel so much better not dealing with the long care. Yeah, exactly. I totally get that. I'm happy that you had time to focus on yourself, though. I think that's really important. Am I getting followed? I can't remember where the little dip is. Did I pass it? No, it's in here. They look at it as not having to untrain certain things too. Absolutely. That was a challenge to, for your friend Joe. He was told we'd rather hire someone that has, uh, oh, as a busboy? Yeah, and train them. It, it, you, you're absolutely right. It makes such a big difference. Um, one time we had hired someone who did go to bartending school and it was the most like interesting thing. Um, mainly because they like, right off the bat, they thought they were their hot shit. And when I say that, his very first day, which was supposed to be a shadowing day, he, he comes to the bar, right? And and we have our own equipment at the bar that we use because it's, it's standardized equipment for what we do. And he takes over half the bar top. When I say half the bar top, I mean where the customers would sit. Like, at, it goes that far over um, with his personalized bar shaker and his fancy, like, freaking shaker tins and his strainers and his jigger which had a, like a long stem on it and like all of this was completely unnecessary but he couldn't make a drink to to save his life and we're just like you have all this stuff you've taken over six or four of our ten bar stools like no one can sit here you don't know anything about any of the the liquors that we carry here you're not really willing to learn you're trying to do flair behind a bar we don't have cheap enough alcohol to do flare with you're playing with like a 70 dollar whiskey like you can't be doing that like you're taking up too much bar space you're making messes and he was like well i went to bartending school and it's like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you went to bartending school if you can't coexist with other people that you're working with and learn from them like it's going to be an issue and i think a lot of it was just being unwilling to learn after you have quote unquote already learned something Um, I, I never woke up at random times at night. The main thing that I had with, with Stratera was, uh, my, I had serious dry mouth all the time and issue swallowing, which probably I should have stopped then, but like, it wasn't bad enough for me to be like, be like, meh, but it was there. Yeah, there's a lot of bad habits that need to be break, especially when it comes to bartending. Because people who, who kind of go into bartending can can be a little, you know, we have big personalities. If you want to be a bartender, you tend to have a big personality, and that's fine. But you got to be able to work with a group. Yeah, it was it was just really annoying, and and the guy was like, "Bye." Um, the dude's name was Michael. He was like, "Well, I know one of the owners." I'm like, "Yeah, that's the only reason why you were hired, and we're giving you a chance is because of this, because you know the owner." Because otherwise, you would not ever... Oh my god, we failed out of it. I didn't realize so many people carded. Um, let's try one more time. But it was just... It was very eye-opening. He was like, yeah, these girls, like, they don't know what they're doing. And he went to, like, the, the bar owner, and then he's like, These girls? You mean the bar managers? They don't know what they're doing? They've been in this industry for five plus years, and, and they don't know what they're doing? Like, like, he stood up for us, which was really good. Because I want to kick that guy's ass. Because I'm aggressive. And that's the kind of shit I would be like, get the fuck out of the bar. 
and they were like, we're going to we're gonna move him out from, from behind the bar. I'm like, what are you going to have him do? And they're like, we might throw him in marketing. I'm like, maybe you shouldn't throw him anywhere if he's not a good fit for the company. And then he ended up not working out in marketing either. Flair just seems unnecessary regardless of... Unless you're in Vegas at a top dollar bartending bar, cocktail bar, you have, there's no reason to do Flair. It just leads to loss. Like, it's just bad. Bad, bad idea. Did Goblin, did they not tell you about the symptoms of the meds before you went on them? There's a lot of other side effects that come with, with Stratera. Also, did they do any tests on you, like your heart, before uh, they gave you that? Just mute the tab and play this. It's hard because I hear the combo and you want to reply, but you can't because you're hunting, so your brain goes ape shit and you can't even focus. I'm so sorry. The famous saying is, tell you can't fix stupid people. That's true. That's very true. You can't fix stupid people. Okay, it's, it's, we're, we're good here. I'll bring I'll bring my my, my A game. I promise. Oh. Okay. Um. Let's see. Ouch. The worst way to go. You never wanted a family or friends reference to get. Yeah. It was. Guy had big dick energy. But not the skill set to match. That's all I'm gonna say. He was a very nice guy. He just wasn't a good fit at the bar. It, that's just what it was. He was just not a good fit at the bar. Mike can scrub the toilets. He I would have been better. Um, he did. He was rude to me at one point, and I shut him down really fast, and he wasn't rude to me again. So that was important. No. Oh. Um, you should never take medication if someone has not briefed you on anything. Usually, when you pick up your meds, like the pharmacist will even go through that kind of stuff with you. Uh, I would recommend doing research on it, like online right now, to, to see what what symptoms you can expect. Because some of them, if you have them, like you need to you need to stop taking the meds immediately. So please keep that in mind. Let's see. You had a bartender try to breathe fire. Idiot caught the side of his face on fire and was shortly fired because you know safety is a concern. I got clearance to light things on fire in my bar, but that's because I knew how to do it. And I knew how to do it safely. And I don't do it with my face. Because that's dumb. Um, yeah, that's stupid. So, flair. Flair is when, instead of just making a cocktail, so putting XYZ kind of ingredients into a shaker tin, shaking it, pouring it, being done. It's like trying to throw juggle bar tins and not spill things, but then flips them. And it takes up a lot of room. And it's really, uh, if you have an expensive cocktail and you drop it, like that's, that's a lot of loss. Most places don't allow people to do flair, but people who have a bit of an ego like it because it makes them feel fancy. Sometimes you get more tips when you do it, but really people just want their drink um, from what I've seen. Nature boy, Ric Flair. Oh my God. You drive a lifted truck. Yeah, absolutely. That or like an Ultima. I don't know, but he probably back into his spots. If you Googled it a few times. You never saw it. That was like the major thing that I saw, like dry mouth and overall dryness. Also sexual incompetence. Get ready for that one. Um, you took a class. Alcohol is one of the worst things that you can use for that. Yeah, you don't do that. You just... Also, if something's coming out of your mouth and it's going towards someone's drink. Like, that's, that's a sanitary issue. That's no good. Can't light fires with your face? Are you even trying? I use orange peels. So if you, if you cut a strip of an orange peel, and then if you've got, like, a good amount of the white pith on the inside of it, when you squeeze it, like, like, long ways, like hot dog, um, <laughs> it expresses essential oil, and those oils are highly flammable. And they make a wonderful little fireball when they're next to a match. Yeah. You're definitely one of those people who just want their drink. I just want my drink. And if I'm spending, like, $12 on a cocktail or whatever, like, I just want the fucking drink, and I don't want you to spill half of it. You always hate when they do that. I'm like, give me my alcohol already. Granted, usually I don't really order, but yeah, it's just, I totally get that. You spill one drop of my milk, you crappy bartender. Very crappy bartender. Scurvy is prevented, absolutely. No scurvy for you. All right, nobody die. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention during the hunt, I promise. I'll stop going on rants. That's bullshit, I'm gonna keep going on rants. But I won't die this time, promise. Promise, promise, promise. I was like, why is he invisible? Sazerac's are so good. Usually Sazerac's are done with a lemon though. Usually that's lemon peel. But Sazers are wonderful. With a little spritz of like Pernod in the glass. 
Let's not long agreed. Big time agreed. You gotta close the Twitch app. Do your thing. Oh, it's getting jittery. Oh, that's not good. Rants are funsies. I agree. I like rants. Rants are the best. Try to keep you all alive. No promises. Fair enough. Okay. Ooh. We're gonna go this route. Do you had it always arrive with an orange? You can do either, orange or a lemon. Usually, it depends on what type of rye you're using. Some ryes um, are really, really nice with a lemon, but mostly it's personal preference or like bar preference. Oh fuck! Go to rant when you go to play COD after it updates. Oh, I feel that. Is he gonna explode? I feel like he's gonna explode. Stop coming after me. Oh my fucking god, okay. The part about staying alive, I'm apparently having a hard time with. It. Oh shit. The purple fire is pretty I agree! I think I think toaster is really pretty. But also, Tester kind of sucks. Our, our, okay, so what kind of fire tricks do you have? Oh shit, oh shit. Is it like a can of bug spray in a match? That's my favorite type of fire trick outside. Because it definitely shouldn't be happening. Okay, because first it was only 15 minute update, then the system updated, and then it restarted. Oh my god, 55 minutes. That's a long time. Toaster really sucks in Rise. You're not looking for the. Oh, the anomalies gonna suck. I didn't even think about the anomaly. Dude's got the zoomies? Oh my god, I bet it's so cute. I bet it's the freaking cutest. When puppers have the zoomies, it just makes me want to cuddle them. So they're all wiggly. You still have six Let minutes left? Oh my god. I, I... Almost have a wire bug. Like, I want to go for its butt, but at the same time... Do I want to risk it for the biscuit? Kinda. I'm on fire. Bye, buddy! Wait, are you coming back? No, he's out. Shotty's out. Risky biscuits? Ah, oh, man, I need some good risk. I need some biscuits. Do we have, are there good biscuits here? I don't, I need to, I need to go and explore, but I'm so afraid to explore. <laughs> okay, the reason I'm like afraid to explore Ottawa is strictly because I'm parking. If parking was easy to get to, I'd be like, fuck yeah. But I don't know which streets I can park on and which ones I can't, so it makes me nervous because I don't want to take it. Retiring from Dead by Daylight? Big old bags of dicks. Oh man. Bye, bandit. You're gonna be fine. Okay, where are you going, bud? You're going away from me. Okay, fuck you too. Um. Order biscuits that way? They don't. Biscuits aren't really big here. Now, croissants. There's a million of those. A fuck it. I'm gonna have to make biscuits is probably what's gonna be. Croissants! Jimmy's mom! Croissants! 
No, fuck this shit, I'm out. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're amazing. They are absolutely amazing. I, I just, dude, I just want to make biscuits and gravy. Like, I want southern biscuits and gravy, and that is impossible here. Impossible. Are you... I also need to get a cookie sheet. It's on my to-do list. Get cookie sheet. Fake bitches. Why? You don't want to laugh? You don't want to enjoy your, your fiery death? But it's so much fun. Oh, oh my god, I love grits. Yes. Get over here, you little, you little hoe. Have you ever tried making biscuits and gravy at home? Uh, no, but I would love to. And yes, I would absolutely love that recipe. Sounds amazing. Good, damn it. Terrible. Oh my god, you okay, you little hoe? If if we if you do this again, we gon we gon uh, we gonna have an issue. Cause I'm gonna die, and then Drift's gonna be mad at me, and it's gonna be unfortunate. Cause I'll be like, yo, shit happens. Puts me right next to another one. A divine meal. I mean, that does sound good. I do like cornbread. On Big E? Big E? What do you mean, Big E? Bitch. I'm gonna hit your face. A bunch of times, you deserve it. You like making a bowl of grits, scrambled eggs, and cheese? Chunks of grilled chicken breast for breakfast? Oh my god, that sounds so good. There used to be this place, and I know it's a chain, because I have it in Orlando. Oh, fuck me up. But, uh... It's called Maple Street Biscuits. You guys should check those out. Oh wait, is that is that her recipe? State Fair, looks like tomorrow. Oh, oh, that's not a recipe, it's State Fair. That sounds cool. Fuck you go. Dude left. No, it's not okay. I was like, damn, you're just posting that over here for everyone? Gonna have to share it. Drop it a chuck of honey. I am not a huge honey person. It's probably because I'm like sweet enough, but like, you know, clearly I'm not. Um, I I don't I don't like honey. It's not my thing. Yo, bandit, make sure you heal up if you can. Um, before you go into this fight. Is Bandit already in there? Bandit's already in there. Okay, I'm gonna heal up Bandit. Na -na -na -na. Bandit, you get a band aid. There you go. Never mind. Apparently, you weren't in range. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay, now he's healing though. She has poetry books, Pop? Oh shit, what kind of poetry does she write? Oh man, I didn't know that. One cart left? Okay. I would love to check that out. I love poetry though. Like I'm a I love poetry. Oh your car's in the shop until Tuesday, gotcha. Yeah, it's definitely not the same going to the fair alone, let me tell you. Are you ready? Wow. Roll, bitches, roll! We gotta get bait up here. You got affairs alone? Affairs don't count. Regular affairs only. Not like you'd ever do that. I just want the freaking turkey leg. That's all I care about. everything and people get tired from all the walking for oh okay 
I get that. I don't get tired of all the walking, but I, I do want to stop and eat. Like, I'm, I'm a frequent eater. Part of the frequent eater club. And if I don't eat, I get grumpy. I, I am definitely the type to get hangry. Is the heat? Oh, see, usually, like, I go at night, so it's not too bad. I've never tried a turkey leg. It's so good. There's nothing like eating a giant turkey leg. Don't you, don't you fucking snipe me. We did it. Not bad, not bad at all. And we actually killed it. <laughs> Sorry. I read straight to the fire. You know what? Buddy. You know me. Just gonna, just gonna be the, the hero. You can just call me a, a firefighter? No, I'd be a horrible firefighter. Who's that many from Maple Street? You're a horrible person for suggesting this wonderful place. It's so good. It's so fucking good. I usually get the, the farmer's one. I like, oh, the five and dime is really good too. That was like two years ago though? Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ah, oh, shiny. Don't mind if I do. It's an air blade, look at that. Hey, I don't think you're gonna be able to cut his butt off. I mean, we could, we could try. Oh my god, we're, we're such idiots. I love it. Y'all are all giving me anxiety looking at your HP? Half the time I was looking at chat. I'm just happy we didn't die. You're always at what HP? Because everything one-shots you, but the armor that consists- Oh, it drains your life. Okay. So you get extra damage by doing so- That's freaking cool. Cool, cool, cool. Rough play COD? Do it. Do it, do it, do it. You were so sweet, Enigma. I hope you have a wonderful night. Mason Jar Mimosa Bar sounds like heaven. It's pretty good. Safi 2.0, ooh. It's just I have never tried to chop the tail after the kill. I love it, I love it. It's great, it's absolutely great. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna change games. I'm gonna move to Power Washer Simulator. We're gonna get some power washing in. It'll be nice, it'll be chill. We're gonna listen to some like, you know, some some Studio Ghibli like lo-fi, lo-fi vibes too. Hi, Captain. Dude. The rice cookers, the titties, and I absolutely love the teapot. You're amazing. Absolutely fucking amazing. The most amazing. We're gonna clean the whole wide world, damn it. The whole wide the whole wide world. We're gonna get rid of this. Oy. Pass check. Artie, how are you? What's new, my dude? What what is going on? I'm just over here trying to quit the game. Because being being ridiculous. Thank you, I'm a guest. <laughs> no worries. I'm sorry we couldn't do more hunts. You got a new song stuck in your head? You're, you're, you're welcome. Uh, where, where did I put power washer? I think it's over here. I think my power washer is over her. Hold on. Ba -dope. Do, 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 do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get this good music going. All right, so that should be starting up. Okay. I didn't even think about Critical Role, Lofi. That'd be pretty good. First thing, the small local convention. The con itself is mad, but it's fun hanging out with friends. I'm happy that you get to. Also, Pitted Fuel, thank you so much for uh, the lurk. Erase the outside world. Gotta erase everything. Okay, let's see what we're doing. I don't remember which. Oh, that's right. We're on the cool ass city. I'm excited. Resume job. It was your own fault anyway? Oh, you're fine. I, I think it was okay. Don't worry about it. At least now you've got it sorted out for next time. Enjoy the rest of your stream and weekend. Yeah, no worries. Do your thing. Thank you so much for hanging out and hunting and all that stuff. I appreciate it. Okay, check this shit out. We... Fucking gnomes. Uh, we are not fucking gnomes. That is absolutely not what we're doing. For the record, I feel like I needed to emphasize that all of a sudden. Oh my god. 
It does make you nervous to stream Rise on PC though? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm right there with you. It's kind of a strange one. That's for sure. <laughs> Gotta move that. Sorry, I'm moving my, my setup over a little bit. Everything's gonna be so clean. I'm gonna clean away the trauma from your brains. How, I don't know yet, but I will find a way. It will happen, I, I assure you. Have nice, chill power washing. Better recording of your Rise playthrough? Planning to play through that on stream and commentating. Oh, that would work. You could totally do that. Uh, I mean, I guess it depends, though, if if you rather have it be live. Like, if you... Um, if you would rather have the interaction from chat. Classes were good. Um, I turned in a first big assignment yesterday. So there's that. I have a painting to do for this coming week. I have another sculpture to work on. I also <laughs> have a test on Wednesday, a presentation on Monday. I still have to figure out if I want to go into bartending. If not, I need to do research on that. There's a bunch of things I have to do. You already power washed away some of the trauma just by being positive. Well, I'm happy. I'm really, really happy that that helps. I am definitely a little ball of chaos. Hopefully not like the largest ball of chaos that ever existed, but like, I like a manageable ball of chaos, maybe. Wonder how cyberpunks, it does not run well on mine. I can tell you that now. Um, it was struggle busing. It was just super, super jittery. Um, it was like making me get motion sickness. I don't know if, if that was just my settings or what, but definitely check into it before you stream. Could be framed as solo hunts. Oh, that's true. It could. You don't have cyberpunk. I don't want to say. I mean, it's fun, but I, I don't know. It's not worth feeling sick. Um, so you should be able to see it if you scroll into your, like, my about me. I should have all the specs on my computer. has been optimized, but it still requires a pretty beefy rig. It does. All the beef. Maybe one day I'll be a dual PC streamer. I feel like that's the only reason, like, only way to, to kind of fix that shit. You love the stuff that they added, like apartments? The first DLC is coming out. I'm so excited for that though. I really liked the game. It was just so expansive. Like the, the game is so big. It reminded me of Skyrim. Like I feel like no matter how far I get into it, like I'm just gonna be there forever. And I'm, I'm oddly like, I don't wanna say a completionist cause I'm not, but the fact that certain quests are gonna change your future in that game really bothered me. It could be Trinity. I probably could do a Trinity cosplay. I'd be down for that. Is that Saki specs? Yeah, those are mine. That's, that's my computer. That's Butt Stallion. NVIDIA? Yeah. Think about that sometimes, but you feel like it isn't enough to justify you making another PC. Yup, exactly. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a thing. Like that, that's absolutely a thing. It's like god god damn it. It's it's like could I do it? Yeah. Should I do it? There's probably other things I could better spend my my money with when, in regards to stream. Like I can get my my casting couch looking less casting couchy, for example. Like, that's kind of important. I would like that. <laughs> There's a volcano. I'm stuck. Oh, God. I'm, I'm stuck in a volcano. Oh, fuck. 
This is definitely the only reason that you could get good frames. Oh, DLSS. Yeah, not, not this. You're so pissed back in the day when one of your favorite characters died in Mass Effect. See, and, and that's the thing is I do get really attached to different players in games. So uh, I would want to play it play it right, you know? And, and that's just really difficult to do when it's a game that's, a, that's that big. Is two sticks or four? Compressing videos and doing production workflows better? Um, I am not sure off the top of my head, Crimson, but I'm, I could find out for you. Wait, are you talking about CPU? What are you talking about specifically? Because maybe I could figure it out. Jack is Bay. Yes, I was a okay. Jack was one of the characters that gave me my first buy panic, where I was like, "Oh, this is new." Hi. Oh, hey there. Hey there. Ho there. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. If you use a workstation, I'll need a GFX card. They're less expensive than a gaming. Oh yeah. Well, gaming PCs are pretty, pretty buff. But if I'm also like. Who knows, if I decide to get a Valve Index, I'm gonna need something hefty to run that in itself. And also if I'm gonna try to stream from it, then there's that. Tali, Tali was who I ended up dating. Yeah. I like how I played it as a guy. <laughs> Should've known. Ram? Oh, yeah, I think it's two sticks of Ram. Let's see, you're making a, oh, you're looking at making a new rig? You can't decide if you just wanna do full new rig or just upgrade? I mean, you can always price it out. There's always that. But that is a lot of work to do that. Good God, there's so much muck. This must have gone through a hurricane. I like her character. It's complicated. And and for me, that was more appealing than just like Miranda's, you know. Ah, oh, for sure, bud. <laughs> How are you doing, Sephirian? You doing well? Oh, Ram. There's typically four, four, oh my goodness, four slots on the higher end boards. So you could probably get some performance upgrades for uh, 75 bucks. See, that's not, that's not bad. That's probably a good idea. Um, I did just add I got more CPU, so there's that. And that, that's helped a little bit, except for with Monster Hunter. Cause it's just, it's just playing rough right now. It's just playing rough. I need to look more into it and see if there's some good solutions. I'm doing good. I'm just kind of winding down after a ton of Monster Hunter. Gonna embrace my inner dad with some power washing. Do you have anything that needs to be power washed, sir? Had you second guessing yourself? That last mission. Yeah. It was a good one though. I will say the storyline of uh of Mass Effect was wonderful. I just wish it was a easier game to stream. It's just it's got really slow pacing and it's really wordy, so it's it's a little difficult to do. Dim your lights and wind down. Yes, you do! Dim all the lights. We, we're getting in the mood. The, the mood for power washing. Caution, slippery, one wet. Um, good God. I'm sure, if my family members were watching the stream, they'd be like, what did we do wrong? I'd be like, a lot of things, but like, I'm still here. Hey. Story drive is tough for the life. It is story driven games. Like I love them. I absolutely love them because those are some of the games that kind of stick with you the most because you are the one kind of determining all these different things. Like, uh, like Yakuza. I love it. I love it. But there's so many cutscenes and, and so many like moments of just block, you know what I'm talking about? Where 
it just it makes it really really hard to stream because it makes me not be able to to follow the storyline as much because I'm also talking to chat and it just makes things a little bit complicated in, in certain regards. I love the game though. I think the wordiest one that I've played recently was Cooking Companions. Um, Cause that was all reading. There's no action in that one, but your decisions do make a difference. But I think that one worked on stream because it was a uh, creepy pasta and the storyline built up pretty fast. Like overall, it wasn't a slow, slow moving three game trilogy or anything like that. You can be excited for whatever you want to, but why you should be excited. They usually look, they usually look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Death Standing has a lot of narration too. It's also uh, pretty wild. See, I like that. That gnome creeps me out so bad. That little kingly weird ass gnome. Isn't that always like the weird thing? Like hoping a game lives up to the, like just the hype. It's so, it's so hard to tell. And then you spend all the money and you're like, fuck. Like, there's nothing worse than being disappointed in a game that you were so excited for. What are you doing? Oh, Reese's, thank you so much for the follow. And for the sub, I have two squats to do. I've got two squats to do. Sub them with your prime. Heck yeah. Okay, we're gonna switch over. We're gonna do our two squats, and we'll come back. slow, but I feel like it should be faster. What if... Let's try this. I mean, this is a lot faster, but it's a bit spottier. Oh, I don't want to do that one. This one's just better. Maybe she pay for paper bags? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But just because someone else does something doesn't mean you shouldn't do something that would that would help. To be fair. Just because someone else gets privileged doesn't mean that you should just stop doing stuff. Because that adds up. Yeah! What's up, Kitsune? with some late night power washing for like another little half hour. Figured we'll do a nice more like wind down from the stream. Looks like some quality washing. Gotta check your work every once in a while. It likes to try to set your computer on fire? Okay, that doesn't sound good. That sounds in fact horrible. Horrible, terrible, and always possible. If you tried telling it new. That's true. We're, we're having our, our nightly wind down before bed, you know. That way, everyone has good dreams. If you would like to make a warm glass of tea, warm milk, which creeps me out for some reason. I don't like the idea of warm milk. Boy, do you like warm milk? Is that like a thing? Should that be a thing? I, I don't know. Yeah. A decaf coffee, a nightcap, I don't know. Have fun with it. 
Just gonna scroll TikTok and YouTube. I mean, I get that. Only ice cold milk. Ooh, that's cold. Weird. I mean, you're still gonna use reusable bags, but your face is cold. <laughs> I get it, I get it. You're not gonna RGB it? You're not gonna use your LGBTQ lights? Those are the best. Those are the best lights ever. What's up, Pixelonic? How's your night been? You don't like milk in general? Oh, warm milk is worse. Okay, is warm milk better or worse than warm beer? It's a very polarizing question, I know. I know, I know. Be a fucking man, Jordana. They just gave you a Valstress quest. Sucks, man. You're gonna have to pray to the almighty Koi. And see if there's something that he can do to help. LGBTQ lights are expensive, but they're so pretty. They're so pretty. I love them. Warm beer equals fight on site. You would never survive in Germany. Never. <laughs> all the warm beer. You're big on subtle. Don't need to go all out. I think that's fair. I saw a really cool Studio Ghibli kind of build. It was gorgeous. It was so gorgeous. It was Spirited Away themed, so it looked like a bathhouse. It was cool. I mean, there was no like water or anything, but it had like the bathhouse kind of like paneling. Tea? Tea? Warm milk isn't tea because it's not a bag unless you put an udder in it. If you dip an udder in, in, in warm water, I guess it would be considered tea. Beer cheese? I love beer cheese. It's so quiet, you can't hear it. Oh, that's great. That, that's a luxury in itself. When do I get to know your actual level? Do you know? Um, it, it, that is your actual level. If you're on ma like mastering, that, that's your level. Why is your tea so thick? What can I say? Thick cow. Drink warm beer a lot, it just depends on the beer. What kind of beer do you drink warm? Is there anything in Germany that you'd like to see and sightsee? You're unfamiliar with their food dishes. Oh man, their food is so fucking good. I love German food. I, I, I'm a big fan. I really like Germany though. Um, if you if there's nothing that you really wanna see, quite check out this place called Spreewald when, when you get bored at some point. It's pretty fucking unique. When I say it's pretty fucking unique, it's because the whole the whole town of Spreewald is, there's no streets, it's just canals, so everyone like kayaks from their houses. Canals, all the canals. Schnitzelburger, oh, so good. I really don't like these, these nasty little things. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like those. <laughs> you thought soft caps you until you beat all the story stuff? Not really. It's, it's, it's a lot less. They catch you up at the end of every event quest. Well, not event quest, but you're, like every urgent quest. It's kind of like her rank at that point that makes any sense like it's it's not like you're building crazy levels right now because i can guarantee you you're not after i finished everything in the storyline on that i think i was like master rank 11 bear grills likes warm beer but he also likes drink piss <laughs> yeah he does well, that's something that owns entirely Does it bother you, Drift, to see that you're that you're five? Is that why? We all had to be five too. 
You don't just like graduate and become like 999. Someone replaced all the butts at the elevator. It's wrong on so many levels. Love it. So excited. All strikes like master rank 70. Valstrix is pretty high up there. It does hit your oh it doesn't hit your you go a tiny bit. Fair enough. I mean world was just a completely different beast, I feel like sometimes. But also, it's different when you have four people in your hub versus having, like, up to, what, 20 or something? It's definitely, like, a more, I don't want to say intimate kind of situation, because, I mean, it's not, like, intimate, but you only have four people in there. Try hard in the fun. Oh, trying too hard into the fun department. You kept a cream desert done it recently. So last stream, yeah, yeah, that was that was super recently. Wait, so why does he have that mission? How do you have Velstrix? Wait, did you? Oh, you know what? I wonder if he has the high rank version. It's probably the high rank. Oh, it's an army one. Do for long flights. And black out drunk and pass out. Um, I read. I, I I love reading. That's usually what I do. But I know not everyone enjoys reading as much as I do. <laughs> if it's a star seven, that's high rank. You don't need to do that one necessarily. There's some high rank quests that they give you later. Granted, they are still difficult, but... Do all of your reading in chat. You do read pretty quick, to be fair. Yeah, it's because your high rank is level 100. There you go. So you, you reach that cap. Koi's army would be like... Koi, what kind of army would you have? Would it be like an army of just like sassy motherfuckers or like what? An army of chaos? Read like books? Oh yeah, I'm a big time nerd. Big time nerd. I love that shit. Give me a good book any day and like a little reading nook. I'll be like, oh, this is the good shit. How? I need to stop ending up in that thing. A troll army? Yeah, would it be a troll army? Army of cute kezus. Everyone? Grab your kezu suits, we're going out. Would it be like the blow up Pikachu shoot suit, but with kezus instead? Baby ankle biter kezus? I didn't even think about that. If I saw a kezu that was an ankle biter, I would be like, what is up with this teeny dick? Like, what is this thing? Because it's a little extendo face, it's so weird. Run Tao? I could see him running Tao. Being a kezu for only the troll fact, I would do it. I would so be a fucking kezu. If they came out with a ridiculous sexy kezu for Halloween, like, I would buy that shit. I would buy it for the lulz. Shibus? Oh, Shibus? Do it. You'd wear a blow up suit, and once it was <laughs> pierced, baby kezus would flow from it? Oh my gosh, um, that's a whole other thing. I don't fully know what to say to that Koi other than, my god. That's a, that's an, that's an interesting thought. I, I'm kind of here for it though. Up to two, I mean, I'll join. Fuck. Dibs on being one of the smaller ones. Oh 
want to be a big kazoo. You find us stay away from me? Oh, well, didn't you hear? We're actually meeting in your garage. It's okay, we got your mom's permission. Me and her will handle the payment later. Got a new goal? Let's see, you've got for a friend that works. Oh, well, okay, costume maker and costume designer. Really? You know a costume designer? That's awesome. Um, you want to know a costume I've always wanted? And never, I've never known anyone that can make it? I might be able to. Can you, can, can I newt? No, I don't think I can newt. I'm not a newt, sir. I'm not a newt. Samus. Oh, yeah, I've always wanted Samus. Um, but also, I really want a velvet Playboy bunny suit. But I want it to be Wednesday Adams. So I want to have the white collar and maybe like a see-through part on the chesty part and like a low back or something and then a bunny tail. And then I'll have Wednesday Adam braids. I've just always wanted that. I don't know why, but like I just feel like it needs to happen. Yep, it just needs to happen. That's been in my brain for like six years. Before I even like ever did cosplay. Try out for the, the Shiba army. If you don't have experience being a dodge, uh, I have experience making people bark for me. Does that count as being experienced with dogs? That's probably about it. I could be a, a leader. Yeah, I think it's great. What's up, Arch? How are you? Web design? And then she saw some of her cosplay work and hired her to yeah, if you've got any info on her, like, I, I would love to hit her up at some point. That's super cool. She's got home. Oh, shit. Guys, you should please go follow Arch, because he's wonderful. He's just a great dude. He's a good noodle. And you can trust me, because, like, I'm a good noodle, too. So, like, one good noodle definitely knows another good noodle. No, you. <laughs> A year or so since Redfest? So you don't know if she's still there though? Oh, gotcha. No worries. Security? <laughs> Escort this dummy mommy out. Careful, I'll tame your security. Um, you know, it's just whatever. Who are they gonna listen to? That's the, that's the question. Welcome home! Yes, yes, yes. You gotta drive your roomie home? Drinky, drinky night? Or just needed a ride night? Wait, you gotta say the thing? Go for it. Era, era? Is that the thing you gotta say? Oh gosh. Oh yeah, absolutely. They just, they just don't fit my wrists. I just don't know why. Hi, a dime. <laughs> Best conversations ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what it is about saying like Japanese words with like a really, really bad accent, but I thoroughly enjoy it. Especially when it's like Southern. Airy, airy. <laughs> God told Mr. Ar Archibald. Arigato. Oh man, it just hurts my brain. Ooh, ooh, woo. Well, the ooh, woo is ooh, woo, but that's not, that's not really a Japanese word. Ara, <laughs> era, era. <laughs> Koinichiwa? I love that one. I'm now gonna say Koinichiwa forever. It's a thing now. Era, era, onisan. <laughs> oh, onisan. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I've dishonored my whole lineage. That's okay. Oh, thanks, I hate it. You're welcome. You're so welcome. 
Chini Gami. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I need I need to control myself a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe nah, I don't need to, but you know, whatever. Well, we came back into, but is willing to go along with it. I dig it. Actually, there's a chick on, on TikTok that was uh, that speaks Japanese, and she does so with a super super country as like accent, and it's just like cursed. It's absolutely cursed. But I I, I would dare say in all the right ways. It's funny as shit. So I play say. Arigato di Jabuti. <laughs> oh my god. Marvelous. It's marvelous. Can I link? Wait, wait. You have to go through the Koi Minoi. There's a girl on TikTok and she does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Badly pronounced Japanese words. Absolutely. It's more like very Caucasianly pronounced Japanese words. Mm-hmm, exactly, exactly. Pity the fool. I have the power. Oh, heck yeah, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Yo, motherfucking these Jesus. Or a Jesus butt plug. Yeah, with room for your tacos. It mainly has room for the tacos. The tacos are the most important part of the butt plug experience. Believe it or not. You didn't check her profile so you didn't know no she's super cool that's the era era yeah dude so good you're gonna add it in i love it <laughs> there was one point quite where i went through the command list because i was like you know i haven't really looked at this in a while i'm like what kind of commands are there and i was like this boy has been so busy. Like, Jesus, there's so many commands. I was like, this is intense. It's fucking intense. If only it played on... Oh, that would be great. I wonder if there's a way to, like, set something like that up. That would be fantastic if you could. Suki data ne no? a plug shape lighting a lighting cable and have your phone say only chan do it do it do it do it it's all the onis i think it's funny because it just means brother so it's just like even weirder the power to but that's only if you a thousand percent trust someone. How bad? Okay, we'll rotate this. Potato, potato. Way too bad. It's ridiculous. I think I just love ridiculous things. They just make me happy. Maybe life's just too short to take anything, like, too seriously. Sometimes you just gotta chill out and power wash the shit out of an ancient temple that you probably shouldn't actually be power washing. You know, it's just, it's good. It's fine. Everything is great. Yeah. Era, era. About a $16 wine? What's it, what's it called? Oh, any channel, oh my god. That would be an interesting one with Hulk Hogan. I bet that just sounded amazing, though. Because you made it through, uh... Harui's Endless 8? What's that? See, I've never heard of that before. You can find her tomorrow. You checked on Facebook, but you didn't see Spirit Halloween on her profile anymore. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. She might be out of the business, too. 
Like, sometimes you just get burnt out on stuff, especially when it's, like, crafty. I'm sure I could find someone on Etsy, too. It just says wine. No, oh, I, oh, that happened to me with white wine. It just said white wine, and I was like, this is going to be terrible. Alexander Valley. Never heard of that one. Tell me if it's good. I'm curious. Do you know, like, the location of it? Like, where the grapes are from? Like, is it, a, is it like, a California wine? Or is it, like, Australian? Australian wines make uh, good stuff. Oh, Vitz Sonoma? That, okay, so that's Cali. That should be pretty good. She just still does cosplays all the time? Gotcha. bad at jumping. Okay, so it was uh, a manga adapted into an anime, and within it, let's see, they get stuck in a time loop for eight episodes? Oh, that's interesting. So it's like Groundhog's Day? Almost? Probably not, you know, exactly that, but. That's really interesting. Time loop stuff always kind of uh, piques my interest a little bit. Blended Merlot, Cabernet Franc, and then a Melbeck. Ooh, Petit Fidelity. Fancy. Did agree to commission you? Work on the deeds? Because you would feel comfy at... Oh, uh, that's totally fine. I, I would probably prefer that anyway, just because my shit changes all the time. Melancholy of Harui Suziyama? Suzumiya. That sounds cool. I'd probably check it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Whoa, there's so much shit. Sorry. It's supposed to be an internal thing, but it was an external thing. Time splitters. Gotta love a good time splitter, right? this whole fucking back end good god good god okay it's 11 o'clock so it is now quiet hours okie doke dm you on discord yeah yeah no worries at all she'll work for spirit i'll see if a kezu i don't know if a kezu one would be possible that one just seems like it has a lot of logistical errors we'll start small we'll start small all right let's see who's on we'll raid and i'll talk a little bit about this upcoming week do, 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 boop, boop. Sorry, my, my brain. Love it up. Boop, doop. We are going to raid. Ba -ba -da -da. I'm Cataclysm. I'm so excited. She is super sweet. I like her a lot. She's playing a game called Obscure. I've never played that one before, so I have a feeling it's probably a little bit of a spoopy game. This is Cataclysm. She does a lot of retro games. She also does a lot of like Lego building. She's just, she's super freaking cool. I like her a lot. She's got great energy. Was it bad? Oh, I think, Drift. Thank you. Oh. Um, so I'll be posting out the schedule on Monday. So Monday, it's so interesting having to work around like homework and everything like that and tests, but thankfully this semester's schedule isn't too bad. So we're gonna have a stream on, um, 
on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday again. I'm going to be doing a hella cosplay on Saturday, so if you like cosplays and you like hanging out, then uh, yeah, you'll probably enjoy that. I will probably continuously do squatties for hotties, so that's just probably gonna be a thing. I hope you're okay with that because it keeps me in shape. And also it feels good to move around instead of just sitting in my chair the whole time I stream. So I actually kind of appreciate it because it gets me to stand up. Um, so I think that's good. Cosplays I'm out all oh, fair. The wine is all right. Like just me. Can I hand asleep while they start stream? Anytime, anytime. If you guys want to follow me on socials, I'm on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'm now on YouTube shorts. Uh, we have a wonderful discord. So um, look forward to that. Join it. If you like memes, you're going to want to hang out in Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. All that fun stuff. And also, there's a lot of cool art commissions coming up, too. So keep an eye out for that if you want anything commissioned. But let's go show some love, and I'll see you on Tuesday.